hang out with us and have some fun, play with cars. Uh, I'll go over some of the uh, business items, uh, get that out of the way so we can uh, get to it. Uh, terms and conditions, obviously in order to be a bidder today, or in order to buy today, you must be a registered bidder. If you are not a registered bidder, you will have a tough time buying a car. Let's not make it tough. You can register in the front at the main tent where you walked in. Uh, and our crew is happy to take care of you and get you set up uh, so that you can be on your way to having some fun here with everybody else today. There is a buyer's premium on all automobiles sold here and all lots, all items. It is 12% on the first 250000 and 10% after that. So keep that in mind as you bid. All the vehicles that we are offering here for sale today are sold as is, where is, with all faults. If you want to buy a car today, we highly encourage you to look them over to your satisfaction. We, uh, we have a great group of, of writers and historians uh, and, and owners that give us as much information as they can. Uh, but remember, all that in the catalog is merely a guide. You must be satisfied yourself in order to bid. Uh, if we do know of any things that are incorrect, uh, I will mention those to you, any statements. You'll hear Charlie occasionally uh, mention to you certain things if there has been any changes or any information that's come to light. Uh, and he, we will tell you that, and that obviously will supersede any printed material or any other advertising that you've seen. Uh, so as I mentioned Charlie, I now introduce you. Charlie Kuhn, my longtime good friend, and sidekick here on the block. Charlie's been with us for a very long time. There we go. Charlie is a uh, senior car specialist with us, and uh, the title has nothing to do with the color of his hair. In front of me to my left, Mr. Marty Hill. Marty will be helping you all to facilitate your bids. Marty's that kind of guy. He will help you. He will help you. Mr. Mike Reagan's off here to my right. Mike is uh, going to be doing that as well, and you may see him up here auctioneering if I'm not doing a good enough job. And, of course, my business partner down in front, Mr. John Cruz. John and I started this company 20-some years ago, and we are fortunate to still be in this great business and loving life. So thank you all, everybody. Make sure, uh, as I said, you uh, have looked the cars over, see something you like, bid, don't hesitate, don't miss an opportunity to have some fun. Ladies and gentlemen, the first lot, let's get started. Charlie, what do we have here? Well, Rod, before we get started, let me just uh, say one thing. We have a very talented and dedicated cleaning and detailing staff. However, Mother Nature was a little uh, problematic yes. this week, so you might see some dirt and mud on the tires. They're doing the best they can out there. So, lot number one is the 1976 Porsche 914 Targa, selling today without reserve. It has beautiful bodywork and paintwork throughout, and it's the final year of production. It means this car has received every upgrade. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our, uh, our good folks in the back ready with the car. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So as I said, we will sell our first little 914 Targa. Uh, if you have any questions at all, feel free to stop and ask any of our guys, anybody working here. Uh, even if it's some of the sound people, if you need help, you can get all the answers you need to every question. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here it is, the first little car, the 914 Targa. Who get 50,000? 50,000 now, 50,000 here, 50, 50, 50, 50 here, 50,000 now, 50,000. Who get 40? At 40,000 now, we got 10 in the back, 15,000 now, at 10,000 bid, 15,000 now, 10, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15 10,000. Now 15,000, going to be selling to the high bidder today, ladies and gentlemen, 10,000, 15,000. At 10, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15,000 now, 10,000, 15,000. At 10, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15,000 now, 10, 15, 15, 15, everybody can buy it. Great little Porsche, run it around, have lots of fun. Yeah, factory AC. At 10, 15,000. At 10, bid, 15, 15, 15. Who gets 12, 5? At 10, 12, 5. 15, 12, 5 in the back with Jimbo. 15,000. At 12, 5, 15. 15,000 now, 15, 15, 15, 15. Is that a yes, Marty? At 15,000. At 12, 5, 15, 15, 15,000. At 12, 5 with Jim. 15,000. Anybody else? At 12, 5. 15,000 now, 15, 12, 5, 15, 15, 15. I'll sell it when you're done. At 12, 5, 15,000 now, 13 with Marty. 14. At 13, 14. 
14, even if it's 14, 14,000. Uh, 13, even if it's 14, even if it's 14,000. Uh, 13, even if it's 14, 14,000. Uh, 13, 14. The bids with Marty right in front. 13, 14. Uh, 13, even if it's 14, even if it's 14,000. Is it also a bid? Uh, 13. It's a lot of fun, gang. A lot of fun. 14, 15. Uh, 14, even if it's 15, even if it's 15,000. Uh, At 14, you could spend a lot more and not be wrong. 14, even if it's 15,000. Uh, At 14, even if it's 15, 15, 15, 15, 15,000. Yes or no? Fair warning. Y'all done? I have. 15, 16, 15, 16,000. At 15, even if it's 16,000. I'm going to 15, 16. Yes or no? Last call. 16, 17. 17, 17,000. Bid quick. If we're doing small ones, you got to be quick. 17, yes or no? At 16, even if it's 17, 17,000 once, twice, third and final call. Y'all done? Sold right there. 16,000. Sold 16,000. Bidder number. 412, 412. Thank you, sir. Lot number two is the 1959 BMW R69 motorcycle, selling without reserve. Fewer than 3,000 of these were produced over a six-year run, and it has a 594cc horizontally opposed twin cylinder action. And please note, due to the age of the motorcycle, mileage is not stated on the title. All right, on the BMW motorcycle, ladies and gentlemen, how much here? Who give 20? 20,000. 20 here, you have 20. Who get 10? 10,000. Uh, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10,000, nominal 10, you get 10, you get 5,000, now I got 2,000 here, now 3, uh, 2,000, now 3, 2, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 2,000, now 3,000, 2, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, uh, two would have been to 25. Five would have been to 25. Now three. 2,500. Now three. At uh, 2,500. Now three. Would have been three. Would have been 3,000. Now 25. Would have been to three. Would have been three. 35. At uh, three. Would have been 3,500. 3,000. Now 35. 35. Five would have been to 3,500. At uh, three. Would have been 35. Would have been 3,500. Now 3,000. Now 35. At uh, three. Would have been 3,500. 3,000. I am bid. 35. Everybody ought to bid. At uh, three. Would have been 3,500. 3,500. 3,500. 3,000. I am bid. 3,500. At uh, three. Would have been 35. Anybody else? At uh, three. Would have been to 35. 35. 35. I sell it if you're done, guys. Great little BMW. 3,000. Even if it's 35. 3,250, I'll take. At 3,000, I'll 3,250. 3,250, 3,250. Yes or no? At three, even if it's 3,250, bids in, hands up. Fair warning, y'all done? I have. Sold in the back, 3,000. Sold in the back, 3,000. 318's the winner. 318's the winner. Charlie, lot, lot three. Lot number three is the big brother to the one we just sold. This one's a 1956 BMW R60 motorcycle. Selling without reserve, it has dependable shaft drive, and it's one of fewer than 4,000 R60s produced during the four-year model run. I like it. All right, on the red BMW, you get 10,000 on this one. At 10, 10,000, now 10, 10, 10, 10, 10,000, now 10. How much you want to spend, gang? Who get five? Five and five thousand out of them, five and five, 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 five. Who get five? Two thousand on bid. Now three. Uh, two here, but if it's three, but if it's three thousand out of them, two, three, four. Uh, three, but if it's four, but if it's four, but if it's three thousand. Now four thousand. Uh, three thousand out of them, four, but if it's four thousand out of them, three, four. Uh, three thousand on bid. Now four. Four, but if it's four, four, but if it's four, four thousand. Uh, three thousand, four thousand, five thousand. At four thousand, five thousand, five thousand on a nice little BMW. At four, but if it's five, five, but if it's five, five, but if it's five, 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 but if it's four, five. At four. Now five at four of it, five of it, you get 4,500 at 4,000. Now I'm 45, 4,500, 4,500, 4,500 at four of it, and the 45, five, five of it, and the 45 of it, 4,000. Now 45, anybody else at 4,000, 45, 5,000, 4,500. Now five at 45 in the front, 5,000 at 45 of it, five of it, five, five, five of it, five of it, the 45. Now five at 4,500. Now five, anybody else at 4,500. Now I'm five of it, five, five, five bids in hands up. Fair warning. Is anyone else at a bid at 5,000? Out it goes, 5,000 once. Twice, third and final call, and I have sold right in the front. Forty-five hundred, number three six eight. Three six eight, your winner at forty-five hundred. Three six eight at forty-five hundred. Number four is the nineteen seventy-eight Volkswagen Champagne Edition Two Beetle Convertible, selling without reserve. This again is a Champagne Edition, and it's one of just eleven hundred produced in nineteen seventy-eight only. Beautiful and kind of blue metallic paint over white leather red interior. And, of course, this desi- desirable convertible figuration. And please note, due to the age of the vehicle, title reads exempt. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Look at that. There's a nice little beetle. All right, and how much here? You get 30. 30,000 out of 30. 30,000 out of 30. 30, 30, 30 here. Who get 20? What do you want to pay, guys? Who get 20,000? 5, 10. 
All right, five hundred ten, ten, ten hundred ten, five hundred ten, ten ten hundred ten, hundred fifteen, hundred fifteen, hundred fifteen thousand. All right, ten bid, fifteen thousand now, ten thousand nine bid, fifteen thousand now, twelve five, fifteen. All right, twelve five, fifteen, 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 twelve five hundred fifteen now, seventeen five. All right, seventeen five hundred fifteen, hundred seventeen five hundred one fifteen, hundred one seventeen five. 15,000, 17, 5, at 15,000, I'm on 17, 5, 17, 5, 17, 5, good to see you, man. 15,000, 17, 5, at 15, but it was 17, 5, but it was 15, but it was 17, 5, I'm on 15,000, we get 16,000, at 16,000, I'm on 15, but it was 16, but it was 16,000, at 15,000, 16,000, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to sell it when I'm done. Are you done? At 15,000, 16,000, at 15, but it was 16,000, once, twice. Third and final call, one of only a handful, right? 1,100. All right, 15, even if it's 16,000, are y'all done? Sold 15,000, sold 15,000, 202, 202. 15,000 is the money, 202 is the winner. Lot number five is the first of the Ron Thorne collection. This one's the 1939 Ford Deluxe Coupe. Selling without reserve, as all of Ron's cars are today. It's formerly part of the Nick Alexander collection, and it has a photo-documented body-off-the-frame restoration. Pretty, pretty car. I like this one a lot, gang. I think you will, too. All right, and how much here? Who get 40? 40,000. 40,000. Set it in, gang. What do you want to pay? Who get 40,000? 40,000. Who get 30? At 30,000, I'm going to 10. 10 here, 20 here, 10, 15. At 10, 15, 20. At 15, it'll be 20, 20, 20. Everybody can bid. 20,000. At 15, it'll be 20. 20 here, it'll be 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. 15,000. 20,000. 20,000. 15, 20. 17, 5. 20,000. 17, 5, 20, I'm bid. 22, 5, 22, 5, 22, 5, at 22, 5, at 22, 5, 25, 22, 5, 25,000, 25, 27, 5, at 25, I'm on 27, 5, 27, 5. Are you bid? Is that a yes? 27, 5, 30, 27, 5, and a bit 30, get 30,000, 30,000, 27, 5, I'm bid. Just 30,000. Great, great car for the money. At 30, at 29, 30, at 29, now 30, 30,000, now 1, 31, 31,000, at 30 bid, 31, 1, 1, 1, 1, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 1, 1, 1, 31, at 32, 2, 2, it'd have been 32,000, sir, at 31, 1, 1, 1, 32, 2, 2, it'd have been 32, at 31, 32, 32,000, now 1, 1, 1, 1, 33, 3, 3, it'd have been 3, 3, it'd have been 3, 32, 33, at 32, 33,000, at 32, it'd have been 33, it'd have been 32, it'd have been 33, 33, 33, 33,000, are you all done, gang? At 32, have some fun, get you a good one early right now. At 32, 33, at 33,000 once, I sell it if you're done then. At 32, it'd have been three, it'd have been three, 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 it'd three, fair warning, 33. I have sold there, 32,000. Sold. 631 is the winner. 631 at 32,000. Lot number six is the 1971 Citroën Ami 8 station, estate wagon. Cool. Selling without reserve. This car has the upgraded air cooled engine with front wheel drive. It had a full engine rebuild in 1998 and a complete repaint in 2012, and it has removable bucket seats, which is really kind of cool. I've been doing this over 30 years, and I think this is the first one of these that I've sold personally. 30-some years. Pretty cool. All right, gang, here we go. All right, and how much here? Who give, uh, well, you tell me. I don't know what it's worth. 25000 You tell me. 25000 Cool little wagon. 25000 5000 7500 7,500, 5,000 on bid, 75, 7,500. At five, I'm on 75. It'd have been five here, but it'd have been 7,500. At 5,000, I'm on 75. I'm on five, 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 I'm on the 75. It'd have been 5,000. Now 7,500. At five, I'm on 75. Five, I'm on 75. We got four people want to bid 6,000. Who gives seven? Seven, eight, eight, nine, nine. At eight here, but it was nine, 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 but it was nine thousand. At eight here, but it was nine, 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 ten, 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 nine, ten, nine thousand in the front, ten. At nine here, but it was nine, he's waving, he must be hot. Is it hot back there? At nine here, ninety five hundred, ten thousand. At ninety five, but it was ten, 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 but it was ninety five hundred, no ten, no five. At ten five, five on the five, ten five, ten five, eleven thousand, eleven five, eleven five, twelve thousand. At eleven five, twelve, twelve five, at five, thirteen, at thirteen, but it was thirteen thousand, I'm on thirteen, five, at thirteen, fifteen grand. 16 grand, 16,000, 15,000, 16,000, 16,000, 16,000. At 15, it'd have been 16,000. I'm going to have 15, it'd have been 16, it'd have been 15, 16. At 15,000, I'm going to have 16. I'm going to sell it at 16,000. Be the only one in your block with one of those. 15, 16,000. At 16,000 once, twice, third and final call. Are you all done? I have sold 15,000 in the back. 15,000, 318, 318. 
318, nicely done. Three Lot one number eight. seven is the 1971 Jaguar E-Type Series 2 Roadster. It is an iconic British sporting roadster, excellent presentation of color and performance, bright chrome wire wheels, and ready for a jaunty touring adventure. It also has rare factory air conditioning. And please note, due to the age of the vehicle, the title reads exempt. Text me. There's nothing there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here is... Yes, I agree. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here is a nice one. All right, and how much here on the Jag? Beautiful, beautiful car. Love an E-Type who give uh, 150, who give 100,000. 100,000. At 100 here, even if it's 100, 100, 50 I'm bid, 75. 50 I'm bid, 75. 75, 000, 60. Thank you, Tom. 60, 70, 70,000. 70,000. 60 I'm bid, 70,000. 70,000. 60 I'm bid, 70,000. At 70 here, even if it's 60 there, even if it's 70,000, now even if it's 60 here, 75, 70, 65, 70,000. At 70 again, if you like, 70,000, 75, 75, 75,000, 75,000. Lots of car here, gang. At 70, I'm bid, 75,000. At 70, I'm bid, 75, 75, 75, 70, I'm bid, 75,000. At 75,000 on a great looking little E-type Roadster. Ready to go, drive it anywhere you want. 70,000, 75,000. At 70 here, 75, take 72.5. At 72.5, at 72. This is great value, gang. If you want a car you can jump in and drive every day, turn a lot of heads and have a lot of fun, that's not a lot of money for that car. 70, with air conditioning, 72.5. At 70, I'm bid, 72.5. At 70,000, I'm on 72.5, I'm on 72.5. At 70, I'm bid, 72.5. Are you all done? At 72.5, here's a buy for somebody, gang. Don't let it slip away. At 72.5. 725, 70 on bid, 725, last call at 725, fair warning. Are you all done? 725, see us later on that one, gang. It does take more, and rightly so. Lot number eight is a 1920 Ford Model T Speedster Special, selling without reserve. American engineering with a distinct European flair. Joe Gesma overhead valve, cylinder engine head, and twin Weber 40 double DCOE carburetors. This is cool. Yeah. Love it. And Let's have some fun here, gang. Please note, this car is being sold on a bill of sale only. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here it is. No reserve and selling all the way. Who give uh, 50,000? 50,000. 50,000. 40. What do you want to pay, gang? Set it where you like. 40,000. 15 I got. Now 20. 15,000, now 20. 15, even if it's 20, every hand should fly. 20,000. At 15, even if it's 20. 15, 20,000, now 15, even if it's 20. Here, even if it's 15, 20. At 15, even if it's 20, now 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. This would be a very good event car. 20, 25. Be a killer event car. You take it anywhere. At 20, I'm bid. 25,000. At 20, I'm bid. 25. 5 on the 25. If it's 20, bid me 25. 25. At 20 here, if it's 20. You can pay 50 and it's not too much. That's a cool car. 25,000. 20, I'm bid. 25. At 20, I'm bid. 25 on the 5. If it's 30. 25, 30. At 25, if it's 30, 30, 30. Here, if it's 25, if it's 30, bid 25, 30. At 25, if it's 30, who get 30? At 25, if it's 30,000. Now, if it's 25, if it's 30, get 30, get 30, get 30. 27.5, I'll take that. 30 at 27.5. Now 30,000 at 27.5. If it had been 30, get 30,000. Now it would have been 30, 30, 30, 30. Here if it had been 27.5, 30. At 30,000 at 27.5, bid me 30. 30,000 at 27.5. If it had been 30, here if it had been 30, bid 30, bid 30. Here, gang, this is all kinds of cool for not a lot of money. 27.5, 30,000, 30,000. I'll take 29. Y'all can help me get 30. We get 29,000. Do that. At 29, have some fun. At 27, 5, 29, 29,000, 29,000. I sell it when you're done. At 27, 5, 29,000. At 27, 5, it'll be 29,000 for the first time. 29,000 for the second time. Are you sure, gang? At 29,000, third and final call. Y'all done? I have sold right there. Bang, sold. 27, 5, better number is? 368. Three, Nicely done. Lot number nine is the 1995 Mercedes-Benz S600 Coupe selling without reserve. It's equipped with the flagship 6-liter V12 engine. It's the ultimate S600 in the rare, desirable coupe configuration. Incredibly well-preserved example inside and out, and it's accompanied by a clean Carfax report. Please note, due to the age of the vehicle, the title reads exempt. All right, ladies and gentlemen, great, great driving cars. 
when they were new, they are and still are fantastic cars. We'll give uh, 50. Test, test. 50,000. 50,000. Who we'll get 40? At 40,000, I'm going 40 here. What do you want to pay, gang, on a nice road car by Mercedes? 12 cylinders of fun. At 25, 5 grand, 10,000. 5,000, I bid. 10,000. You get 7,500. At Hello and welcome to the Scottsdale Auction. We are here, Worldwide Auctioneers. Thank you so much for joining us. We've had a few different cars come across the block already. Uh, Elliot, tell us about some of the things that you're excited to see today. Yes, thank you, Brian. Um, one thing, as you'll notice, my co-host Kayla is not here. She had some weather difficulties, that but that's correct. okay because me and Brian have got this. Now, we have a lot to look forward to at uh, Worldwide Scottsdale Auction here. I mean, we've seen a few good cars go across the block. We've even got a good one on right now, this Mercedes S600. Uh, but there's more coming. I mean, we have a lot of special cars here, including that gorgeous 1961 Mercedes 300 SL that you see as our cover car. Absolutely. And I have a Ferrari 550 Barchetta that I'm very much looking forward to. Brian, what, what are some of the cars you're looking forward to? Yeah, yesterday we shot a video of the uh, yellow Murcielago, yes. uh, that gated shifter. I'm a sucker for the gated shifter. Absolutely. Uh, that was absolutely exciting to be a part of, and I can't wait to see that across the block. Absolutely. We have so much to look forward to, and we're even going to be driving some of these across the block. So this is going to be a fun auction, a fun stream, and we, uh, we thank you all for joining us, and let's have some fun here. Excellent. 95, 95, 9500, yes or no? Last call, 10,000, 10,000. 10,000, 10, 5, 10, 5, 10, 5, bid quick, 10, 5, I'm going to sell it, 10, 5, uh, 10, 5, 10, 5, just tell me yes or no, 10, 5, I have, y'all done, sold, 10,000, sold in the back, 10,000, glad to see you made it, 4, 428, 428. That's a, that's a great bidder number. Lot number 10 is a 1968 Shelby GT350 convertible, it is a factory, right. a factory Shelby Paxton supercharger and it's one of only 404 GT350 convertibles. Produced for the 1968 model year, it's documented by a deluxe Marty report and listed in the Shelby registry. Please note the correct VIN is 8T03J205235, but Rod, you already knew that. That's what I thought. All right, Chuck. Here we go, guys. Shelby, who give 175, 150,000. Set it in the great GT350, 150,000. 150,000. Who give 100? One, two, three guys at 50. Who gives 75? 75 at 100. 75 at 100, 100, 100 here. 75 at 100. 80, I got. 90, 90, 90,000. 80 here, 90 again. Do you want it? 90,000. 90 with Marty. Now 100. 90,000. Now 100. 100,000 on the Shelby. At 90 here, 100. 100, 100, 100, 100 here. 90 here. 100, 100, 100, 100 here. 90 here. Now 100. At 90,000. Five, five. Now 100. At 95. Now 100. At 95 here. Now 100. 100, 100. GT350 Paxton supercharged car. This car is awesome. 95. 95 at 100. 95 at 100,000. 9,500. At 95 at 100, 100, 100. Do you in the uh, gym? 100. 95 here. Now 100. At 95 at 100, 100, 100 here. 95 at 100. At 95. 95 is with me in the front. 100. You're out in the back. At 95 at 100. At 95 here. 100,000. At 97.5. Sure. Now 100. At 97.5. Now 100. 100, 100, 100. 97.5. Now 100. At 97.5 at 100,000. At 97.5 at 100. At 97.5 at 100, 100, 100 here. Yes or no? At 97. Five hundred, you gotta let me know right away, guys. hundred, I'm bid. One hundred two five at hundred, I'm bid. One hundred two five at hundred, yes or no? Hundred two five at hundred here. One hundred two five. One hundred two five. One hundred two five at hundred here. One, are you bidding, sir? One hundred two five at hundred here. One hundred two five. One hundred two five. I have a hundred here. One hundred two five. One hundred two five. Hundred here. One hundred two five again, if you like it. One hundred two five. One hundred two five with Marty. One hundred five. 105. 105 is in the front with Marty. One hundred five at one hundred two five at one hundred five. One hundred and five. Paxton Superchart, 105, 1075, 105, 1075, at 105, what's he saying? 1075, at 105, 1075, 105, 1075, at 105, 1075, Paxton Supercharge car. Very, very few Shelbys got the added Paxton Supercharger. This has a long, well-known history, and it's a great, great, highly original car for the money. 
Paxton Supercharged Car, 105-1075. Just tell me yes or no, sir. I need to know. 1075, yes or no? At 1075. At 105, 1075. Y'all done? At 105, I am bid. 107, no, I have the bid here with Jimbo at 105. 1075, Marty, your man's out. 1075. 1075. All done? At 105, it'll be 1075. 1075. At 105, it'll be 1075. Anybody else? At 105, 1075. Last call. Bids in. Hands up. Fair warning. Are you all done? Fair warning. I'll close the bid here with Jim's bidder. We're not quite there. 105, not quite. And lot number 11 is the 1946 Packard Clipper 6 four-door touring sedan. Selling without reserve. Listen to that engine. Sweet. This car has had yes. a comprehensive restoration totaling over $100,000. It's attractive aircraft-inspired design and comfortable seating for up to six. All right, on what looks to be, it could be a good uh, daily driver. That's a cool, cool car, 100 grand. I'd say that's Crazy. a good opportunity for someone else here today who uh, who give a little less than the 100 he spent on it after acquiring the car. Who give uh, 50,000? 50,000. Who give 50,000? What do you want to spend, guys? 50,000, you get 20. 10, 10 on bid, 15, 15, 20, 15, 20, 20 here, even if it's 100,000 spent to make it pretty. 59 bid, 10, or yeah, 59 bid, 20,000, 15, even if it's 20, 20,000, I'm 15, even if it's 20, 20,000, take advantage, 17, 5, 20,000, 20,000, 20,000, at 17, 5, even if it's 20, bid me 20,000, I'm 17, 5, even if it's 20, at 17, 5, even if it's 20, bid me 20,000, I'm 17, 5, 20,000. 20,000, 225, 225, good and Morgan, gentlemen, 225, 225, 25, 225, 25,000, at 225, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, at 225, 25,000, at 225, it'd be 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, at 225, 25, at 225, it'd be 25,000, at 225, I am bid, 25,000. I sell the car if you're done. At 225, 25,000, ladies and gentlemen, 25, at 225, take 24, 24,000. Someone spent 100 grand making it this nice. 24, 25. 25, 26, 26,000, 27, 27, 28. At 28, 8, 8, 8, 8, 28, 27, 28. At 8, 9, 9, 9, 9, 30. At 29, 30, 30, 30, here, 30. At 29, 30, 30, 30, here, 30. At 29, bid, 30,000. At 29, now 30, 30, 30, 30. 29, 30. At 29, 30,000. 30, 30, 30, 30. On the Packard. I will sell it if you're done, gang. At 29, 30, 30,000 once. Fantastic car, guys. Great car. 29.30, anybody else? 30,000, 100 grand spent. 30,000, yes or no? Y'all done? Sold 29,000, sold 29,000. Bidder number is? 368 three, is the winner. 368 is the winner. Lot number 12 is a, here's a cutie. 1958 Rambler 6 Super Cross Country Station Wagon. Selling without reserve. This is a fantastic 1950s grocery getter, as we call them. Yes. Has a pleasing period two-tone blue exterior and interior, and it's ideal for weekend getaways, and it'll be a big hit at the local drive-ins. All right, gang, on the little Rambler here, you get 40, 40,000. That's a pretty car. I love that color. 40,000. 40,000. That's my dad. 40,000. 40,000. 40,000. At 40 here, you're going 40,000. Now, what do you want to pay, gang? We'll get 40. 10, 15, 15,000, 12, 5, 15,000, 15,000, 12, 5, 15,000, 15,000, 12, 5, I'm bid, 15, I'm bid, 17, 5, 17, 5, 15, I'm on 17, 5, 15,000, 17, 5, 17, 5, 15,000, I'm bid, 17, 5, I'm on the 5, 5, I'm on the 5, I'm 17, 5. At 15,000, I'm on 17, 5. At 15, I'm 17, 5, I'm 17, 5. 15,000, 17, 5. Everybody ought to bid. 15,000. 17, 5. 17, 5. Who takes 16,000? At 15, 16, 17. 16, but if it's 17, 17. 17, 5. 18. 17, 5. 18, 19. 19. The interweb's out. 18 bid. 19. At 18, now the 19. 19,000. At 18, 19. 19, 19. 18, 19,000. At 18, but if it's 19, but if it's 18, but if it's 19, but if it's 18,000. 19,000. At 18, it'd have been 19. 18, 5. 19. 19, 5. 19, 5. 19, 5. David, 
19, 19, if you're listening on the internet, bid quickly. 19, 5, 20,000, 20,000, 5, 20,000, 5, 20,000, 5, 20,000, 5, 20, I'm bid, 20,000, 5, five on the 5, it'll be 20,000, I'm bid, 20,000, 5, uh, 20,000, 5 for the first time, 20,500 for the second time. At 20,500, I sell it in the room then. At 20,500, third and final call. Y'all done? Sold 20,000. Sold 20,000. 246. 246 is your winner. Lock number 13 is the 1965 Alfa Romeo 2600 Spider. This has the Alfa certificate of origin. It's had mechanical and cosmetic work completed back about 10 years ago, all the way up until about three or four years ago. It's a low production, late iteration of the highly desirable 2600 series, ideal 1960s Italian sports car for tours and rallies. And please note this vehicle is titled as a 1966. All right, gang, and this car has a factory hardtop too. It's phenomenal to find them with a hardtop. You rarely ever, ever see them. Hardtop car, great option. Great, greater, uh, uh, good, good bones on this car. I like this car. Mechanically, it runs well. I drove it. If you like a good little tour car like this, this is a great one to have. All right, and how much here? You give 150, 100,000, 100,000, at 100,000, 100, 100,000, at 150, I'm bid, 60, 60, 60 against 60,000, 70,000. You both bid at the same time. I took Marty's bidder at 60, 70,000, 5, 70, 70, 70,000. 65 on bid, 70,000, 70,000, 70,000, 65 on bid, 70,000, 70,000, 70,000, 70,000, 67, 5, 70, 70,000, 70,000. He's out, Marty, 70,000, 70,000 again if he wants it, 70,000, 72, 5, 72, 5, 7, with a factory hardtop. Great history, wonderful, wonderful driving car. 70 on bid, 72, 5, 72, 5. 72.5. Here's a bargain for someone, gang. 70 on bid. 72.5. At 70 here, but it's 72.5. Five on one to 72.5. 70 on bid. 72.5. At 72.5. 72.5. 75. 75. 72.5. 72.5 on the right. 75. At 75,000. At 72.5. 75,000. 75,000. You can all bid, gang. 75,000. 75,000. 72.5 seated with me. 75,000. 75,000. Are you all done? At 72.5, 75. At 72.5, 75. 75,000, 75, 75, fair warning. At 72.5, 75. 75,000, much better car, gang. At 72.5, 75, fair warning. At 72.5, 75,000 for the first time. Second time, third and final call. Y'all done? See us after on that one, gang. It does take more, and rightly so. Lot number 14 is a very handsome pre war German car. It's the 1938 BMW 327 Cabriolet. Look at that. Sounds stunning, wonderful, too. Stunning color combination. It has a numbers matching engine, four speed manual gearbox, and it was exhibited at the Pebble Beach Concorde Elegance back in 1993. It's one of just 1,124 built. Love these little 327s. Cabriolet is fantastic. How much here, gang? You give uh, 250, 200,000. At 200,000. At 200,000. Set it in, gang. 200,000. 200 to give 150,000, 75, 100, 75,000, 100,000, 75, 100, 90, 100, 90 on bid, now 100, uh, now I took 90 here, 100 to you if you want it again, 100,000, 100 on bid with Marty, 110, at 100,000, 100. All right, so crossing the block right now, we've got the 1938 BMW 327 Cabriolet. Elliot, tell us a little bit more about this car. Yeah, Brian, I mean, it's hard to say enough about this car. I've been excited about this since I first saw it in the catalog. It is exceptionally rare, not just because of this crazy color combination, but because it is a pre-war BMW here in the United States, we really didn't start seeing BMWs or getting them until like the mid to late 70s. So seeing one on our shores from the uh, before days is very, very rare. And not only that, this car is in immaculate condition. As they said, it is a Pebble Beach Concours car. It is perfectly drivable, ready for touring, and it has had quite the life. But like I said, this is also only one of like 1,100 BMWs made between 
between, you know, like 38 and 41, and then we all kind of know what happened after 1941. Yes. Um, so it's just a really good looking car, and you just never see pre war BMWs. And I mean, well, the price reflects that. It's really exciting to see here. Yeah, well, it's a fantastic car, and let's see how it does across the block. Third, 100,000, 100,000. And lot number 15 is the 1959 Lauterbach Miss Miami Vintage Hydroplane. Anybody have a lake house here? Check this out. Selling without reserve, this was the hero boat in the 1964 film Racing Fever. There it is. Yeah! Well, no, it's not that one. I was going to say it. <laughs> that other one looked like it was made by Boeing. Nice out, huh? Too soon? That was pretty good, Rob. All right, gang. Let's have some fun with the hydroplane. This boat, long-term uh, long resident in the Pacific Northwest, there is a ton of fun to be had in these if you're brave. All right, gang. How much on this one here? Who give, uh, uh, how much, guys? Who give 40,000? 40, 40,000. We're going to sell it to the hybrid today. 40,000. Got great race history. Cool little boat. At uh, 40, 20,000. How much? 20,000. 20,000. Set it in. What do you want to pay, gang? 20,000. Nice little hydroplane. 5,000. 2,500. 5,000. 2,500 with me. 5,000. 2,500. 5,000. 5,000. You get the boat, the trailer, you get it all. 5,000. 5,000. 5,000. If you have a museum, well, Elliot, it's not every day that we see a boat go across the block. Yeah, Brian, you're absolutely right. I know we're primarily a, uh, a car auction service, but this is a special boat. This is a 1959 hydroplane. And uh, as you know, that's the uh, those are the go-fast boats. But this one also yes. has a bit of uh, provenance to itself. It was in a movie in 1964 called Racing Fever that kind of centered around, well, this boat. So it's uh, not a star car, but it's a star boat. <laughs> and uh, this this would be very fun. It does work. It functions. You could take it to a lake and you know be the only guy in there with a vintage hydroplane. Or this would look really cool in a garage or a nautical themed living room, uh, whatever you may have. But it's very cool, and I've been uh, really enjoying walking around it the past few days out there on the lawn. It's just one of those wacky things. You're like, whoa, what is this? And uh, yeah. I think that's why I'd make a great statement piece for uh, any collector. Well, I've asked several people what they hope to drive away from the auction in. Uh, maybe I should start asking them. If they float away in. If they float away, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's see how they're doing. Third and final time, y'all done? Sold. $4,000. Sold. $4,000. Bitter number. 320. Nicely and done. 320. Lot number 16 is a 1973 and a half Porsche 911T. It's a de desirable long nose 911 configuration with factory option front spoiler and air conditioning. It's equipped with the rare brown sports seats with black, gold, and cream hounds tooth centers and the comfort equipment package. Cool car. Uh, please note this vehicle is titled as a 1973. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here it is 911, been beefed up. So all you got to do, the, the, the harder you point, it just seems to work. We love the help. Thank you. All right, gang, and how about here? On the Porsche, ready to go. Great car if you want to track it or drive it every day. Kill a good color combination. Here to be sold to give 125. 100,000. 100,000. 100,000. And 100 here, 100,000. Who give 100 and start? What do you want to pay? 40 on bid. 50. 50. Again, 50,000. 50 on bid. 60. 60,000. 60,000, 50 I'm bid, 60,000, 60,000, 50,000 I'm bid, 60,000, 60,000, 60,000. At 50 here, even if it's 60,000, I'm going 50 here, even if it's 60,000. At 55, 60, 60, 55, even if it's 60,000, I'm going to 55, see here, 60 to you if you like again, 60,000, 60,000, 60,000, yes, five, 65, 65, 65, 65,000, 60 I'm bid, 65,000. Lots of car here, ladies and gentlemen. Great, great running car. You'll love it if you buy it. 60 bid. 65. Thank you, Tony. 70, I took 65 just ahead of you, sir. Uh, 70,000? 70, 75. 70, John. 75. I need a tape there. 70 on bid. 75. I have 70, John. 75. 70 on bid. 75. 70 here. 75 to you if you like, sir. 75. 
This is a great, great car, gang. A pile of money's been spent on it. All the work's been done. All you need to do is just enjoy it. 70 I'm bid. 75. 75. It's going to sell today, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to sell the car today. I have 70 on the aisle. 72.5. I will sell the car. Pay attention. Here's a good one. At 70 I'm bid. 72.5. At 70 I'm bid. 72.5. 72.5. At 70, I'm bid. 72.5. Fair warning. At 70 here, 72.5 for the first time. 71 if it helps you for the first time. Second time. Third and final call. Fair warning. Congratulations. Sold, sir. You got it right there in the aisle. 70,000. And that bidder number is? He's reaching. 646. 646. Nicely done. And, and Hello, Don Swanson. I see you brought the Chicago Mafia with you. Lot number 17 is a 1949 Delahaye 135 M Cabriolet. It's a well-documented and authenticated by the president of uh, the Delahaye Cl uh, Club, Delahaye, Jean-Paul Tissot. Did I say that right? Tissot. Tissot. It's a recipient of an older, high-quality nut and bolt restoration by Chapron, and it has desirable numbers matching 110 horsepower triple carbureted engine. Very well, then, gang. Thank you very much. And how much on a beautiful Chapron coachwork? Uh, Della Hay here to be sold today, and gentlemen who give uh, 500,000. 500,000. Who give 400,000. At four, 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 175. Well, here we've got the 1949 Delahaye 135M Cabriolet, one of my favorite cars here at the auction. Brian, you're right. There was on the front lawn for a reason. I love it. We've had a few Delahayes cross mm -hmm. the block at Worldwide, but this really is one of my favorites because, well, hey, look at it. But B, this has that three position roof, which means, well, right now I would call it in position two, which is kind of like a Targa position, but it'll also go all the way down. Um, and it's incredibly solid and well built because this is a coach built vehicle. Um, you know, you don't see a lot of French cars here in the US, let alone, you know, uh, cars of this vintage. But one of my favorite things about this car, other than the three position top, is it has my favorite kind of an old car transmission. It's pre selector, so it's got that little tiny H pattern. And it's just so cool and so futuristic. Like I said, it was a kind of like a precursor to the Ferrari single clutch automated gearbox, but back in 1949. And this is the kind of car you could take touring. You could definitely, apply, uh, you know, get into a Concours. It's a beautiful, beautiful car. Let's see what it goes for. Let's send it back to Rod on the block. Sounds good. 200,000. 200,000. 195 with John. 200,000. At 200,000. The only mistake you make here is not bidding, gang. 195 on bid. 200,000, 200,000, at 195, 200 again if you like it, sir. Two, Marty's bidder's back, 200 I'm bid, 205, 205, 205, 205, 210, 210, 200, I have that already, 205, 210 again, Marty, if he likes it. 210 I'm bid, 215, 215, 215,000, 215,000, 220, 215 there with 20, 220, at 220. At 220 again, 220, 15, 20, 220, 220, I'm bid, 225, 225. At 220, I'm bid, 225,000. At 200, I'm bid, 225. At 200, I'm bid. To Marty's bidder's in, your bidder's out, you're out. At 200, I'm bid, 225, fair warning. At 225,000, three position cabriolet, the car is stunning. At 220, I'm bid, 225 for the first time. 225, 230, 230, you're out, sir, and as are you. 230, 225, 230. At 230, at 225, 230, at 225, it would have been 230,000 once. 230,000, are you sure? Are you sure? At 230, yes or no? Y'all done? 225, 230. John's bitter there, 225,000. And 225, lot number 18 is the 1946 Ford Super Deluxe Station Wagon, selling without reserve. Another fine car from the Ron Thorne Collection. This one's had a body off the frame restoration with well-varnished wood paneling and a desirable V8 engine, and it's well-equipped with multiple interior options. This is awesome. Without I love reserve. this. And by the way, Ron sold 20 of his Woody wagons with us three years ago. Yeah. He kept this one because it was his favorite. Now he wants it to go to a new owner. Last one from a great collection, guys. He gives 75000 75000 How much? 25 a bid. 30. 
30, everybody can be in. 30, 40, 40, 30, 40, 50, 50, 50, 60, 60,000. At 50, I am bid 60,000. Now I'm going to 50 here. I'm going to bid 60, 60, 60, 60. At 50,000. Now I'm going to 60,000. Now I'm going to 50 here. 55, help you? 55, do that. I'll help you. 55. 50, I am bid 55. At 50 here. I'm going to bid 55. I'm going to bid 55. I'm going to bid 55. I'm going to bid 50,000. 55,000. At 50, I am bid 55. 5, I'm going to bid 5. 5, I'm going to bid 5. I'm going to 50 bid 55. At 50,000, 55. 55,000. 55,000. 55,000. Are you bidding? 55,000. 60,000. 55,000. 60,000. You're out on the phone. 60. 55. You're in at 55, sir, already. I want all your money, but I want it honestly. 55, 60. 60,000. 60,000. I sell it when we're done, gang. It will be sold today. 55 seated there. 57,5. But do it quickly. 57,5 for the first time. 57,5. Now, sir, you can bid. 60. Now you can bid, sir. 60,000. 62,5. 60 there with that gentleman. 62,5. 62,5. 62,5. At 60,000 seated there. 62,5. You're out in the aisle. I sell it if you're done. At 62,5 for the first time. Second time. Third and final time. All done. 62,5. 61. 62. 62, sir. You almost had it. 62,000. 62,000. Are you sure? You gave it a good run. 62,000 for the first time. Second time. Third. Final time. All done. Sold there in the aisle. 61,000. 246. 246. Nicely done. And lap number 19 is the 1954 Jaguar XK120 Roadsters. Timeless British sports car design with a matching numbers engine. Excellent color presentation and show ready and prepared for touring. Please note, due to the age of the vehicle, the title reads exempt. Please also note the correct VIN chassis number is W83368S. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there it is. Here to be sold. Who give uh, 150,000? 150. Should do that. 150,000. 100,000. 50. 50 on bid. 75. 75 on bid. 100. 75 and 100. 75 and 100. 100,000. At 75 here. 100,000. At 75 and 100, 100, 100, 80 on bid. 90, 80 bid. 90. 90,000. 80 on bid. 90,000. Everybody can bid now. 80 on bid. 90. 90,000. At 80 here, 90,000. Nice to see you. 90,000. Sorry you missed your flight, but I'm glad you're here. 90,000. 90,000. 90,000. 85. 90. 85. 90. 90,000. 85 on bid. 90,000. Everybody ought to bid here, gang. 85. 90,000. At 85, love this color combination, too. It's fantastic. 85, 90. At 85, it would have been 90,000. I would have been 85, it would have been 90. At 85, it would have been 90,000. Here, it would have been 90, bid me 90,000. At 85, bid, yes, 85, 90,000. 90,000. 90,000. Don't miss it. 90,000. 90,000. 85,000. 90,000. Car should bring 120 or 30. It wouldn't be wrong, guys. 90 grand. 87, 5, 90, 87, 5, 90,000, 90,000, 90 here, 92, 5, 92, 5, 92, 5. You're out, Tom, 92, 5, 90,000. I'm working hard because it's worth more, gang. 92, 5. At 90 here, it would have been 92, 5, 92, 5. One of my favorite color combinations. 92, 5. 90 here, 92, 5. At 90 here, it would have been 92, 5. Five on the 92, 5. At 90, bid me 92, 5. Fair warning. Are you all done? At 90 here, it would have been 92, 5. Is that a bid? 92, 5. 92, 5. Fair warning. You all done? See us later on that one, gang. It is a better car, and it won't last the weekend. Lot number 20 is the 2009 Lamborghini Murcielago LP640 Roadster. Selling without reserve. It's one of just 57 roadsters built for 2009, and it has had only two private owners and just 4,300 miles since new. Offered without reserve, ladies and gentlemen. Here you go. All right. Great, great car. Triple black roadster, fully serviced, outstanding condition. Here to be sold, ladies and gentlemen, without reserve. Without reserve. All right, here at how much here, ladies and gentlemen, who give uh, 450,000? 400,000. At 400,000. 
Set it in, gang. 400,000. What do you want to pay? 200 I'm bid. 250. Selling without reserve. 200 I'm bid. 250,000. 250,000. 200 I'm bid. 250. 250. At 200 I'm bid. 250,000. 250,000. Guys, right now I am in one of my favorite cars at the auction, a 2009 Lamborghini Murcielago. As you can see from the lack of top above me. Now, there's a reason this is one of my favorite cars. First of all, I kind of grew up with Lamborghini Murcielagos being able to play them in need. But this particular car, the LP640 is the bigger car and made more horsepower by that LP640. That means this V12 is making 640 horsepower. And the best way to experience it, in my opinion, is with the top off. Now, this one is finished black on black with yellow shaded to match the and ceramic brakes on the outside of this thing that slowed this rocket ship. Also ex exceptionally rare. They only made less than 40 rotors in 2000 at all. So this is a heed collector car. And I mean, get it. At 275, it'd have been three, it'd have been three, 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 it'd have three. 275, I'll take 290. 290. 290. You pay 400 and not be wrong, gang. Two, 280 on bid. 290. 290, 290, 300, 300 on bid, 320, 320, 300 on bid, 320, 320, 300 on bid, 320, 320. Ladies and gentlemen, it's selling to the hybrid today. It will go to a new home today. 300 on bid, 320, 320, 310 if you like. At 300,000 on bid, 310, 310,000. The car sells today, gang. At 300 on bid, 310,000. At 300 I am bid. Internet, 310. 310. Who said that? 310. 310,000. At 300 I am bid. 310. I sell it when we're done. If you're all done, so am I. Beautiful car. 310. 305. 310. 310. 315. 315,000. 315,000. 315,000. The car will sell today. It's going to a new home today. 310 I bid, 315,000, 315,000, 315,000. I sell the car if you're done then, ladies and gentlemen. Are you all done? At 315,000 for the first time. 315,000, ladies and gentlemen, for the second time. At 315,000 for the third and final time. Are you all done? I have sold 310,000. 310,000, that'll be about 30 minutes from my house. 253, 310,000. 310,000, 253 is the winner. Lot, lot 21 is another great car from our good friend Ron Thorne. This one is the 1949 Mercury Coupe. Selling, of course, without reserve. It's a restored and unmodified example, finished in attractive Tampico red metallic. And again, it's part of Ron's collection, and he's owned it since the 1980s. This one's without reserve. Really nice. He did save some good ones to the end, didn't he? He, he sure did. I love this, guys. Who give uh, 50? 50,000. 50,000. At 50 here, it'd have been 50,000. Now, it would have been 50 here. We get 30. At 30,000. Now, it'd have been 15. I'm bid. 20. At 15, it'd have been 20. 20,000. Now, it would have been 15,000. Now, 20, 20, 20 here. 20. Yes, now 5. At 20, got it already. 20 here. 25. At 20, 20 here. Now, 5, 5, 5. It would have been, you're too late. 20 here. 25. At 25,000. At 20, bid me 25. 25,000. At 20 here, it would have been 25. 5, it would have been 5. 5, it would have been 5. It would have been 25. At 20,000. 25,000. 25,000. 20, I bid. 25,000. You can all bid. At 20 here, it would have been 25. 5, 11, 5, it would have been 20. Bid me 25. 20, 2, 5, 5. 20, 2, 5, 25. 25. At 20, 2, 5, bid me 25. 27, 5. At 25 on the aisle. 27, 5. 27, 5, 30. 27, 5, it would have been 30, 30, 30, 30, 30. At 27, 5, bid me 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30. At 27, 5, 30,000. At 27, 5, 8, 9, 28, 29, 28, now 9. At 9, 9, 9, 28, 29, now 30. At 29, 30,000. At 29, bid me 30. 30,000, now I'm going to 29, it would have been 30. At 29, 30,000. At 29, it would have been 30, bid me 30,000, now 1, 1, 1. 
31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 30 here, 31, 31, 31, 31,000. Bids in hands up, fair warning, anybody else? I sell it when you're done. At 31, 2, at 31, 32, 2, 2, 2, 31, 32, at 31, 1, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 32, at 32,000, I have 33, at 33, 3, 3, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3, 3, at 32, 33, $33,000, ladies and gentlemen, y'all done. At 33,000, and I have sold 32,000. 631, 32,000. Number 22 is the 1967 Porsche 911S. First year for the highly desirable 911S. It has a numbers matching engine and transaxle per its Cardex. Just last year, it had a major engine out service. It's titled track ready and completely street legal. And please note this vehicle sold on a Texas bonded title. Ladies and gentlemen, 911S, numbers matching engine. Ready to go. You can put it on the track or you can drive it on the street anywhere you want to go. Engine was completely done uh, just a couple of months ago. It completed an 800-mile tour. I've driven it. This thing is fantastic. If you want fun and you want a 911S, first year for the S is 67. Probably one of the most desirable 911s you can buy is a 911S from 1967. And this one is here to sell. You get 200,000. 200,000. At two, two hundred nominal, two, 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 John, two hundred thousand. At two hundred thousand nominal, two, 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 two hundred. Two hundred thousand. You give one fifty. One fifty. Fifty on bid. Seventy five. Seventy five and a hundred. Seventy five on bid. Hundred thousand. On a nine eleven S. Seventy five on bid. Hundred thousand. Hundred thousand. Seventy five. Ninety. Hundred. Ninety on bid. John, hundred. Ninety thousand. Hundred thousand. Ninety thousand. Hundred thousand. At ninety, hundred bid. One ten. At 100 here, 110, 110. At 110, I'm bid. 100, I'm bid. 110 again if you like it. 110. Yes. One, 110 there, 120. 120,000. You're not in now. 120. It is worth it. I've driven the car. It's fantastic. 110. 120. 110. 120. At 110, I'm bid. 120. At 110, I'm bid. 120, 20, 20 here. 110, 20. Well, I was walking through the tent earlier, Elliot, and I saw this Porsche, and I was blown away by this take on the Martini livery. I love to look at it. Brian, you're absolutely right. This car has been grabbing my attention since I got here as well. It is so, so cool. Um, I mean, it's a 1967 Porsche 911S, which is cool enough on its own, the first year for the 911S. But this particular car has been modded for vintage racing, and it actually has been vintage racing a lot. It's got the little roll cage. It's got all the things you need to have, like, a period correct road racer but the previous owner actually really did race it a bunch in fact so cool one month ago it was in a rally so if you're looking wow. for a car that is actually ready to go ready to buy and ready to race this is the kind of car this isn't a car that used to race in the 90s this raced this year <laughs> uh, which is pretty cool uh, and I just like I said the, the paint scheme is so attention grabbing I've heard a couple people say it's not for them but every like younger person has said, "Wow, that's really cool." Compared to the other, you know, plain colored 911s. But right. what a cool car! Anyway, let's send it back to Rod on the block. Sounds good. Let's see how it does. Third 11.04 Super 8 Victoria Convertible, Dietrich Design and CCCA Full Classic. It's well appointed and collector maintained. It's in excellent mechanical condition. Desirable and attractive body style, of course. The Victoria Convertible, my personal favorite. It's comfortable, drivable, open classic with superb eye appeal. All right, gang. Packard, first pre-war Packard of the day, ladies and gentlemen. Here it is, who give uh, 250, 250,000. You get 200,000, 200,000. At 200,000 on a nice, nice, nice 34 Packard Victoria. 200,000, 200,000. 100,000, 75 on bid, now 100. 75,000, everybody can bid, 100. At 100, 75, 100, 100, 100, 100 here, 75 at 100. At 75,000, now 100,000. And uh, 100 I'm bid, 120. 120, 100 I'm bid, 120. 120,000, 120,000. 100 I'm bid, 120,000. 120, 100 I'm bid, 120,000. 110 again, 110 on the aisle, 120. 110 I'm bid, 120. 120,000. 110 I'm bid, 120. At 110, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120. At 110 I'm bid, 120,000. At 110 I'm bid, 120, 120, 120, 120. 
at 110, 120, 120,000, 120,000, 120,000. Here's a buy for somebody, gang. At 110, I bid. 120 is all I'm asking on a very nicely done 34 Victoria. 110, 120, 120 on the internet. 130, 120 on the internet. The car will sell today, ladies and gentlemen. The car will sell today. 120, 130. At 120, bid me 130. At 120, bid me 125. I sell the car when we're done. At 120, bid me 125. At 125, bottom 125, fair warning. At 125,000. Are you all done? You sure? Sold 120,000. Sold 120,000. 900 on the interweb. 900. Lot 24 is a 1973 and a half Porsche 911T Targa selling without reserve. This is an all original matching numbers garage find. It has the iconic long nose configuration, and it's the last year of the 2.4 liter and the yep. first year for the CIS fuel injection. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Please note 911 is, Targa. Please note it's titled as a 73, not a 73 Correct. and a half. Yeah, as they all are. All right, ladies and gentlemen, how much here on the Targa? All right, who give uh, 100,000? Who give 80? 80,000. 80,000. 80,000. Set it in, guys. What do you want to pay? 80,000. 50,000. 50,000. It's going to sell to the high bidder. 20 on bid, 30. 30,000. Going to sell to the high bidder today. 20 on bid. Now 30. 30,000. 30,000. 20 on bid. 30. At 20 here, it would have been 30. 30. 30. 40. At 30, bid me 40. 40,000. 30, bid me 40. 30,000. 35. 35. 325, 35, 325, 35, 35, 35, 37, 5, 35, 37, 5, 37, 5, 35 and bid, 37, 5, 37, 5, 35 and 37, 5. You can all bid. Gonna sell the hybrid today. 911, 37, 5. At 35 and bid, 37, 5. Don't miss it, gang. I'm gonna sell it when we're done. Car here, ladies and gentlemen, to give 500,000. One of the great road cars built from Ford. Who give 500,000? 500,000. Who give 400,000? 400,000. 200 I am bid. 300,000 now. At 200 I am bid. 300,000. 250 on the phone. 300,000. 300, no, I do not. 250 is on the phone. 250 I am bid. 300 I am bid. 350. 300 on the front with me. 300, 350. 350,000. 300 I am bid. 350. 350,000, 350,000, 350,000, 300 I'm bid, 325 I'll take, 325, 325 I'm bid, 350, 350, 340 I'm bid, 350, 350, 350, 350, at 340 I'm bid, 350, 350, at 350, at 340 I'm bid, 350,000. 350,000. I agree. All four options, low miles, fantastic car. 350 again. 350. 360. 360. 350 there. Hey guys, I'm in a 2005 Ford GT, special for a million reasons. Obviously, these were built to for celebrate Ford's 100-year anniversary. And again, I find myself in kind of a teenage dream car. But this is an exceptionally special Ford GT, showing just 2,500 miles from new, which means it was driven enough that you could definitely still drive it, unlike those 10-mile cars. But this one's also special because it has all four options. Ford only offered four on these cars, and this one has it. It has the Brembo wheel, or the, the BBS wheels, the stripes, the Macintosh sound system and the full length top stripes. This thing is awesome. They're so, so cool. They honestly catch attention anywhere they go. And the best part is they're a proven appreciating asset. These cars have been nothing but up since 2004, five and six. Uh, it's just cool to be sitting in one. And uh, well, as you can see, it's going across the block. I'll see you in a minute. Yes, 375, 380, 380, 380, 380,000, 380,000. You got to do it quickly. At 380 for the first time. At 380, ladies and gentlemen, for the second time. Any further bids? At 375, 380,000. At 380, are you all done? At 380,000, fair warning. 
your bid there, 375, 375. Thank you for your bid, 375,000. And a lot number 26. We'll see us after on that one, guys. Lot 26 to the 1970 Chevrolet Chevelle LS5 SS Convertible. Selling without reserve. This is the 454 engine with an upgraded five-speed manual transmission. Beautiful fit and finish with excellent chrome and trim. And Willwood power disc brakes, power steering, air conditioning, and a host of other great options. This car, somebody spent a pile of money when they built this car. Beautiful color combination. Uh, built to resemble the LS5. Gorgeous, gorgeous Chevelle. SS. Big block. Stunning, uh, stunning color combination. Yes. And selling without reserve. Yes. LS5 uh, style engine. Beautiful car. Here to be sold today, you give 150. How much? 40,000. Yes. Mercy, be goodness. Be. I'm glad. I see you're working for them and not me. That means I don't have to pay you. 40,000. 50,000. 50,000. 50 I'm bid, 60,000, 70,000, 78, 80, 80,000, 80,000, 80,000. A lot of money spent, a lot of work, and a real pretty car. 75 I'm bid, 80, 80,000, 80,000. 75 I'm bid, 80,000, 80,000, 80,000. Going to be sold today, 75, 80,000. Have some fun, gang. At 75 and 80, 80,000 out of 75, 80. At 75 and 80,000. It will sell today to the high bidder. 75, 80,000. 80,000. 80,000. 80,000. At 80, I sell it then if you're done, guys. 75, 775. I'll do that, but do it quick. At 775 for the first time. Second time. Third and final call. Y'all done? Sold 75,000. 202, 202, 75,000. Nicely Lot done. Number 27 is the 1958 Porsche 356A Speedster. This car has had just three owners since new, including 55 years of single ownership. It has a Porsche COA, a Cardex copy, and a large file of service records. All right, gang, here it is. I love this car. I drove it. It's fantastic. One of the great, great cars from Porsche back in the day, and this certainly is a great representation. 1958, final year, best year of the Speedster, and this has a fantastic history. And uh, who give uh, 450,000? Who give 400,000? Who give 400,000? You can all bid, 400,000. At 400,000, how much, guys? Send it in, what do you want to pay? 200 I'm bid, 300. 200 I'm bid, 300,000. At 300,000. At 300,000. At 200 on bid. 250. At 200 on bid. 250,000. 250,000. At 200 on bid. 225 again if you like it. 225. 250. 250. 225 on bid. 250,000. 250,000. No, you're not. 240. 250. 250. At 250,000. At 250. At 240 on bid. Well, I saw this Porsche on the lawn earlier, and it's, it's just fantastic. We've got a 1958 Porsche 356A Speedster. Uh, tell me what you like about it. Well, I mean, there's so much to like about it. First of all, I do believe this is the coolest looking 356, Brian. Um, but there's a lot of interesting history with these. Um, I used to have this thinking that this was the, you know, the faster model of the 356, but believe it or not, these were meant... These were originally made to compete price-wise with like Jaguar XK120s and uh, Triumphs and stuff back in the day. So it was actually meant to be a more entry-level but more sport-focused model. And of course, they achieved infamy because James Dean famously uh, passed away sure. uh, yeah. in one of these. Which, again, all as tragic as that may be, it made these cars forever cemented as uh, well the car that the king of cool. It's a historical was icon. Exactly, and I really do. I love the low windshield. These are just, they're just awesome. And uh, I mean, obviously the price reflects that. It's a great car. Uh, as Rod was saying, he drove it. It's a great, great car. And well, it's going to a new home. Yeah, we're gonna see what's coming on across the block next. We've got a VW Microbus. Let's see what John has to say. And it's documented by its Volkswagen certificate and you can clearly see the stunning Concorde quality restoration. Beautiful, beautiful little bus. 1958, 23 window. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. How much in this one to give 150? 
We'll give 100,000. 50 I'm bid, 75. 75, 50 I'm bid, 75. 75, 60, sure, 70. 70, 60 I'm bid here, 70,000. Five, 70 again, 70. 70, five, 70 I'm bid, 75. 75, 70 I'm bid, 75. 75,000, 70 I'm bid, 75,000. Uh, no, I have 70 here, 75. 75,000, 75,000, 75,000. At 70 on bid, 580, 75, 80, 80,000 again if you like it, sir. At 80, yes. bid. Oh, here or here? I'm up here. I'm up here. 80 with Marty, 85. You got to be 85, sir. You, you're both out now. 85, 85,000. At 80 on bid, 85. At 80 here, you're going to 85, 85,000. At 80 here on the bus, at 80 here, at 85, 85, 85, 85, 85. At 80,000, 85. At who said 85? 85,000. 85,000. At 85, are y'all done? At 80 here, you're bid 85, 85,000. At 80, bid me 85, five on the five, 80 bid, 85, last call. Are you bidding? 85, y'all done? Close it there at 80,000, 80,000. Takes a little bit more on that one. Lot number 29 is the 1999 Plymouth Prowler Roadster selling without reserve. It's one of just 8,533 documented miles from new and three and a half liter aluminum V6 engine in highly detailed and in stunning condition with a clean Carfax. Great, great little car here, guys. Great, great little car here. All right, and how much are you, ladies and gentlemen? What do you want to pay? Who give us uh, 75? 50,000. 50,000. How much, gang? 50,000. At 50 here, it would have been 50,000. Now it would have been 50. You get 30. 30,000. How much? 10. 10 a bid. I would think so. 15. 15. 20. 15 a bid. 20,000. At 15, it would have been to 20. 20,000. Now it would have been 15, it would have been to 20. At 5, 5, 5, it would have been to 25. 20, been to 25. 25, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30. At 25, it would be 30,000. At 25, it would have been 30, get 30, get 30,000. Now it would have been 25, it would have been to 30. At 25, bid 30, 30, 30, 30. Here it would have been to 25, it would have been to 30. At 25, it would have been 30, get 30,000. Now it would have been 25, 30. 30,000. Take 27,5. 27,5. 27,5. You can all bid at 25 a bid. 27,5. 27,5. 25 here with Marty's bidder. 25. 27,5. 25 with Marty's bidder. You're out if you're not Marty's bidder. 20, that means you're out. 27,5. Yes, you are. 27,5. 25 a bid. 27,5. I sell the Prowler today, guys. Here's a great one. Here's a great one. 25. 27.5. At 25, I'm going to win 27.5. Anybody else? At 25, I'm going to sell it if you're done. At 25 bid, 26,000 for the first time. 26,000 for the second time. At 26,000, ladies and gentlemen, for the third and final time. Are you all done? Sold 25,000. Sold 25,000. 319. 319. Lot 25,000. Lot number 30 is the 1941 Packard Custom Super 8 180 Victoria Convertible. This is number nine of just 35 Darren Victorias built for 1941. It has outstanding Dutch Darren design and believed to be one of only three built with running boards. Check it out. This one has running boards. Extensive list of exhibition and awards, and it is, of course, a CCCA full classic. Love this one, ladies and gentlemen. Here to be sold. Fantastic car. Fantastic history. One of the great custom-bodied classics, ladies and gentlemen, who give uh, 600000 600,000, you get five. At 500,000. At five, I'm on five. Five, it would have been five, it would have been 500, now I'm on 500,000. Who give 300,000? I have two all over, 200, 250. 250, 300. 300, 250, I am bid. 300, 333, three, three, again, 300. 250 is on the phone. 300 with Marty, 350. 300, I am bid. 350. 300, I am bid. 360. Right, and this is, uh, you're absolutely right, Brian. Um, and first of all, it is the first one I've ever seen with running boards. Uh, these were kind of, which is crazy to think back in the day, but I mean, in 1941, having running boards was a sedan thing, and this was kind of 
uh, for lack of a better term, the sports car of its day. This is the car you'd see Hollywood stars driving around in for sure back in the day. I, obviously, as you can see, it never stopped being valuable or desirable. But yeah, one of three with running boards is very cool, and it's got the Darren uh, design. And these things are really just smooth, amazing cars. I was talking to John Cruz yesterday. This car has known history since new, fully documented. It even comes with its own Packard fender skirts. Um, uh, this thing is just fantastic. Uh, it's ready to tour, ready to show. I mean, this is another concourse ready car. And uh, well, you know, you've got a rare one on your hands. That's for sure with this one. Uh, 340 here, 350, uh, 350,000, 340 I'm bid, 350 for the first time, at uh, 350,000, a phenomenal car, at uh, 350 for the first time, second time, third and final call, fair warning, close the bid, it's not enough, ladies and gentlemen, do see us later, that won't last the weekend, that's well, a stunning car. Lot number 31 is the 1965 Chevrolet Corvette L48 Fuley Coupe. It's one of just 771 L48 fuel-injected Corvettes produced for the 1965 model year. It has a four-speed Muncie M20 manual transmission, along with a matching numbers engine, transmission, fuel injection, and rear end. Please note, due to the age of the vehicle, the title reads exempt. All right, ladies and gentlemen, on the fuel event. All right, here, ladies and gentlemen, to give 150, who give 100,000, at 100,000, at 100,000, 50 on bid, 75, 75. 75, 75 at 100, 75 at 100, 100,000, 75, 100 on a fuel 75 at 100, 100, 100 here, 75 at 100, at 75 at 100, 75, 80 in bid, 90, 90, 80 I'm bid, 90, 90,000, 80 I'm bid, 90,000, 80,000, 90,000, 90,000, 90, 90,000, fuel -y Corvette, 80,000, 90,000. At 80 here, if it had been 90 here, if it had been 80, bid me 90. At 80 here, if it had been 90,000, now if it had been 80, bid me 90, 90, 90, 90, get 90,000. All right, Elliot, tell us about this 1965 Corvette Fuley Coupe. Yeah, okay, Brian. Well, as, <laughs> as you know, I have an inside joke with Kayla. I usually talk about every Corvette, but this one really is quite special. So it's a 1965 fuel injected coupe. And uh, if you know anything about Corvettes, that was the last year you could get fuel injection until pretty much the 80s. Sure, uh, they yep. gave it up because it was a very complex mechanical fuel injection system. Not that it didn't work, but it just took a lot of fiddling. But this particular car I was going through with one of our specialists yesterday, and I was able to see the level of documentation and detail that went into this restoration. Now you'll notice it's an NCRS car, and if in the Corvette world, that's basically a certified badge of this car is as perfect as it can be, and this car has that NCRS badge. But more importantly than that, it has probably the most extensive list of documents I have ever seen, and I had to be see it to believe it. It was literally a phone book of wow. stuff that goes with this car. They've documented every owner, every title that it's ever had. The previous restoration included numbering every single thing about it, including like the distributor cap. Uh, every <laughs> single thing was numbered and documented and kept, and it was just a, a fantastically documented car. But man, love to good see a good fuel-injected Corvette. Yeah, you love to see it, and now we're moving on to the 1971 Maserati Indy. We'll take it back to Rod. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Maserati Indy, guys, who give 100, 100,000, 100,000. Who give 100,000? 100 here, if it had been 100, 100, 100 here, if it had been 100, 100. Who give 100? Who give 80,000? At 80,000. Set it in wherever you like, guys. What do you want to spend? 100,000. 25, 50. 25, I'm bid. 50,000. 50,000. 50,000. 25, it would been 50. 50,000. 50,000. 40 I'm bid, 50, 40 I'm bid, 50,000, 50,000, 40 I'm bid, 50, 50, 50 here, if it had been 40, bid me 50, at 40, bid me 50,000, I'm on 40 here, if it had been 50, 50, 50, at 40, bid me 50,000, at 40 here, 50,000, I'm on 40 here, who give 50,000, gang? Going to be sold to the hybrid of the day, 40 I'm bid, 50,000, who take 45, does that help you? 45, 45,000, I sell the car today, 40 I'm bid. 45,000, you're not in now. 45, at 45,000, at 40, I'm bid. 45, I sell it if you're done, gang. At 40,000, 42,5, y'all done? At 40,000 on a Maserati Indy, great color scheme, ready to go right here, right now. At 42,5 for the first time. 
at 42,005. Ladies and gentlemen, for the second time, at 42,005, third and final time. Y'all done. Sold, 40,000, sold, 40,000, 242, 242, good eye, 242. Oh, lot number 33 is the 1971 Plymouth Cuda, 446, as in pack. A low production, highly desirable, track pack, numbers matching, muscle car, thoroughly documented by the original broadcast sheet, original purchase documents, and Galen Govier reports. I love this car. I've known this car. I know you car. do. You've been talking about this car for weeks. For a long time, it has been in the hands of some great, great Mopar collectors. Phenomenal restoration. Here to be sold today, and it is going to sell today, ladies and gentlemen, on a great 71 Cuda. All original sheet metal, all numbers, well documented. Who give uh, 250,000? 250,000. 200. 200. 100. 125. 125. 100 I am bid, 125, 125, 100 I am bid, 125, 125, 100 I am bid, 125, 125,000, 100. Well, Elliot, I've convinced my wife that if we ever buy a Chrysler muscle car, we're either going with Plum Crazy or B5 Blue, and I have been staring at this one all week. Dude, Brian, you're all you're absolutely right. First of all, can't go wrong with Chrysler's colors. That's they, right. They really nailed it. The names, it's so good. Yep. And this uh, this 71 Cuda is showing amazingly in that plum crazy purple. And more importantly than that, I mean, this whole car is perfect. I mean, it's kind of hard to get these Chryslers correct because you know they were kind of built. Eh, from yeah. the factory, <laughs> uh, but this one is one of those cars, and the previous owner spent well over three hundred thousand dollars getting it into this condition, and it's got everything you want, including, in my opinion, the best thing: the pistol grip manual shifter. Yeah. Which, uh, if you've ever driven one of those, it's just a really cool feeling gripping that huge pistol grip and just muscling it into gear. And I mean, this would look great in anybody's collection. It's got all the right colors, all the right specs. I don't know. It's just been a great, and there was a reason it's out on the front lawn here in Scottsdale. Let's send it back to Rod on the block and see what it goes for. Incredible provenance and documentation. One of the greatest ones you'll find for 1971, and I'm at 130 on bid, 140, 140,000, 135 on bid, 140, 140 on the aisle, 140, 140, 140, 137.5, 140, 142.5, 142.5. 142.5, 142.5. You make a mistake if you don't bid on that quality. Change your distributor or the ignition and you're ready to rock. It's done. Needs nothing else. 140 on bid. 142.5. 145. 145. 145. 145. I sell the car if you're done at 142.5. 145. 145. I sell it when you're done, gang. I don't know where you replace it. At 142.5, 145 for the first time, 145 for the second time. You can't beat the quality. 145 for the third and final time. We all done. Sold 142.5, and the bidder number is 5454. Five, Lot number 35 is a 1958 Cadillac Eldorado Baritz convertible, selling without reserve. This car is equipped with power steering, power brakes, and a power convertible top. It has the upgraded 390, what? Lot 35 on the screen, there it is. 390 cubic inch V8 engine. I love the color combination of this. And it is one of the great designs of the 50s. Wonderful Cadillac here, ladies and gentlemen. How much here, who give uh, 100,000? 120, who give 100, 100, 100,000? 100,000. At 100 here, if it had been 100,000 now, if it had been 100, 100, 100 here, if it had been 100, you give 75. What are you going to spend, gang? It's going to sell to the high bidder today. 50 I'm bid, 75. 50,000 I'm bid, now 75. On a beautiful looking 58 Eldo. Eldo Baritz, here to be sold. 50 I'm bid, 75. Who gives 60? 60,000. 60,000. 50 I'm bid, 60,000. 60,000, gonna be sold to the hybrid today. 50 in the front with me, 60,000. At 50 here, 55. At 50 here, one, one, five, 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 it'd have been to 55, it'd have 50, bid me 55. 55,000, 50 I'm bid, 55,000. 55, 60, 60,000, 60,000. 55 in the back, gonna sell to the high bidder. 
57, 5, 60, 60, 57, 5, 60, 60,000, 60,000, 57, 5, 60,000, 62, 5, 62, 5, 62, 5. Pay attention. I'm bid 60, 62, 5. 62, 5, I'm bid, right? 65. 60, I'm bid, 62, 5. The bid is 60,000, 62, 5. 62, 5. Good news, you can all still bid. 62, 5 with Marty, 65. 65, 62, 5, 65. 65,000, 65,000. 62, 5, 65,000. 65,000. 62, 5, I'm bid, 65. I sell it when you're done at 62, 5 with Marty's bidder. 65,000. I sell it for the first time. 65,000 for the second time. 65,000. Ladies and gentlemen, for the third, we've had five bidders. 65,000. Third and final time. Are you all done? Who said it? 67, 67,5. 67,5. 67,5. 67,5. For the first time. Second time, third and final time, I have 69,000, 70,000, 70,000. It's nine. Yeah. 66, six, seven, six, seven, 67, seven, all done, 66, seven. Sold 66. Thank you, Marty. 66. 368. 368. 66,000. And lot number 36 is the 1969 Chevrolet Corvette 427 390 horse Roadster. This is the recipient of a ground up restoration. It's an NCRS Top Flight Award winner. And along with the numbers matching 427 390 horse Turbo Fire V8 engine, accompanied by a copy of the window sticker as well as a copy of the NCRS certificate. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Great Corvette from 1969. Coming in today, ladies and gentlemen, if you buy a car and you do not live close by and you need it shipped, you should see our good friends at Passport Transport. Camille is in the back, waving back there. They do a fantastic job for us, and they'll do a great job for you every time. 69 Corvette, big block, 427. Here to be sold today, ladies and gentlemen, who give 150, 150,000, 150,000. At 150,000, I have it at 150, 150,000. Beautiful car here. 50, I'm bid, 75. 50 in the front, 75. 60, 70, 70. 60, I'm bid, 70, 70. 60's here, 70. 70. Well, Elliot, we've got a Corvette, so we know you we, want to talk to about talk. it. <laughs> You're absolutely right, Brian. Um, on the block right now, a 1969 Corvette 427 Roadster. Um, this is significant for a number of reasons. First of all, I love that it has the wire hubcaps instead of the rally wheels, which a lot of people put on these. Uh, but second of all, it's an NCRS car, like I just talked about with that 1965. It means this thing is pretty much certified perfect. And I personally grew up uh, with my dad having a 68 convertible. Uh, in fact, my first... Uh, burn in my life was from a side pipe of one of these Love that. on my leg. Gotta be careful getting um, in and out but of they're those. Just, yeah, they're just such cool, good looking cars, but I need to run because I'm going to go drive a car. All right, sounds good. We'll take it back to Rod and Chuck. 80,000 at 75,000. 80,000. I'll take 77,500 if it helps you. 75,000. 80,000. 80,000. Guys, it's going to sell today. You want a big block Corvette Killer colors, awesome car, ready to go today. 75,000. 775. 775. At 75,000. 775. At 75,000. 77,500. This body style has been appreciating more and more every year for the last five years. And in my opinion, I think it's going to continue to do that, guys. Phenomenal car. 75 on bid, 77.5, 77.5 at 75,000. I'll take 76,000. I'm working hard because the car is worth it, guys. At 75,000, 76,000 at 76,000 for the first time. 
I sell the car if you're all done. Third and final call. Y'all done? Sold on the internet, 75,000. Sold 75,000. 900. 900 on the internet. Lot number 37 is the 1964 Sunbeam Tiger Mark I, body number one Roadster. Again, it's body number one. It's the first production model built and Rota number one. Certificate of authenticity from the Sunbeam Tiger Owners Association and Coventry Transport Museum. Please note this vehicle's title is a 65 and designated as body 0001. Please note the correct VIN is B9470047. All right, gang, here it is. Iconic, incredibly significant, desirable little tiger. How much here, guys, who give uh, 220,000? 220, 200,000, 200,000, 200,000. Going to be sold here today, guys. At 200,000, at 222, two, two, 200, 200,000. Who give 100,000 to start? 75, thanks, Tom. 75 and bid. Now 100. 75, 100,000. 75 and bid. 100,000. 100,000. Well, I was talking to John Cruz last night, friends, and this 1964 Sunbeam Tiger Mark I Roadster. He said was one of his favorites here at the auction and it's not hard to imagine why I mean Considering that this is the absolute first uh, of its kind this special tiger And it's just got an amazing story Everyone loves the legacy of Carroll Shelby and all the different cars and projects that he's put his name on and just to hear the story of how this little British uh, sports car maker needed an engine reached out to Carroll Shelby gets this uh, gets his v8 to power this sports car and it's just a lot of fun this is a great example all around even beside the fact that it's the first one uh, beautifully restored great looking car and uh, let's see how it does we'll take it back to Rob it's your turn 105 15 if you like it again 15 115 120 125 125 125. No, you're not. 125. 125. I've had four bidders. 125. 120, I bid. 125. The very first body done. Phenomenal. And it's going to be sold today, guys. And it's the best color I've ever seen. 120. 125. I will sell the car today. 125. 120, I bid. 125. 120, I bid. 125. If you ever wanted a tiger, this is the one right here, right now. 120, 125. At 125. At 120, I bid. 125. Anybody else? At 125. Body number one, the first tiger. Going to be sold here. We're going to make history. 120, 125. Anybody else? Are you sure? 125, I have. All done. Sold. It's going to a great collection. He's going to love that. Sold. 120,000. Bitter number, Adam? 245. Thanks, brother. 245. Glad you guys got it. 245. And lot number 38 is the 1961 Chrysler 300G Coupe. Selling without reserve. This car's had a fine quality restoration. Back to its original specifications. It has factory air conditioning and it works properly, along with leather interior and full power complements. 300G Coupe. What a great time for style and design American cars. I love the looks of these beautiful letter cars from Chrysler guys who give uh, 80,000. 80,000. Who give 80,000? Who give 70,000? What do you want to pay guys? 50. 25. 50. All right guys, I'm sitting here in a 19 61 Chrysler 300G and uh, if you know anything about Chrysler's these letter cars as they're known are pretty darn special They only made about 1200 of them in this year Which makes it pretty special and the whole thing with the letter cars is that's what de designated this to be the big engine This was the top of the fleet in their otherwise, you know 
normal good V8 cars. Now this one's special to me because my dad had the non-letter car version of this in the same year. So he was telling me all about it and about how it was one of his favorite cars. Now his didn't have all the equipment that this does. This has the full power suite, power steering, power brakes. It even has air conditioning. But my favorite, favorite part about these cars, other than the push button gear selector, is this gauge cluster. It's so cool. It might not show up on camera because it's a little dark, but it has this kind of dome and this theater that comes in. So it's not just the speedometer in the background, but you have your fuel gauge, your temp gauge, your oil gauge, and your amp meter all kind of in concert coming towards you. And at night, it lights up in kind of like a neon thing. Seeing this car in 1961, not only would have been very, very fancy, but that would have been the most futuristic thing ever. And it still blows minds today. I, I'm just happy to have gotten to be in one. Back to the rod on the block. Even the 33, uh, 32, even the 33, even the 33, 3, even the 33 once, 33,000 twice, third and final call, 3, 4, at 33, 34, 35, 35, get her bought, 34, 35, it's worth that all day, 34, 35, 35, 36, 36, 36, 36,000, at 35, and even 36,000, at 36,000 once, twice, seven, 37, 38, 38,000, 38,000, bid quick, 38,000, 37, 38, y'all done? Sold 37,000, sold 37,000, 368, 368 is your winner. Lot number 40 is the 1960 Chevrolet Impala Convertible. It's a factory 348 cubic inch, a legendary 348, I should say. Big block engine with automatic transmission, finished in stunning factory Roman red. It's well optioned with power steering, power brakes, factory dual antennas, as well as fender skirts. All right, gang, here is a pretty, pretty, pretty car. Impala convertible, ladies and gentlemen. Let's have some fun on this one. All right, John Boy, let's have fun. Here we go. Who give uh, 150? 150, 150,000. 150,000. You give 100. They're doing that all day, guys. 100, 50, 60. 60. 60 again, 60,000. 70,000. 60 on bid, 70. 60 bid, 70. 65, 70. 70. 70. 70. 65 on 70. John, 70. I need we go to work here. 70,000. 65 on bid. 70,000. 70. 70. 67, 5. I took 70 here at the same time. 75. 70 bid. 75. 70 on bid. 75. You're out there. 70 on bid. 75. 75. 70 on bid. 75. 75. 70,000. 60 Impala convertible, fantastic color combination, guys. This is a beauty. 70 on bid. 75. At 75, it would have been fine, 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 it 70 bid, 75. At 70 bid, take 725 if you like. At 70 bid, 725. 725. At 70 bid, 725. Great car for the money, gang. 725. At 70 on bid, 725. Are you all done? At 70s with me, you're not in. 725. At 70 on bid, 725. Palm on the five, 75. At 725, 70 bid, 725. Are you all done? 725. Close it right here at 70,000. See us after on that one, guys. Lot number 41 is the 1973 Volkswagen Type 2 Westphalia Camp Mobile. Selling without reserve. Very desirable camper wagon. Great period Vincent's colored. It says fresh orange plaid interior and a smooth-running 1.7-liter air-cooled engine. This when is I, cool. When I was in high school, my older brother had one of these, and we went camping one week. We had a blast in this thing. It was great. Here to be sold, ladies and gentlemen, who give uh, how much? 50,000. 50,000. At 50 here, if it had been 50, 50, 50 here, if it had been 50,000. What do you want to spend, gang? Who give 40,000? 40,000. Who give 30,000? Set it in wherever you like, guys. 15, 20, 20,000. 15,000, 20,000, 15, even if it's 20, 20 here, even if it's 20, 20 here, even if it's 15, even if it's 20, 20, 15,000, 20,000, 15,000, 20,000, 20,000, 20,000, 15,000, I'm going to 20. You could Airbnb it and make all your money back in the first six months. 15,000. Who gets 17,5? 16, 17, 17,5. Well, I like that idea of Airbnb being this van. You know, it's interesting. We've got three different microbuses here this week. I was walking past this one on the lawn earlier, 
Elliot, and I noticed not only is this the newest one, it has this great orange plaid interior. Oh, it is. It's cool. fantastic. Brian, you're absolutely right. Um, this one is right. And in fact, to make a good interesting point about Airbnb, it, you can either Turo it or Airbnb it. But yeah. I, I don't know if there's anything against the Turo laws if you sleep in your car. Yeah, I don't know about but that. But I also, there might be some laws of against driving your Airbnb. It's a good I question. Well, camper vans are definitely popular right now. And I just imagine getting they in this thing, taking a, a road trip, be great. They sure are. This is a pretty neat, pretty neat lot here. Third and final call, sold. Way in the back, 24,000. Bidder number is 281. Thank you, 281. Lot number 42 is the 1968 Plymouth Hemi Roadrunner. It's one of only 108 four-speed Hemi Roadrunners for 1968. It has a freshly rebuilt 426 cubic inch Hemi engine by Tim Banning of FHO, and it's a numbers matching example and documented by Galen Govier. Great, great Hemi car here, ladies and gentlemen. Hemi Roadrunner, fantastic car. Nicely done here, ready to go. Give 250,000. 250,000. Who give 200,000? Who give 200,000? I see your bid. I got 100,000 to start. 120. 120,000. 100 I am bid. 120 and 120. 120 again, sir. 120 I bid. 140. 140. 140,000. 30, yes, 40. 130 on bid. 140. 140. No, you're not. On a Hemi Superbird. Well, this car is a great example of why you want to come to the auction in person because seeing this triple black optioned out Plymouth Roadrunner in person just looks fantastic, Elliot. You're absolutely right, Brian. I think it does have a presence in person. It looks cool on pictures, but you're absolutely right. Now, this thing's special because it is a real Hemi Roadrunner. Now, there's a lot of people who took these cars because they made a lot of them, and they'll find a Hemi, they'll put it in there, and, well, next thing you know, you got a Hemi Roadrunner, but it's not a real numbers-matching car, which this one is. And of those, it's one of only about 108 manufactured with the four-speed manual. Uh, you know, a lot of people got them in automatic. Yep. But not this one. Black on black, manual, real Hemi car, fully restored. I mean, there's no other way to put it other than this thing's badass. It's a very cool car, and uh, let's see what's coming across the block next. First matching two-liter, 140 horsepower, flat six engine. It has Bosch mechanical fuel injection, and it's painted in guards red with On the aisle. classic Fuchs wheels. 911E, one of the great road cars from Porsche in the time. Here's a great looking example, guys. Pretty color, ready to go, sounds nice when it rolled in. Who give uh, 125? Who give 125? Who give 100,000? 100,000. And 100 here, if it had been 100. 100,000, now if it had been 100, 100, 100 here, if it had been 100, you give 100,000. What do you want to spend, guys? 50 on bid, 75. 75. 75. Here's one to buy today at 50,000. 75,000. 50,000 on bid. 75,000. 75,000. 50 on bid. 75. 75. 50 on bid. I'll take 60. 60,000. 50 on bid. 60,000. Five. 60. 55 on bid. 60,000. Pretty car. 55. 60,000. 60,000. 60,000. 55, 60,000, 55, 60,000, 55 on bid, 60,000, 60,000, a 911E injection car, phenomenal, phenomenal value here, guys, 55, where's all the dealers, 55, 60,000, 60,000, 55 on bid, 60,000, I'll take 57.5, how's that? Help yourself, guys. I'm trying to help you, but you gotta help yourself. 55, 57, 5. At 55, it would 57, 5. At 55,000, 57, 5. 55, it would 57, 5. 57, 5 on the 911 E. At 55, it would 57, 5. Fair warning, y'all done. At 57, 5, I have. Close the bidding right there at 55,000, 55,000. Lot number 44 is a 1966 Ford Mustang convertible, selling without reserve. This is a properly refreshed car with the correct springtime yellow paint. It has a 289 cubic inch V8 engine upgraded with a Holley four barrel carburetor and it has factory air conditioning. All right, gang, who give uh, 50? 
50,000 on the little Mustang convertible. Correct. 60, 50,000. How much? Well, we've got the 1966 Ford Mustang convertible here uh, with factory air conditioning, so it's great for cruising. You actually could, yeah, it's a usable car. What I like about this is this is a great entry level into collector car ownership. Uh, they made a bunch of them, but they're all still really cool, especially this one because it has the 289 and air. Um, and fun fact, that 289 is pretty much what was powering uh, that Sunbeam Tiger you talked about oh, nice. across the block. So you can imagine how fun that thing would be with uh, this motor. Absolutely. <laughs> but like I said, this is a great way to get into classic car enthusiasm. You can get these, they're pretty affordable, they're very drivable, and like I said, there's parts availability out the wazoo. These things are just fantastic. There's a reason Mustangs have been popular for years and continue to be. Well, and you don't even need the air conditioning because you can always put the top down, but it's certainly nice to have. <laughs> exactly. Let's take it back to the block. 33. 32 even to 33 at 32 even to 33 33 even to 32 33 at 32 even to 33 even to 33 33 even to 33 for the first time 33,000 for the second time third and final call I have sold 32,000 sold 32,000 320 is the number lot number 45 is a 1963 and a half Ford Galaxy 500 XL R code 427 fastback this car has it's been extremely low production car and it's the epitome of Ford's total performance program with the correct and original engine as well as components. All right, gang, this is a special, special car, guys. Here to be sold today, you give 150,000. 150,000. You give 100. Yeah, it'll go there. You give 100. 50, 75. 75,000. 50, I'm bid. 75. For you, I will. 60, 70, 70, 5, 70, 75, 75, 75, 70, I'm bid. 75, 70, 75, I'm trying to break my mouth. 77, 5, 80,000. Big block, 427 fastback, killer car, killer history, wonderful, wonderful example. And I'm only bid 77.5. Who give 80? 80,000. 80,000. 80,000. At 77.5. 80,000. 80,000. At 77.5. Bid me 80,000. 80,000. At 77.5. Bid me 80,000. 80,000. 80,000. Here is a buy for somebody. 80,000 again if you like. 80 on bid. 82.5. 82.5. 80 on bid. 82.5. At 80 here, it would have been 82.5, five, and Pommel on the 5, 82.5. At 80, been the 82.5, 85, 85, 85, 85, 85, 85, 85, 85, 85, 85, 85. This is a very, very special low production car. 82.5, 85,000, worth more money, gang. 82.5, 85. At 85,000, at 82.5, been the 85, 5, it would have been the 5, 85. At 82.5, 85, anybody else? At 85,000, at 82.5, I'm bid 85,000 for the first time. 85,000 for the second time. Third and final call, you all done. Close the bid on John's bidder, 82.5. 82.5, see us after. Lot number 46 is the 1969 Ferrari 365 GT 2 plus 2. It's one of only 800, ooh, that sounds nice. It's one of only 809 examples produced and it's a US spec model delivered with factory air conditioning and presented it's an original and highly desirable color of Azuro. Great color combination. Love this car. Great color combination, guys. Here to be sold. How much on this one, ladies and gentlemen, who give uh, 250,000? At 250. At 250,000. Hey, Terry. 250,000. At 250,000. Who give 200,000? At two, even if it's 200,000, now I'm going on two. I got 100 in two places. 100,000, I'm bid. One. I have 100 all over the place. 125, thank you, 50. 150, 125, 50. 150, 175. 150, John. Well, Ferraris always look good in red, but I really like this blue color because it just looks so uh, classy and elegant. 
Elliot, tell us about this 1969 Ferrari 365 GT. Brian, you, you nailed it. I think this is a very classy color combination, and uh, it's in the name to me. This is a cool Ferrari. I mean, obviously, Ferraris are known for being sporty, fast, and everything else. This is, but this is more of a GT car. It's like I said, it's a, it's a GT. It's in the name, 365 GT, but the 2 plus 2 means it has back seats. Yes. Uh, which means you could take the family GTing with you. Yeah, uh, of for course, a nice long cruise. Yes, of course, powered by a legendary 4.4 liter V12, and uh, it has a more traditional uh, transmission location. So most Ferraris at the time and really now had kind of a transaxle. This has, you know, your traditional flywheel clutch transmission just right to the back of the motor. Um, but that made it a good floaty GT car that was still very, very fast. And in this case, exceptionally rare. They made less than a thousand of them, approximately, I think, uh, 800, Charlie said. But man, you will have a usable car capable of modern highway speeds, but you will have the only one at whatever tour you go on. This is a cool, cool car. All right, let's take it back to Rod and Charlie. 60 bucks. 160 bid, 170. 160 on bid, 170. Bonus for you guys. 160 with Marty's bidder, 170. 170. 160 on bid, 170. 170,000. At 170,000, here's a buy. At 160 on bid, 165. 165 on the Ferrari, are y'all done? At 165 for the first time. 165 for the second time. At 165, third and final call, y'all done? Close it there at 160. Close it there at 160. Need a little, need a little potassium, Charlie. Cramp it up. Got a leg cramp. Okay. Another cramp. Oh, man. Lot number, yeah, brain cramp. Lot number 47 is the 1965 Chevrolet Corvette 327 300 Roadster, selling without reserve. This is a five-time NCRS Top Flight Award winner with a numbers matching 327 cubic inch V8 engine, and it's the first year for four-wheel independent disc brakes. Here's a beautiful, beautiful little car, guys. Wonderful car here who give 100,000. Who give 100,000. Who give 75. We're going there. 75. 40 on bid, 50. Two people give me 40. That's 80. That's pretty good, right? 40 on bid, 50. Selling to the hybrid of the day without reserve. 45, 50,000. It's 55. 55. 55, you're out in the back, 55, 55, 50 I'm bid, 55, 55,000, 50 I'm bid, 55, great, great car, 52.5, 55, 52.5, 55, 5, 57, 5, 57, 5, 50, uh, 60, 57, 5, 60,000, 60,000, 60,000, 57, 5 I'm bid, 60,000 now, 60,000 now. 50, 60, I bid, 59, 60, 60, 60,000, 60,000, 59,000, 60,000, 61, 61, bid quickly, 61,000, 61,000. Good car, David, 61,000, 62, 62, 62, still a good car, 62,000, 62,000. I sell it if you're done, 63. 63, 63, we're in the front row at 62. 63, 63, 63 for the first time. Second time, third and final time, sold 62,000. 202, 62,000. And lot number 48 is the 1968 Shelby GT500 CR Resto Mod Fastback. This car is stunning. Exceptional resto mod of a legendary Shelby, fully licensed and authorized edition, superb workmanship and equipment, performance that even Carol Shelby admired. And please note this car is titled as a 1965 Ford Mustang, and due to the age of the vehicle, the title reads exempt. All right, gang, here to be sold on the Shelby. Shelby 500 CR, wonderful car here. All right, gentlemen, here it is at uh, how much? 300, 300, 300,000, 250,000. I think it's I think it's like a one or two year wait and about 425 or 450,000 if you call them to get one built right now. 100 to start. 100 I am bid. 200 now. 200 now. 25, 50. 
125, 150. Well, Rod is absolutely correct. This is a very unique resto mod in the sense that while it is a resto mod, it's not just built by somebody you know off the street, grabbing a few parts, putting something together in their garage. This is officially licensed uh, example with the Eleanor body kit. It looks as good as it drives. It drives even better uh, than some of the originals. So we've got a uh, 427 cubic inch engine producing 545 horsepower with a Tremec five-speed manual transmission. This is a uh, phenomenal example. We've got the, the hood pins, we've got the lights, the stripes. Everything about this car is really second to none and you're not gonna be able to get one uh, without waiting a few years unless you pick one up today. In just a moment, Elliot's going to take us across the block in a Ferrari. Uh, but let's see how this GT500 handles uh, with Rod and Charlie. 175 to my right, 180,000. At 180,000. 175, 180,000. At 180,000. No, you're not. 180, 180, 175 on bid. 180,000. At 180,000. If you're all done, are you all done? 180. You're not in now. Don't miss it for five grand. 180. 175. I have no idea what you just said. 175. 180. 180. Yes, I know. 180. 175. 180. 180,000. At 175, I'm bid. 180,000. He's out in the back. Ask him, Marty. 180, 175, 180,000. Are you all done? At 180 again if you like it. 180,000. 180 I'm bid with Marty. 185, 185, 180 I'm bid. 185, 185, 180 I'm bid. 185, 185,000. Are you all done? At 185,000. At 185 for the second time. Car number 13 of just 448 produced worldwide. It has a clean Carfax, and it has just 5,058 miles since new. It's had a recent mechanical servicing, including tires. And please note, due to the age of the vehicle, mileage is not stated on the title. One of the great modern road cars from Ferrari, guys, coming in. You can hear it. It has a little stage fright. The 550 Barquetta, one-year-only production, the last of the open V12 Ferraris. Built, and it is a fantastic car, John. 550 Barquetta, one of only 448 built in the entire world for full world production. Here's a great one, guys. Who gives 750,000? Who gives 750,000? 700,000. At 700,000. At 700,000. Set it in, guys. What do you want to spend? 300 dime bid. Hey guys, I am in another one of my childhood dream cars. You're catching a theme here. This is a 2001 Ferrari 550, but if you notice from the lack of roof, that means this is a 550 Barquetta. Now, what makes this special other than the lack of roof? Well, actually, is just that. So when Ferrari was making the 550 Marinello, it was exclusively available as a hardtop. Now, this was Ferrari's flagship front engine V12, you know, kind of their main car and as it was going away and they were making way for the 575 they decided to make a special edition and it was this the 550 Barquetta and what I love about it is for the special edition they didn't just make it a little bit more hardcore or anything like that they took the roof off this was Ferrari's only front engine V12 car at the time and they went on to make a few more but they didn't make that many of these in fact only 448 for the world which means there's only about 200 in the US. So it's pretty crazy to see one ever, let alone be behind the wheel of one. And of course, like I said, you've got the front engine V12, you've got this beautiful gated six-speed manual, which makes the best snick snick sounds you can ever imagine. It's got Alcantara on the interior. This, is a, this was a born classic, it continues to be a classic, and like I said, this is the kind of car I grew up, grew up playing in video games and only seeing in posters. So the fact that I get to be in one in real life is amazing and these are the kind of opportunities you get here at Worldwide Auctioneers. Now this is a special car, it grew up special and I'm sure it's going to a very, very special home. We'll send it back to Rod on the block. Yeah. 550,000. 550,000. 540 I am bid, 550. 
at 550. At 540, I am bid 550,000. 550,000. One of a kind, tremendous road car, ladies and gentlemen, at 550. 540, 550. Are y'all done? At 550,000. At 540, I am bid 550,000 for the first time. Second time. Third and final call. Close it there on Marty's bidder. 540. Thank you for your bid, sir. Thank you. 540,000. And lot it number take more. Lot number 50 is the 1932 Ford High Boy Roadster, selling without reserve. This car has less than 400 miles since a total custom build. It has custom burgundy exterior with custom saddle tan leather interior, and it's equipped with a GM 350 Create motor. Please note this vehicle is titled as a 2020 kit car with Missouri state assigned number. Custom build. Here to be sold, ladies and gentlemen, to give uh, 75,000. 75,000, 75,000, you get 50,000. Set it in, guys, what do you want to pay in the little hot rod? You get 50, you get 40, 40,000, 40,000, you get 20. You can all do that, 30, 20 on bid, now 30. 20 bid, 30, 30,000, 20 on bid, 30, 30 here, 25, 25,000, 20 on bid, 25, 22, 5, 25, 22, 5, 25. 22, five in the back, 25,000, 25,000. The bid's with me, 22, five in the back, 25,000, 25,000. Get your hands up, guys. Look at this little roadster. 20, five, 27, five, 27, five, 25, 27, five, at 25,000, 27, five, at 25, 27, five. Get your bids in, guys. We're going to sell it at 25,000, 27, five. 27.5. Yeah, I would. You couldn't build it for double or triple. 25. 26. 26,000. I'm going to sell it at 25. Get your hands up, guys. There's way more car there. 25. 26,000. Riggins is in at 25. 26,000. At 26,000 for the first time. 26,000 for the second time. Are you all done? Third and final call. Sold 25,000. Riggins, 25,000. Bidder number? 424. 424. Thank you, sir. And lot number 51 is the 1966 Austin Healey BJ8 Roadster. Listen to this beautiful car coming up. This car has had a complete ground up restoration, and it is, of course, a sporting British Roadster equipped with overdrive, and it's accompanied by a British Motor Industry Heritage Trust certificate. All right, guys, lot 51. Here's a pretty little Healey. You'll give 100,000. 100,000 on the phones. Here we go. 100,000. 100,000. Let's get it sold today, guys. You give uh, 75. 75. 30 on bid. Now 40. And 50. 40 on bid. 50,000. 50,000. 40 on bid. I'm still pinching myself from that uh, childhood dream car moment there, Brian. But on the block right now, we have lot number 51, a 1966 Austin Healey BJ8 Roadster. Now, I grew up with my uncle having Austin Healey Sprites, which were oh, nice. uh, very different and stripped down versions of these. Can you tell us a little bit about what makes this one special? Yeah, well, we know every great British sports car, we've got this long hood or bonnet, as they say, yes, they uh, two door, you know, two seat sports coupe. Uh, what's great about this one is that it is uh, restored from the ground up. So it's a great example, lovely color. The color combination is great. Even the top is blue. Yeah, every yeah. part of it. And uh, you've got that beautiful interior. Every part of it uh, looks fantastic. We've got these chrome uh, wire wheels, and it just looks like it's ready for a good time. Yes, this one is a little bit more equipped for uh, long-term touring than the Sprites were, that's for sure. Um, they ride a little smoother, a little heavier, uh, but in a good way. But either way, it's getting a good, it's fetching a, a pretty handsome price right now, and I think Rod's got somebody interested, so we'll send some, spend it back to him on the block. Sounds good. I have a bid, 65,000 now. At, just tell me yes or no. At 65, 65,000. At 62, just tell me yes or no. 65,000 for the first time. That's a great car, gang. 62,5, 65,000 for the second time. At 62.5, are you all done? At 65,000 for the third and final time, all done. I have, what's he saying? I need a yes or no. 
It's going to be sold today. I need to know now if you want to bid, sir. It's going to be sold today, but I need to know if you want to bid quickly. 62.5 in the back, 65,000. First time, are you sure? Second time, it's a better car. Third and final time, sold in the back, 62.5. Sold, 62.5, nicely done. And that bidder number is? 416, thank you, Marty, 416. Lot number 52 is the 1948 Telbo Lago T26 Record three-position cabriolet. This beautiful car was exhibited at the 1949 Paris Salon, and it has its original 4,482cc inline six-cylinder engine along with dual carburation. Again. Great car here, ladies and gentlemen. Love the style, the design, wonderfully understated. Here to be sold today, ladies and gentlemen, who give uh, 350,000. 300,000. At 300,000. Set it in, guys. 300,000. 150. 100 iron bid. 150. 100 iron bid. 150. Again, 150. 150 there. At 150. Well, just a little bit ago, we had a different French car, the Delahaye, cross the block. Now we've got the 1948 Talbo Lago T26 record three position cabriolet. Elliot, what do you like about this car? Well, uh, similarly, uh, Brian, what I liked about the Delahaye, it has that three position top, and like we saw that the, the Delahaye in position two. <laughs> I know that's not what it really is called, but this is it's fully down, but it has that same kind of three position top. I love that, but what I really love about this car is uh, its provenance. So this one isn't just a 1948 Talbo Lago. This was the car displayed at the, at the 49 Paris Auto Salon, and being a French car, that's like being the premier year at the New York Auto Show or whatever, you know, the equivalent here. So Absolutely. this was a very important car seen by a lot of people, photographed a ton of times in 1948. Um, and the, the best part is about this thing is it's concourse ready. It was actually restored in Europe where you could actually get the parts for this thing. Um, and it's powered by a dual overhead cam six that makes 190 horsepower, which I know doesn't sound like a lot today, but in 1948, that mm -hmm. was quite a bit. So this thing will actually keep up with traffic. It's ready to tour, it's ready to show, and uh, I think it looks great doing it. Yeah, it's a great car, great example. Let's see how it does cross the block. Are you all done at 175 on bid? 180,000. I do believe it is a better car, ladies and gentlemen. 180,000 on the beautiful Talbot Lago. 180 if you like it. At 175, 180,000 for the first time. 180,000, ladies and gentlemen, for the second time. Third and final call, are you all done? 180. See us later on that one, guys. Do see us later on that one. Lot number 53 more. is the 1964 Ford 427 cubic inch center Euler engine, selling without reserve. I think they just fired it up. It's a 1964 yep. date-coded, fully functioning engine, and please note this is being sold on a bill of sale only. Oh, it's a video. Great, great uh, engine here, guys. Nicely done, nicely documented setup. If you've got a big muscle car, it goes nicely into a Cobra. If you've got a Cobra that needs an engine, uh, phenomenal Ford built. Uh, you could put it in several variants of the Ford racing cars. And uh, run, starts, ready to go, and it's operational. You can drop it in right now. Who give 50,000? Who give 40,000 on the engine? Who give 40,000? Who get 20,000? 20,000. If you've got a big if you got a big muscle car, if you're doing a custom build and you need an engine, here you go. Don't let somebody charge you 100,000 to build you an engine. We get 20,000. We give 10,000. 10,000 on the big block. We give 10,000. 5 7500. 7500. 5,000 on bid. 7500. 5,000 on bid on the big block. 5 on 7500. 7500. 5,000, you get 6,000. Friends, you could part it out for more. 5,000, 6,000, $6,000, seven, 7,000, 7,000. If you're building a car, this is absolutely the best way. 6,500, 7,000, 7,000, 7,000, 7,000. Get her bought. 6,500, 7,000 on the big 427. It's ready to go. 427, ready to go. 6,500, 7,000. 
at 7 with 7,000, 7,500, 7,500, 7,500, 7,500, 7,500. At 7,000, I bid. 7,500 there. 8,000, 8,000, 8,000, 8,000. You can't make any mistake buying this. I already said that. You couldn't, you couldn't do it. 75, 8,000, 8,000, 8,000, 7,500, 8,000. It'd be 20 grand to rebuild one if I gave you a motor. 75, if I gave you the motor, 7,500, 8,000. Are you all done? At 8,000 once, twice, third and final call. Sold, 7,500, sold, 7,500. What's the bidder number there? 1022, 1022, thank you. Lot number 54 is a 1957 Chevrolet Bel Air fuel-injected convertible. This has the fuel-injected uh, 283, 250 horsepower engine. It's finished in Matador red over a two-tone red and silver interior. It's one of the most iconic American cars ever produced. And please note the title is in transit. All right, ladies and gentlemen, one of the great iconic cars of the 50s. Beautiful car here, ladies and gentlemen. What do you want to have? Uh, who give 150,000? 150,000. At 100, we're going there. Who give 100? Fuel injected Bel Air convertible. At 100, how much? 50 I'm bid. 75. 75,000. 50 I'm bid. Now 75. 500, 75. It'd have been 50 here. 60. Yes, 70. 70. At 60,000. Now 70,000. 70,000, 60 I'm bid, now 70, 70,000, 60, I have 60 already, 5, 70, 70,000, at 65, I'm going to 70, 70,000, at 65, I'm going to 70, bid me 70,000, I'm going to 70, bid me 70, 65, 70,000. Well, this 1957 Chevy Bel Air, uh, you were telling me a moment ago, Elliot, that this is a really special example of the Bel Air. You're absolutely right, Brian. It's special because it's fuel injected, and 57 was the only year you could get a fuely Bel Air. So this is special because, well, A, it exists, but this one is in immaculate condition. It's a convertible, making it that much more desirable. And I love these because it was the peak 50s styling. I mean, I think everybody likes 55s, some like 56s. I really love 57s because of the fins, uh, but this is the most desirable trim level of that, a fuel-injected convertible, and it's not modified. Uh, one of my favorite facts about these is because they were so about style, is you see those two antennas in the rear? Yeah. Only one of them is functional. The other one was just put there for symmetry. That's how much they cared about style back then, and That's I amazing. love it so much. And this car just presents so well. I've been looking at it all week. But let's send it back to Rod on the block and see what it goes for. 80,000. Got four bidders. 80,000. 80,000. 77,5. 82,500. 82,500. 825, if you like it, 825. 825. I have 80 already. 825 again, do you want it, Tom? 85, 875, 875, 85, 875. At 85, 875, fuel injected, Bel Air convertible, ready to go, drive it, have fun today. 85, 85, 85. Anyone else? 85, 875. At 85, 87, 5, anybody else? At 85, 87, 5, fair warning. At 85, 87, 5, get your bids in, hands up. Y'all done? Close the bid right here. See us later on that one, guys. And it's a better car. Lot number 55 is the 1963 Ford 289 cubic inch high performance five bolt engine selling without reserve. This is a 1963 date coded, fully functioning and running 289. There's the video up there. Please note this is selling on a bill of sale only. Obviously, bill of sale for the great little 289. Again, it goes in, uh, it goes in Mustangs, it goes in Cobras, it goes in Sunbeam Tigers. 289, high performance, very desirable engineer gang. Who give 10 grand on this one? 10,000. Who give 10,000? Who give 5,000? Who give 5,000 on this one? 5,000, three, four, 4,000, 3,000, 4,000. Everybody can bid. 4,000, 3,000 on bid. 4,000 now. 289 high performance engine. 4,000, three on bid. Now four. 4,000, 3,000, 4,000. Put this in a K code Mustang, guys. These engines are fantastic. 3,000, 4,000. Going to be sold, 
today. Pay attention. At 3,000, 4,000. At three, even if it's four, even if it's 4,000. Five, four, five, same guy. 4,000, 5,000, 5,000, 5,000, 5,000. I don't believe it, guys. 5,000. 289 hypo. 4,000, 5,000, 5,000. Put that in a Mustang. It makes a Mustang worth 10 or 15 grand more, guys. Think about it. 5,000. Hey, who bought that Citron earlier? 4,000, 5,000. At five and five, anybody else? At 4,000, 5,000. Are you all done on the engine? Sold, 4,000. Sold, 4,000. Bitter number? 407, Marty. 407. And lot number 56 is the 2004 Lamborghini Murcielago six-speed. This is one of only 31 examples produced for the U.S. market in 2004, and it's the highly desirable gated six-speed manual gearbox, factory sport exhaust, and factory bicolor black and yellow deviant interior. Please note, due to the age of the vehicle, mileage is not stated on the title. This car looks it. and sounds absolutely phenomenal. All right, gang, let's sell a great little Lamborghini here to be sold. Today, you give uh, 500000 400000 at 400000 at 400000 Ladies and gentlemen, here is the six-speed. Hi. Folks, this is a special one. I am right now sitting behind the driver's wheel of a 2004 Lamborghini Murcielago. Now, earlier, I drove a Lamborghini Murcielago LP640 Roadster across the block. As you can see from my headroom, this is a coupe. But what makes this one special is uh, right over here to my right hand. This is a gated manual. And if you've been following the market, these are all the rage right now. When these cars were new, everyone was kind of going with the newest thing, which would have been the E-gear. And of course, dealers touted that as the future. That's the way things are going. It was like a race transmission. So very few people opted for the manual. So few, in fact, they only made 35 in this color for this year, uh, which is not a whole lot, as you can imagine, which makes the values go up quite a bit. Now, of course, we're not lacking for power either. Over 500 horsepower from the 6.2 liter V12 that sits right behind us. And I'll tell you from the cold start that I just did, this has the sport exhaust and it sounds absolutely awesome. Now these are certified collector cars. I love the color. I'm a big bright color guy. I think every Lamborghini should be something loud. And this one is not only audibly loud, but visually loud. And of course, again, you have the gated six speed, which I can't even stop running through the gears, even on the block right now, because it makes the coolest tactile feedback sound. This is a certified collector car. It comes from known famous ownership. I can't necessarily say who, but this is a great, great buy for somebody. We're happy to have it here on Worldwide TV. Back to Rod on the block. I've on bid. 240,000, if it helps you. 225. 240,000. 240,000. Unbelievable car to drive. The market on these cars has been climbing. It's going to continue to do so. And here's a great car. If you want to park your money in a fun place, this is it right here, right now. 225. 240. 240,000. At 225, I'll take 230. Friends, I'll help you, but you gotta help yourselves. The car's incredible. At 225, 230,000. At 225, I'm bid. 230,000. At 230,000. 230,000, ladies and gentlemen, for the first time. At 230,000, the car is phenomenal, guys. At 230,000, for the third time. Anyone else? Y'all done? Close the bidding. It does take more, guys. See us after on that one. It Ooh. does take more. Lot number 57 is the 1966 Pontiac GTO convertible. Selling without reserve. This car has a 389 cubic inch V8 engine, Rochester Tri-Power, triple two-barrel carburation, Pontiac Rally One wheels, and it's accompanied by its PHS documentation. GTO, wonderful car. Great car from the period, ladies and gentlemen, and here to be sold without reserve. On the GTO, who give 100,000? 100,000. You can all bid, guys. 100,000. 30 on bid. 40. 40,000. Listen to that Lambo. 30 on bid. 40,000. 40,000. GTO, selling the hybrid today, guys. At 30 on bid. 40,000. 40,000. At 30 here, if it bid 40, bid me 40,000. I'm going to 30, bid me 40. Selling today to the high bidder. 30,000, 40,000, 32,500, 35,000, 
35,000. Better car, gang. Better car. 325, 35, 37, 5. 37, 5. 35 on bid. 37, 5. 40. 37, 5 with Marty. 40. 37, 5. 40. Who said 40? 42, 5. 40 with Riggins. 42, 5. 40 on bid with Mike Riggins. 42, 5. 42, 5. 42, 5. Don't wait. It costs him money every time. 40 on bid. 42, 5. It's going to sell today. At 40,000 I'm bid. 425, 45. 425, 45. 425, 45,000. 475. 45, 47, 5. 47, 5. 45 and 47, 5. 45,000. 47, 5. I sell the car if you're done. At 45,000, 47, 5. At 45, 47, 5. Y'all done? At 45 and 47, 5. 47, 5. At 45, 47, 5. 46,000. I sell it then if you're done. At 45 for the first time. Second time. Third and final call. Y'all done? Sold 45,000 in the back. Sold 45,000. Better number. 659 is the winner. And lot number 58, my personal favorite in the auction today. This is the 1940 Packard Darren 1807 convertible sedan. It's one of only 11 built. It's a Pebble Beach Concordia Elegance Award winner. It's a classic Car Club of America 100-point recipient multiple times. And it's a CCCA annual meeting best of show car. I could go on and on, but take a look at this jaw-droppingly beautiful car. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here to be sold today. Great car here, ladies and gentlemen. One of the great, great pre-war classics. Stunning, custom-bodied. Wonderful car here. We give 500,000. We give 500,000. Take four. Let's go at 400,000. Set it in, gang. What do you like? Four, 200, I am bid. 300 now. At 200, I am bid. 250. At 250,000. At 200, now, 250. At 250, there, there. Do you want to bid 250,000? 275,000. 275,000. 275,000. 250 I am bid, 275, 275, 60, yes I will, 270, 270 again, 270, 280, 280 I am bid, 280 I am bid, 270, 280, 280,000, 280,000, 280,000, at 270 seated here, 280 now, multiple award winner. Multiple award winner, great car, 280 on bid, 290 now. At 280 on bid, 290. Well, if you've ever made your way out to Pebble Beach for the Concours d'Elegance, you know what a big deal it is for a car to win awards there. And this 1940 Packard is exactly that. It's an award-winning car, uh, both at Pebble Beach as well as the Classic Car Club of America, a 100-point recipient multiple times, annual best meeting, best of show winner from the CCCA. I mean, this is just uh, an amazing car. It's won a lot of awards. Uh, what do you like about it, Elliot? Well, Brian, I like a lot of things about it, and we saw the two-door version of this car cross the block earlier, and what's interesting to me is the two-door version had running boards. This four-door version, no running boards. Interesting. Pretty interesting. Yeah. Uh, but what's really important about this car is its provenance. Yes, it's been to Pebble Beach. It's won awards. And more importantly so to Packard fans, the fact that it did win a CCCA award means it's the best of that focused group of cars. So this thing obviously shows well, and I know for a fact it goes well because John Cruz knows the previous owners uh, for, you know, forever. I mean, this has really proven documented ownership, and it's a ready-to-go show car. I mean, you know, if it's been to Pebble Beach once, it means it's ready to go again. You could definitely show it at Amelia, but it's also a good drivable car. These are very powerful, strong engines. They're definitely capable of keeping up with modern day traffic. And I always love a four-door convertible. Uh, believe it or not, that post in the middle will come right out. Um, oh, and wow. it's a convertible, but because this is kind of an exotic, or not an exotic, but a coach-built car, it's also really as sound as a coupe when the top is up because of that extra pillar and the roll-up windows. But it's also an exceptionally rare car. I mean, they're already rare to begin with, but it's one of only 11 known to be built 
in this sort of configuration. So it's just an outstanding car, and we're proud to have it here at Worldwide Auctioneers. Yeah, it's a phenomenal car, and I can't wait to see who's able to drive it home. 310, it's the only one you'll see. At 310 for the second time, third and final call, fair warning. Sold, give a hand, it's going to a great collection. Sold, 300,000, going to a great, great collection. One zero one six. I'm glad he got it. One zero one six. And lot number fifty nine is the 1970 Porsche 914 six Targa. It's one of only three thousand three hundred and fifty one examples produced, and it was restored by SCCA Porsche racer and Porsche expert Bob Hinson. It's attractively presented in signal orange, an original L two one five paint code. Ladies and gentlemen, love these little sixes. This car is special. It is phenomenal. Great car. Here to be sold today, ladies and gentlemen. You rarely see the 914 6 variant. And this is a great one. Here to be sold for you all now, guys. You give 100,000. 100,000. 100,000. What a, what a great car. 100. 30 on bid. Now 40. 40,000. 40,000. 30 on bid. 40,000. 40,000. 5. 40. 35, 40, 40 again if you like, sir. 40, 45, 50, 45, 50, 50. I, got, I have them already at 45, 50,000. 45, 50,000. At 45, telephone's out. 50, 5, 60, quickly, 60, 5, 70, 70, get a bot, 5, 80, 80,000, 80,000, 80,000, 85, 85, 85, 82, 5, 85, 82, 5, 85, 87, 5, three bidders, 87, 5, John, 90, 90, 90,000, 90,000, get a bot, I don't know where you get another one like that, 90, 92, 5, 92, 5, 92, 5, get a bot, 92, 5, it's 92, 5, guys, 92, 5, yes or no, I wouldn't take 89, 92, 5. I wouldn't take 89, 92.5. It's worth it all day, 90 on bid. Are we selling it? At 90,000, 92.5, you all done? At 90 bid, 92.5, one of the best built 914.6s ever. Yeah, it's gonna be sold today and it is a phenomenal car, you won't be disappointed. 92.5 for the first time, 92.5 for the second time. Third and final time, are you all done? Sold 90, thank you. Sold 90,000 back there at Marty on the aisle. Bitter number 271, 271, thank you. Lot number 60 is the 1956 Chevrolet Corvette Roadster, selling without reserve. It's offered with the original two speed Power Glide automatic transmission and powered by aftermarket dual quad carburetors along with a 5.7 liter V8 engine. Please note this Corvette is equipped with a manual top and does not have a hard top. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. This car is a wonderful little Corvette. Killer colors. Here to be sold, ladies and gentlemen, to give 100. 100,000. 100,000. It gets 75. 75,000. 75,000. Set it in, guys. What do you want to pay on the 56? 30 on bid, 40. Everybody can bid. 40,000. 30 on bid, 40,000. 40,000, 30 on bid, 40,000. Guys, I'm gonna sell a 56 Corvette Roadster right here, right now, pay attention. 30 on bid, 40, 40,000. Well, we've got this 1956 Corvette Roadster. This one with a great two-tone paint job. We've got a, a later add 5.7 liter small block made it to the original two-speed Power Glide automatic transmission. Elliot, tell us about this car. Well, you know, it's a Corvette, so I have to. Uh, so this is a 56, and uh, this is kind of the first body style that people would recognize as a Corvette. So the 53, 4, and 5, well, you just didn't see a lot of them, and they don't they don't look what people think look, Corvettes look like. But this with the two-tone, the cove, the white cove on the side is what really made Corvettes start to sell. And, uh, and this one's just optioned very interestingly. So it has the big motor with the dual quads, uh, but it has the power glide. So pretty cool. I mean, I've driven a Power Glide car extensively. But the other thing that I like about this car 
is that it has both tops. So it has its removable hard top, but it also has the rare power operated soft top. Uh, not only that, though, it, uh, it's also a radio delete and heater delete car, so it's kind of interesting that somebody kind of wanted the sportier options there, or lack of options, but then went with the power glide. So maybe they were drag racing, who knows? But yeah, who knows? it's a really, really cool car. It's classic Corvette colors. I love the exhaust coming out of the bumpers. Uh, this is, like I said, a very significant car in Chevrolet history, and it presents beautifully. Let's send it back to Rod on the block. 52,000. 52,000. 52,000, 50,000 I bid, 52,000 I sell it. At 50,000, 52,000 for the first time, second time, third and final call, y'all done? Sold $50,000, number 249. Would you, me, would you do me a favor and stand up for a minute? Ladies and gentlemen, the guy that just bought that car is Mitch Silver, and that gentleman, listen to me, gave me the first opportunity to sell collector cars. He hired me in 1987. The first collector car auction I ever did was for that man right there. I'm eternally grateful and I'm so glad you're here. Love you, brother. And lot number, number 61 is the 1963 Porsche 356B Super Cabriolet. This car has been upgraded with an SC engine as well as disc brakes. It has original body panels and date code wheels, and it's the original livery of ruby red over black leather interior. Guys, here's a great, great car. I've driven this. I've driven a bunch, owned them. This is a solid, fantastic car. Uh, super variant. The engine's upgraded. It runs and drives like a new car, and it looks like a new car. It's ready to go, guys. You give 175000 at 175, 175,000. We give 150,000 on the beautiful little Porsche. 150,000. What do you want to pay, gang? 75 on bid, 100. At 100,000. At 75 bid, 100,000. 100,000. 90 on bid, 100. 100, 10. 110. I have 100 already. 10, 20. 110 is here to my right, 120. 110 on bid, 120. 1. 15, 120, 5, 125, 120 on bid, 125, 125, 120 on bid, 125, 125, 120 on bid, 125, 125,000, at 120 on bid, 125, don't miss it, 125, 120 on bid, 125, upgraded, it's phenomenal guys, it runs and drives like a new one, and it looks phenomenal, the restoration was fantastic, Great, great quality here for the money, guys. 120 on bid, 125. 125. 120 on bid, 125. If you like it, buy it, gang. You're not going to get a more car for less anywhere in the world. 120 on bid, 125. 120 on bid, 125. 125. Are you all done? 120 and my guy then, if you miss it, you're going to miss it forever. 120 on bid. 125. 125. 120 on bid, 125 for the first time. At 120, you'll love it. 120, anyone else? At 125. At 120, bid me 1225. 120, bid me 1225. 1225. 1225. 1225. Are we all done? At 120, I'm bid. Yep, I agree. It's going to be a great buy. Are you all done? Fair warning, I have. Sold right there, 382, 120, sold, 382. And lot number 62 is the 1961 Mercedes-Benz 300 SL Roadster, selling without reserve. This is a late model, big break example, equipped from the factory. It's one of only 250 produced for the model year, and it's a numbers matching engine, gearbox, rear end, and it has the highly desirable factory DB40 black over factory red interior. And Rod, I'm gonna turn it over to you. You know this car very, very well. I do, guys. I do know this car very well. Phenomenal history. One of, it might be the, the least production color there is in factory black. An outstanding example. I've known this car for many, many years. Uh, sold it to, uh, in 2015. One of the reasons I know it well is because my father-in-law owned it. So I can tell you unequivocally that the car is fantastic. 
in every regard. The engine's been completely rebuilt. The paint, as you can see, is phenomenal, as is the interior, and the car drives beautifully. 300 SL Roadster in black, factory black, without reserve, ladies and gentlemen, you give two million. At two million, take 1.5, ladies and gentlemen, at 1.5 million. At 1.5 million, set it in wherever you like, guys. How much? 500,000, 600,000, 600,000, 600,000, 700,000, 700,000, 800,000. Well, I got to say, this might be one of my, this might be my favorite car here at the show. This 61 Mercedes-Benz 300 SL Roadster. Of course, it's not a Gullwing because it's a convertible. But when I saw that red leather interior, Elliot, I about melted. I mean, this thing looks phenomenal. Yeah, Brian. Well, this is the cover car of this auction for a reason. Um, it's it's the most special car uh, that we have it right now at the auction. I mean, it's hard to say that, but it's an iconic car. If you're a collector, uh, you know what these, this means. Uh, these are just stupendous. I love the color combination, like you said, the red on, or the, the black on red, but I love it because it has a red top as well, and I think that yes, really it sends it over the edge. And this one's pretty rare because it's a big brake car from the factory. And then even cooler, this has 35 years of single ownership which is uh, really that, the second owner. on something like this. This car hasn't been passed around a lot. So really just a significant car, an iconic car, a must-have for any collector. And for that, we need to send it back to the block because this one's too exciting to talk over. Let's see how the bids go. At 1,200,000, if you want it, it will sell today to the highest bidder. 1,100,000 I am bid, 1,150,000 I'll do. But you have to be quick. 1,150,000. 1,150,000, 1,150,000, 1,000,000 I am bid, 1.1 I am bid, 1,150,000, 1,150,000, are you all done? We sell the car today, make no mistake, 1,000,000 one is bid, 1,125,000 if you like it. 1,125,000. I sell the car today. I thought it would bring a million five or six guys, honestly. 1,125,000. million one, one 1,125,000. The only mistake you make is not bidding, ladies and gentlemen. We sell the car today. 1,000,000. One, 1,000,000. One, 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 Are you all done? At 1,125,000. 1,100,000 I am bid, 1,125,000. Phenomenal car, factory black, big brake roadster. Absolutely no mistake can be made if you purchase this, guys. 1,000,000 is bid, 1,125,000. I sell it if you're done. Are there any further bids? At 1,125,000. At 1,125,000 for the first time. 1,125,000, ladies and gentlemen, for the second time. At 1,125,000, I sell the car. Are you all done? Third and final time, I have sold 1.1 million. 1.1 million is the winner. Bitter 5-5, five, five. Bitter 5-5 five, five at 1.1 million. And lot number 63 is the 1959 Cadillac Eldorado Baritz Convertible. It's an iconic 50s era big fin styling with st a stunning color combination. Upgraded with added air conditioning. It was equipped with Autronic eye dimming headlights, cruise control, and easy glass. Easy eye glass, sorry. Love the 59s, guys. There it is. That's the great car in the 50s here, ladies and gentlemen, who give uh, 300. 200,000. I'm a bit 100 in two places. 125 again, 125, 150, 150. 125 on bid, 150. 150,000. 125 on bid, 150,000. At 125, 150. 125,000, 150,000. 150,000. Big fins, big presence, 125, 150,000. Beautiful 59 Eldo, 150,000, 
125, I'm bid. 150,000. 40,000. 50,000. 150,000 again. 150. 150 again if you like, sir. 160. 70. 170 again, sir. 170. 170. 180. 180. 185 with me, 190. 190,000. 185 on bid. 190,000 on the big beautiful 59. At 190,000. At 185, bid me 190 for the first time. Second time. Third and final time. Are you all done? Fair warning. Sold right here. 185,000. 825's the winner. And lot number, lot number 64 is the 1968 Shelby GT 500 KR convertible. It's one of just 518 convertibles produced. This car is accompanied by its deluxe Smarty Report, and it's listed in the SAAC registry as number 3873, and it's had a nut and bolt restoration. All right, guys. Love this car. Documentation, correctness, you won't find... A better example here today, ladies and gentlemen, on the beautiful Shelby, you get 300,000. At 300,000. 300,000. Real deal, big boy Shelby, KR convertible. 300,000. 100 I'm bid. Everybody wants to bid 100. 100 I'm bid, 200 now. 120 I'm bid, 140. 140, 160. Yeah, I got him. 140, 160. 160,000 there, there. Do you want to bid 160? 160, 180. 180,000. 180,000. 160, I'm bid. 180,000. 180,000. Yes, I will. 170, 180. 180 again if you like it, sir. 180, 190. 190. 180, I'm bid. 190,000. 190, 180, 190. Nope, I have 180. 190. 180, 180, 190. Killer, killer colors. Uh, 180, 170, yes, you were 170. 180, you can be 180 though. Same, yes, they're side by side. 170, 180. 180, he lets you back in. 170, 180. 170, I'm bid, 180,000. 170, I'm bid, 180,000. 170 is bid. 180, ladies and gentlemen, on a great, great KR convertible. 170, 180. At 180, for the price of a coupe, you get a KR convertible, guys. Think about it. 180,000. 170, I'm bid. 180,000. 180,000. Are y'all done? At 170, here, with the bid, 180,000. At 170, Tony, you're not in now, but you could be. 180. 180. Marty Report, it's got it all. 170. I'll take 175 if it helps you, gang. Here's a phenomenal opportunity if you want it. 175. 170, I'm bid. 175. At 175,000. Are you all done? At 170, here you have 175. At 170, bid me 175,000 for the first time. Second time. Third and final call. Are you all done? See us after on that one, guys. It does take... A touch more, and rightly so. See us after on, on that one. Lot number 65 is the 1957 Continental Mark II. Selling today without reserve. It's one of just 98 produced with factory air conditioning. 
Star Mist white paint with Bridge of Wear Scottish leather interior, and it has the legendary 368 cubic inch V8 engine along with a three-speed automatic. And please note this car is titled as a 1957 Lincoln. All right, ladies and gentlemen, on the Continental Mark II, great, great hand-built cars from the day who give uh, 80,000, 70,000. Who gives 70,000? Who gives 70,000, ladies and gentlemen? Here's a good one for you. Who give uh, 50,000? How much? Set it in wherever you like, guys. What do you want to spend? 20, I'm bid, 30. 30,000 on the Continental. 20, I'm bid, 30 now. 30,000, 30,000. 20, I'm bid, 30,000, 30,000. 20, I'm bid, 30,000. Guys, are you paying attention? They made, hand-built these cars for two years only. $13,000. $13,000 new. More than a Rolls Royce when it was new. Yes. 22, I'm bid, 24,000. 24,000. 22,000, I'm bid, 25, 27, 5. 25, I'm bid, 27, 5. 27, 5. 27, 5. 25, I'm bid, 27, 5. 30, 30,000, the internet's out. 27, 5, 30,000. 30,000, 30,000, 30,000. At 27,500, 30,000 now. 30,000. 30,000 at 27,500, 30,000. Guys, we're gonna sell this car today. Don't miss it. 27,500, 30. 29, 29, 30. 30, 29, 30. 30, 29 and bid, 30 now. You're out on the aisle. 29 with Marty's bidder, 30,000. I sell the car, 30,000. 29 and bid, 30,000. Internet's out. At 29, 30,000. Fair warning. At 29 and bid, 30,000 once, twice, third and final call. Y'all done? Sold. Marty's bidder there, 29. Marty's bidder, bidder number is? 320. 320. Lot number 66 is the 1969 Chevrolet Camaro LS7 Resto Mod. It's a total custom build benefiting from an additional $23,000 in recent upgrades. Striking two-tone blue and black exterior and black leather interior, and it's equipped with a GM LS7 engine along with a six-speed manual transmission. This car is cool. Great, great build here, ladies and gentlemen. How much here, ladies and gentlemen, to give uh, 200,000? To give 150? 250,000. 250,000. We give 200,000. Set it in, guys. Beautiful custom build. Here to be sold today, we give 150. I got 50 bids, 75. 75,000. 60 on bid, 70. 70,000. 70,000. 70 on bid, 80. 80,000. 80,000. 70 on bid, 80,000. You can all bid, 80,000. Nine, 80 bid, 85. 80 bid, 85,000. 85,000. 80,000 I am bid, 85 now. 85,000. Probably cost 300 to build it, guys. Maybe even more. Building cars is a big, big money deal. And here's an incredibly well built car you can take home and enjoy today. I'm a bid 80,000. 85,000. 85. 80 here, but 85,000. At 80, bid me 85. 5, bid me 85, 80 bid. 85,000. 85,000. 85,000. 85,000. I know this, if we gave you a 69 Camaro donor car and gave it to you, you couldn't do it for 250 grand today. You probably can't do it for 300. And it'd take you two years to get it done somewhere. This is a phenomenal, phenomenal opportunity, guys. If you ever wanted a great resto mod, here it is. 80 bid, 85, 85,000. At 80 here, it would have been 85. 5 would have been the 5, it would have been 80, bid me 85. At 80 here, at 85, 85, 85, 85, 85, 85,000. 85,000. At 80 here at 85. Does anyone else want to bid? At 85,000. At 80, bid me 85. 85,000. There's great value here, guys. 85,000 for the first time. At 85,000 for the second time. At 85,000, ladies and gentlemen, third and final time. Y'all done? 
Close it. It's not quite enough, guys. Not enough. It's a better car. See us after on that Lot one. Lot number 67 is the 1971 Cadillac Coupe de Ville, selling without reserve. This is a very well-maintained original example with just 17,250 mi 254 miles since new, and it's accompanied by its original sales invoice. Please note, due to the age of the vehicle, the title reads exempt. Cool. Cool. Original. Unrestored. Great car here, ladies and gentlemen. Where's Leo? How about you guys who give 50,000? Original, not restored, guys. Pay attention. Not restored. That's original paint you're looking at. The interior's original, and it is phenomenal. Who give 50 grand? 50,000. How much? What do you want to spend, guys? Set it in. How much? 20,000. 50. I got 15 here, 20. 15 here, 20,000, 5, 25, 25,000, 20, baby, 25. All original paint, interior, beautiful car. 20 on bid, 25, 25,000, 20 on bid, 25, 20 here, even if it's 25, even if it's 20, baby, 25. Everybody can bid at 20 here, even if it's 25, 25, 20 there, 25. 25,000. You can all bid, guys. You can pay double and not be wrong. 20,000. 225. I'm going to sell it when we're done. 20 bid. 225. 225. 25. 25. 27. Five. 27. Five. All right, on the block right now, it's a 1971 Cadillac Coupe de Ville, but what makes it special is that it only has 17,000 original miles, which is, uh, well, that's not very many, if you can imagine, between yeah, 1971 and now. And uh, John Cruz and I looked at this car in a video earlier this week, and it's got this really cool interior. So kind of think of Cadillacs having leather, uh, but this one has what's called Dynasty Cloth, and it's this really soft, uh, almost velvet-like material with a really cool pattern on it that would have been pretty darn fancy for 1971 and probably would have kept you from burning your legs in the summer and freezing in the winter. Yeah, it's a really great. nice car. It obviously presents very well because it's all original. They didn't have to fix anything. And trust me, you'd see it on the black. But it's been sold, so we're going to go back to the block and see what's coming up next. Yeah. Guys, Aston Martin. It's an Aston Martin Virage, ladies and gentlemen. Here is a pretty, pretty little Aston Martin, guys. All right, here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Lot 68. Yep, yep, I agree. 68, pretty in black, ready to go, give 100,000. 100,000. 100 here, if it had been 100, 100, 100 here, if it had been 100,000. 100,000. 30 on bid, 40, 40,000. At 30 here, if it had been 40 again, 40,000. Now I'm going to 40 again. Do you want it, Tom? 40, 40 to bid. Now 50. At 40 here, if it had been 50,000. Now I'm going to bid 40 here, 50. At 40,000. 50. 50 there, 60. You got 60? 50 on the internet. I'll take 55, if that helps you. 55, 50,000, 55. Aston Martin at 50,000, take 55. 55 again if you like it. 60, 55 on bid, 60,000. Internet's out. 55 on bid, 60,000, 60,000. 55 and if it's 60,000, 60,000, 60,000, 55 on bid. Take 57.5. How's that? Yeah, I'll do that for you. 57.5. 55 and if it's 57.5. 55 bid, 57.5. 55 bid, 57.5. 57.5. 55 bid, 55,000 on bid, 57.5. At 55 and if it's 57.5. 57.5. 57.5. Anybody else? At 55,000, 57,500 for the first time. At 57,500, ladies and gentlemen, for the second time. Third and final call at 57,500. Are you all done? Fair warning. Your bid there, 55,000, 55,000. See us later on that one.
This is way cool. This is really cool, guys. You give 100, 100,000, 100,000, 100,000. Set it in wherever you want. What do you want to do, guys? It's going to be sold here today. 25, 50, 50,000. 25, 50. Well, on the lawn this week, we've got Ferraris, Lamborghinis, Porsches, and Packards, but this FJ40 Land Cruiser was getting a lot of attention, and it's easy to see why. This is a really cool car. Yeah, it, you're absolutely right, Brian. Um, my favorite fact about this, and what I've been saying all week, is that the, the women of Worldwide, which does sound like it could be a calendar in the future, um, they were fawning over this whole thing. If you asked any girl that was around, what's your favorite car? Universally, it was, I like that red FJ out there. And of course, I went to go take a look at it. It's very easy to see why, like you said. Not only are FJs all the rage right now, but this one has been resto modded in a way that is just so cool. So not everybody really agrees with resto modding, but I, you know, sometimes I fall into that camp, but not in this case. This thing is pretty much perfect. These cars are notoriously great off-road, but, you know, kind of unwieldy on the streets. This solves that problem. Um, this would be both great off-road and on-road. It has been upgraded in every single way. I've seen the do documentation of the restoration and modification process. Every inch of it has been a part, gone through, and then, like I said, meticulously modified. It's amazing. And one of my favorite things is, like I said, not only does have a 350 uh, V8 in there now, but look, peeking through that front grill is this huge aluminum radiator, so this thing's not going to get hot. You actually really could rock crawl with it, drive it on the highway, whatever you want. It's just a cool vehicle, and you cannot build it for this kind of price. So it's just an incredible vehicle, and again, we're proud to offer it here at Worldwide. Yeah, whether it's FJ Cruisers, Broncos, Defenders, G-Wagons, it feels like we're really having a moment with these uh, these off-roaders, and this one is such a cool one. Let's see how Rod and Charlie interact with our bidders. 52.5. 52.5. It's going to be sold today. It's going to be sold today. 52.5 with Marty. 55. 55. 52.5 is with Marty. 55, Keith. It's pretty awesome. 55, yes. 57.5. 57, 5, 60, 60 on the aisles, 60, 2, 5, 65, 65, that's cool, 65, probably less than half of what it costs to build it, 65, 67, 5, 67, 5, 70, do you have any one more, one more, do you have one more, one more in you? 675, 70,000. Have fun. 70,000. 725. 75. Check your other pocket, Keith. Spend it. Spend it. 75. 725, 75. 75. Appreciate your help. 725. You're going to be a little sour in two hours, though, when you don't bid it. I do. It's pretty awesome. Let your money bring you happiness, they say. 725, 75. You can all bid. I'm talking to them a bunch, but you can all bid. They were 75 for the first time. 75,000. You ever see a U-Haul behind a hearse? You can't take it with you. 75,000 for the first time, second time, both good bidders. Sold 725. Thank you guys. 368, 725. Nicely done. Lot, lot number 70. Thank you, Dennis. Lot number 70 the is the 1973 and a half Porsche 911 T Targa selling without reserve. It's a black on black with the desirable long nose configuration and a Targa top. It's equipped with the matching numbers 2.4 liter six cylinder engine. Rebuilt back in 2002, and it has lots of miles left on it. And please note, the vehicle's title is a 1973. Yes, there it is, guys. Great year. Nice target here, ladies and gentlemen. Here to be sold to give 75000 Who gives 75000 75000 You give 50000 50000 Set it in, guys. What do you want to pay? How much? There's no reserve. You guys set the market. What do you want to pay? 40000 30, 30,000, 30,000. Who give 20, 
20,000 on the Targa. 911 Targa, pay attention. 911 Targa. Last year of production in this style. Here to be sold. 20 on bid. 30. 20 on bid. 30. 30,000. 20 on bid. 30 here, 30, bid me 30,000. 20,000. 30,000. 20 here, 30, 30, 30, 30. Where's all the dealers? 20, 30. Had 20 here, but if it's 30,000, I'm going to 20, bid me 30. You'll get 25. 25, 30. 25 over there, 30. 30,000. 30,000. We're just warming up. 30,000. 30,000. 25, bid 25, 30. 25,000 bid, 30,000. 25,000, 30,000. 30,000. 25 on bid, 30. I'll take 27, 5. 27, 5. 30. 30. 30. 30, 30,000, yes, 30,000, is that a yes? 325, 325, 30 on bid, 325, 325, 30,000, 325. At 30 here, 325, 30 bid me, 325, 325. 325. I sell it when you're done at 30,000, 325, 31, guys, get it bought, 31, 31,000, at 31,000 for the first time. 31,000 for the second time. 31, 32, 32, 32, 32. Is that a yes? 32, that's a no. 31, 32, 32,000 for the first time. Are you sure? 32, 33, 34, 35. Got to be five. We got four walking down the aisle. 35, 35, 35, 36. 36, 37, 37, 37. You're both out on the right. 37, 36,000, 37 for the first time. Second time, third and final time. Sold 36,000, 319. 36,000, 319 is your winner. Lot number 71 is a 1934 Packard 1104 Super 8 Dual Cowl Sport Phaeton. This car is exceedingly rare, and it's one of just three known surviving examples of the original five built. It's had a body off the frame restoration and ownership by Packard expert Don Sears, Pebble Beach Concord Elegance winner. And, and uh, uh, Rod, I know that you know this car very well, so take over. Oh, please, uh, one last thing. The correct VIN is 753156, and it's titled to the engine number. Pretty yes. typical on pre-war cars. My favorite car in the sale, guys. John Cruz, see Marty Hill, please. My favorite car in the auction. The color combination is absolutely incredible. There were only five of these ever produced. There are only three known, three known examples. This is regarded as the very best. And it is here to sell today, ladies and gentlemen, on the almost one of a kind. 34 Packer to give uh, 600, to give 500,000. 500,000. 500,000. Set it in, guys, wherever you like. 250, I'm bid. 300 now. 300 now. On the phone desk, 250, I'm bid. 300 now. 300,000. And 50. 300, I am bid. 350. 350,000. At 300 here with me. 350. Well, here we have the blast from the past, 90 years ago, the 1934 Packard 1104 Super 8 uh, came out. They, were, they only built five of them. There's only three in existence today, and this is the best one. It's, it's wild stuff, isn't it, Brian? And you know, here at Worldwide, we're known for bringing you some of the rarest and most desirable pre-war cars, and this is certainly one of them. Um, I love it because it's a dual cow Faden. I mean, Super 8s are already normally amazing. But I love the dual cow Phaeton, and if you're not familiar with it, it's when you get a basically a second windshield in the back for your for your passengers. This was definitely cool. a car that you would be driven in or chauffeured in, although it would have been quite good to drive in 34 as well. Uh, this one's actually unique though because a lot of dual cows just kind of have a second windscreen. This one actually has like a hard tonneau cover that's actually paint matched um, to the rest of the body that actually like fits over the passenger compartment um, almost like a table. It's very hard to describe. So you actually, before you get in the back, you open the doors and then lift that thing up to get in and then you're kind of encapsulated around it. So even if it was pretty chilly outside, you'd probably stay pretty warm. Um, <coughs> 
obviously this pro this thing's provenance speaks for itself. Pebble Beach award-winning car. The color combo is stunning. And as Rod said, if Rod and John are familiar with the car, that is enough. That means it's a pretty darn good car. Absolutely, It's yeah. a special car. There's a reason it was on a podium outside all week. And uh, let's see what it goes for. Back to Rod on the block. 340 seated here, 350. I'm working hard because it's a better car. A restoration of that level today on one of these cars is 700 grand. If you can find a shop that's not too busy to do it. Take 350. It, take it four years to get it back. 340 I'm bid, 350. Are you all done? At 350,000 for the first time. 350,000 for the second time. Third and final time, fair warning. Close your bid there at 340. It's not enough, though, guys. Marty, go talk to him. Lot number 72 is the 1976 Cadillac Eldorado Convertible. The odometer reads an incredible 73 miles since new. It's highly original and highly optioned. Time capsule example, and the original window sticker goes with the car. Please note, due to the age of the vehicle, the title does read exempt. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is phenomenal, guys. 76 Eldo. How much here? Give 100,000. 100,000. 73 miles on the odometer. I've got more miles on these shoes this week. Here to be sold, guys. 100,000. 80,000. 30 I'm bid. 40 now. 40,000. 30,000. 40,000. 40,000. 35, 40. 40,000. 35, 40. 40 I'm bid, 45. 40 I'm bid, 45. 45. 40,000, 45,000. 45,000. 40 I'm bid, 45,000. 45,000. 45,000. At 40 here, even if it's 45, 45, 45,000. At 40 I'm bid, 42, 5, 45. 42, 5, 45. 42, 5, 45. Well, as Charlie just told us, this Cadillac Eldorado from 1976 only has 73 miles on it, which is just insane. And that makes sense because I think about half of those miles are in the length of the car. This thing is as long as a football field. Uh, tell us a little bit more about it, Elliot. No, you're absolutely right, Brian. Um, the main thing about this car is the low mileage, but the way it presents. I actually had a customer come up uh, earlier this morning to ask me when the restoration was done because the paint looks so good. And I was wow. like, well, sir, it hasn't been restored. It just has 73 miles. And I mean, that alone is incredible. I mean, you could have accidentally driven this thing 73 miles between 1971 and now, or 76. I mean, it's just incredible. I don't know who had the space to store this thing for that long so well, but it's been incredible. I mean, I had the privilege of touching the seats earlier and uh, nice. I've never felt a fresher set of 70s Cadillac seats because they really haven't even been sat in. Yeah. Um, the car is incredible, and like you said, as long as a football field, this is land yachting at its best. And someone here is getting probably the best preserved 76 Cadillac that might exist at all. Yeah, well, congratulations to whoever ends up with this car. Let's take it back to Rod and Charlie. Guys, I do need a yes or a no right now, though, guys. 50 on bid, 52.5 at 52.005 for the first time. Yes or no, 52.5 for the second time. 52,005 for the third and final time. I have sold 50,000. Sold 50,000. 368. 50,000. 368. And lot number 74 is a 1951 Jaguar XK120 Roadster selling without reserve. This is a numbers matching block and transmission or gearbox, Mike as we say. It's a garage find and patinaed, and it's an all original example, and it's an exact factory, factory replica of the Jabecki Jag that broke the land speed record in 1949 and retains its original jack and toolkit. All right, guys, a 190 SL, dead original. Do you want to describe the car we've got instead of the one you did? <laughs> well, why didn't you stop me? Okay, I figured so you'd we're gonna, figure it out at some point. My pages got stuck together, forgive me. Okay, this is the uh, lot number 73, the 1962 Mercedes-Benz 190 SL, selling without reserve, a myriad of factory options, including a removable hardtop rod. Take it away. Very well optioned, original. Here's a perfect car 
uh, to, to take and restore, massage, drive, create. And uh, they're very, very popular, these cars. Great little cars. And here's an excellent example from the Garage Find Collection at No Reserve. Here to be sold, ladies and gentlemen, who give uh, 75, who give 50,000, who give 50,000, 50,000, factory hardtop, guys, 50,000, who give 30, 30,000, 35, 30 on bid, 35, 30 here, even if it's 35, 30 bid me 35, 30 here, even if it's 35, even if it's 30,000, 35,000, at 30 on bid, 35,000, at 35, 35, 40, 35, 40. 35, 40, 40, 37, 5, 40, 40, 40, 2, 5, 45, 45, 47, 5, 50,000, 52, 5, 50 bid, 52, 5, 52, 5, 52, 5, 51, 52, 52, 53, 53, 4, 54,000, 53, 54, 4, 5, 55, 54, 55, 55,000, 55,000, 55,000, 54, 55, 55,000. At 54,000, 55,000, 55,000. We have another Mike Terry, 55,000. At 54, 55, 55,000, 55,000. I sell it when we're done at 54, 55,000, ladies and gentlemen. Are there any further bids? At 55,000 for the first time. Sold 54,000. Bidder number is? Bidder number? What's his bidder number, Marty? What's his bidder number, Marty? Thank you. 378, 54,000. Lot number 74 is the Ditto. I just read this one. It's the 51 Jag XK120 Roadster without reserve. Yes, there it is. And it's the garage find. A really neat patented example, Rod. Ladies and gentlemen, here to sell for you now. You've been waiting all day. The anticipation is over. Mr. Mike Riggins. Hello, Michael. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go on lot number 74. We got a 51 XK Roadster. All right, and how many dollars here? How to give you somebody give 100,000? 100,000, you give 100,000 dollars. Hit 100, 100, everybody give 50,000, you give 50,000, 20,000. Let's go. Hit 20 grand, owner of 20,000, you give 20, owner, now you give 20. Give me a little more, now you give 20,000, you give 20, owner, now you give 10, 10, 10, get 10,000, get it going. Hit 10, 15, now 20, now you give 15, you give 20. Hit 20,000, you're out on my right side, give me 20,000, you give 20, owner, now you give 15, you give 20,000, sir. Hit 15, you give 17 and a half, I got 15 ahead of you. 17, 15, 15, 17, 5, owner, nobody can do 17, 5. Well, I was walking past this 1951 Jaguar uh, barn find the other day as it was in uh, the tent, and it's just astonishing. This thing is absolutely a blank canvas for someone to take and do some magic with. Absolutely, Brian. I mean, these things are nothing but style, even in this condition. And the cool thing is, is like, I guess like the collection is called the kind of the Texas Garage Find Collection. Uh, the same collector found all three of these next cars, and they are all in uh, either running in you know pretty good to medium condition to this ready to be restored condition. Uh, but they're all significant vehicles, and uh, what a treat to be able to get in on the ground floor on one that isn't restored yet. You could do what you want with it. You could take it any direction you want. You could either go, you know, perfectly factory stock. You could kind of make this a Jaguar Resto mod. Uh, you know, the world is your oyster yeah. when it comes to this thing. Um, and it's, like I said, it's kind of a blank canvas. And that's the best part about buying a, a known project car. And of course, even in this condition, like I said, look at it. It's so swoopy and it looks so good even sitting still. It's really cool. uh, Absolutely incredible, very cool collection going across the block right now. Yeah, let's take it back to Charlie. 
Thousand give it four hundred of it give four give it four twenty four thousand three and four hundred give it four give it four hit twenty four thousand dollar and four hundred of it give four give it four thousand you want to do it sir twenty four thousand don't miss that car for twenty four thousand dollar hit twenty four thousand give it four hundred of it give four give it four thousand now four four very restorable very nice car twenty four five hit twenty five hundred of it give five 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 hundred give it five give it five thousand give it twenty five thousand now twenty five hit twenty five just be five we're taking whole bids today old buddy hit twenty five thousand hundred Five, five, hundred, five, now six, here, get five, five, six, here, get five, six, here, twenty-five, twenty-six thousand, give it six thousand, five, six thousand, five, and six thousand, give it six, hundred, get five, give it six, hit twenty-five, and twenty-six thousand, give it six, got an extra one in these, five, six, hundred, get five, 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 six, hundred, get five, and six thousand, give it six, got an extra one of these, five, six, here, twenty-five, twenty-six thousand, give it six, seven, it's six, seven thousand, hundred, get five, give it seven thousand, no, 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 seven, 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 hundred, get five, give it seven, hit twenty-seven thousand, he got that five hundred still in his pocket, old buddy, and hundred, get twenty-seven thousand, hundred, get six, five, now seven. Hit twenty-seven thousand. Get it seven hundred. Over to get seven, seven, seven. Over to get twenty-seven thousand. Get it seven hundred. Over to get seven. Hit six five bid. Over to get seven thousand. Now seven hundred. Over to get seven. Don't lose it for five hundred, my friend. Twenty-seven thousand's all. Hit twenty-seven thousand. Over to get six five. Get about seven thousand. Over to seven a seven thousand. Get it seven hundred. Over to get seven thousand. Twenty-seven thousand. Twenty-seven five. That's I like your style. Now eight. Hit twenty-eight thousand. Get about twenty-eight, eight, 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 eight. Get about twenty-eight thousand. Order get it seven five. Get about twenty-eight thousand. So twenty-seven thousand five hundred. Thank you. Hit her number three fifty-eight. And lap number seventy-five is the nineteen sixty-three Morgan Plus Four. Selling without preserve today. It's equipped with the most powerful and desirable TR4 engine. It's one of roughly two hundred left-hand drive models imported to the U.S and it has its numbers matching original example with under 40,000 original miles. How about a little Morgan, a little plus four. And please note, due to the age of the vehicle, the title reads exempt. Tile says exempt. Thank you. I'm the little Morgan, and what do you want to pay on this car? Great look to her, and how many dollars here? Nobody get it 40,000. I get it 40. Yeah, 40,000. Dollar in the 40,000. I get it 40. 100. Nobody get it 40. In the 40, 40, 40. Nobody get it 40,000. Is that better? Nobody get it 40. Yeah, 40,000. I get it 40. 100. Nobody get it 40, 40, 40. Nobody get it 40. How much? 20, 10, 10, 10. Yeah, 10,000. I get it 10. 100. Nobody get it 10, 10, 10. 15,000. 10, 15,000. Nobody get it 13, 15. Yeah, 15,000. I get it 15,000. I get it 15. 100. Nobody get it 13. Take it about fifteen thousand dollars. Nobody get fifteen. Now fifteen. Can you clean me up? Fifteen thousand. Nobody get third. Take it about fifteen thousand. You're out. Fifteen thousand. You want to do it? Nobody get fifteen. Manny, I got your man at thirteen. Fifteen. You're out. Fifteen. Fifteen thousand. Get it fifteen. Now seventeen. Five. 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 Nobody get seventeen thousand. Get it seventeen. No. Nobody get seventeen. It's seventeen. You want sixteen, buddy? Nobody get sixteen thousand. Nobody get sixteen. You say it now. Seventeen thousand. Nobody get seventeen. It's sixteen. Seventeen, my friend. Nobody get seventeen thousand. Get it seventeen. No. Nobody get seventeen. Get it seventeen. It's 16, 17, 17. Button it up. Roll it away. 17,000. Nobody get 17. No, nobody get 17. It's 16, 17. No, nobody get I got 16 on your man. Do I not? I got 15. My, my mistake. 16 over here. You got to be 16,000. Yes, sir. 16,000. I got 15. But he bid 16,000. Dollar 16,000. You want her? Nobody get 16,000. Nobody get I got 15 on the right side. You can be 16 over here, sir. It's 16,000. I got to bid 16. No, nobody get 15. I got about $16,000. 15, 16. Go ahead. It's 16,000. 15's on my right, right here. Is that correct? Now $16,000. Now 16,000. Nobody get 15. I got about 16. It's 16,000. No money, guys. This is a beautiful car for 16, 15, 15, 16. Okay. I got 15, 16, 16. 15, 16. It's 16,000. Get a bit 16,000. Get a bit 15 here and 16. Where? 16. Oh, great opportunity. The door's wide open on this little Morgan here for 16,000. 16,000. Get a bit 15. Get a bit 16,000. Y'all through and done. Get a bit 15. Get about 16,000. Sell it. Fifteen thousand dollars, Marty. Two forty-six. Thank you. And lot number seventy-six is the nineteen eighty-nine Daimler DS four twenty limousine, used to transport Queen Elizabeth II while on tour in New Zealand back in two thousand and two. This car had a two hundred and five thousand dollar restoration and upgrade in two thousand and one by Beecham Jaguar. It's documented by a Jaguar Daimler Heritage Trust certificate, and the engine's been upgraded with a four-liter inline six-cylinder engine. And please note the title is in transit. Oh. And check out those beautiful wheels on this car. And ladies and gentlemen, here's my good friend, Brady Gerke. Come on up, Brady. 
All right. How about a Daimler limo? Who doesn't need one of those? Say, no, to get you buy this one. What do you want to pay? No, to get you 150,000. 150 on it. No, to get you 150. 150,000. Dollar to 150. 150. No, to get 150. 100,000. 100,000. No, to get you 10, 10, 10. No, to get you 30,000. 40,000. Yeah, 30,000. Get a bit 40,000. Get a bit 40. On it. No, to get you 5, 5, 5. Now 40,000. No, to get you 5. Get a bit 40. Your man's out. Marty, 40. Yeah, 40,000. No, to get you 40,000. Bid me 40. No, to get you 40,000. No, to get you 40, 40. No, to get you 40, 40, 40, 40. Yeah, 40,000. From sports cars to limousines, uh, we have this 1989 Daimler limousine that was um, uh, taken around by Queen Elizabeth II. Yeah, you're exactly right, Brian. So this is the car, uh, the car that Queen Elizabeth II toured New Zealand in in 2002, which is a very interesting fact. I mean, it's such an odd car. I mean, I think to a to the non-trained eye, you'd look at that and be like, oh, it's a it's an 80s Rolls Royce of some sort. Uh, but it's not. It's a Daimler, and uh, it, you know, it's a limousine. But what's even more fascinating, I think, that even the Queen being in this, is that someone spent over two hundred thousand dollars restoring this in two thousand and one. Which I have a hard time it got to be in disrepair in the first place. But they went so far as to upgrade so many things to it, like adding ABS brakes. Wow. Um, and what is even cooler, literally, is they added two air conditioning units to this. So it actually has an air conditioning for the driver's compartment, and a separate unit entirely for the rear passenger area. They even put a Jaguar shifter in it. Um, a lot of bizarre, kind of interesting things going on here, but if you want a fully restored, ready to rock, driver across the country, right-hand drive Daimler that the Queen was once in in New Zealand, well, this is your chance right here at Worldwide. This is it. Yeah, absolutely. Let's check in on the block. And now 60, now 60. Now sixty thousand. Go ahead. Sixty thousand dollar. Here's sixty thousand. Don't get you five. Get a bit sixty thousand. Don't get you sixty. And now five. Here's sixty five hundred. Don't get you five five five. Don't get you five five five. Don't get you five. Get a bit five. Now five five five. Now seven five. Don't get you sixty seven five. I'll take it. Here's sixty seven five. You want to do? Don't get you five. Get a bit five five five. Town run it outside. Don't get you five five five. Don't get you five. Get a bit sixty seven five seventy. Here's seventy thousand. Don't get you seventy thousand. Don't get you. I'm busy with me. It's sixty seven five. You can be seventy in the way back there. Here's seventy thousand. If you want to get seven five, get a bit seventy thousand, sixty seven five, get a bit seventy thousand dollars, and I help sixty seven five, and I thank you. Lot number seventy seven is a nineteen sixty Volkswagen twenty three window micro bus offered without reserve. It's the iconic twenty three window Sama bus styling with a rotisserie store to a very high standard with a sliding fabric sunroof and safari windows. How about this one, Brady? Nice little micro bus here. Right colors, too. Great car. Clean one. And who'll give $150,000 on it at 150? 150,000. Get a bit 150. 150. 150. 100,000. Give me 100,000. Give me $100,000 on it. Everybody get you one, one, one. 50,000. Let's go. 50 grand. 50,000. Everybody get you all. You all can play 30,000. 40,000. 30,000. Get a bit 40,000. Everybody get you 30 to 40,000. Get a bit 30, 40. 30,000. Everybody get you 30,000. Get a bit 30,000. Dollar and a 30, 30, 30. Everybody get you 30,000. Everybody got 20 grand. 25, 30, 5, 30. Hit, no, to give you 25, get a bit 30,000, get a bit 30, 100, I'm going to give you 30,000. Now, 5, 5, 5, no, to give you 35. Hit, 35, 100, I'm going to give you 5, 100, I'm going to give you 35, 5, 5, 5, I got about 30, 5,000, 30,000, 35,000. No, to give you 5, get a bit 5 here, no, to give you 35. Hit, 35, 5, 5, 5, 5, no, to give you 35, 35, 32 and a half, 35, 37 and a half, 40, and now 40,000, and now 40, and now 5, no, to give you 40, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, no, to give you 40, 5, 5, Five, five, how to get you 40 spin, 45, internet, you're out. Hit 45,000, Marty, your man's out. How to get you 45,000, how to get you five, get a bit five, five, okay. How to get you 45, five, five, how to get you five, 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 you're the boss here. How to get you five, 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 how to get you five. Hit 42, 500, how to get you 40. I'll take two, five quick in that. Do it quick, though. Hit 42, 500, how to get you take it a bit five, 100, how to get you take it a bit five, 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 five. 42, five's all, how to get you take it a bit five. Button it up, roll it away. 42, 500, how to get you five, get a bit five here. Now 42,000, 42, five, five, five. Tell them a little more, Brady. And how to get you 42.5 and I have. It's equipped with a 1.5 liter air cooled flat four engine, and every day these are becoming increasingly popular. 40. Two five, hit forty thousand. I get a bit forty two five hundred. I'm gonna get you forty two five five five. Get the screen right. I got forty thousand on the floor. I need forty two five. Hit forty two five hundred. I'm gonna get you taking a bit five hundred. I'm gonna get you taking a bit five five five. Forty two five, forty two five, forty two five. Here, I'm gonna get you forty thousand. Get a bit forty two five. Last and final call, internet. Get in forty two five hundred. I'm gonna get you taking a bit five, and I have. 
So forty thousand dollars, Marty. Six five nine. Thank you. Up next is lot seventy eight, a nineteen seventy one Porsche nine eleven T, a very well presented U S market example, restored to its original appearance, and is delivered in the rare color of Gemini blue metallic. How about a nine eleven in the right color? All right, on the 71, 911, here we go. No to get you buy this one. What do you want to pay? No to get you buy this one here. No to get you 100,000. 100,000, give you 100,000. Hold on, 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 hold on,
to a great racer. We'll take it back to the block. With a car with a parachute, button it up, roll it away. 110,000, 110, 100, I'm gonna get 110, 10, 10, 10, take it up, 110,000, gonna be 110, 110, 120, 120, 110, and 120, 100, I'm gonna get 110, 120, 100, I'm gonna get 120,000, gonna be 110, 120, and I have 120,000 dollars, 120, 120, 120, 110, and 120,000 dollars, and I have. 110,000, gonna be short on that one. I do thank you. I already talked to your bidder. Let's go to the opera. And no to get about this one. Who give 80? And no to get 80,000. Get a bit 80,000. No to get 80, 80. Hey, to get 80,000. Get a bit 80,000. 70,000. It's 70,000. Dollar on a 70,000. Get a bit 60,000. Get a bit 60. On it. get How much? 15. Holy cow. If 15,000. Get a bit 10, 15. Now 15,000. Now 20. On it. get 15. Get a bit 20. And now 5, 25. 5, 5, 5, 5. Now 30,000. Get a bit 5. Get a bit 30. 27, 5. Hit 25 bid. Now 7, 5. On it. Get five, get a bit seven, five, not thirty thousand, get a bit thirty, honor, never get thirty, hit twenty seven, five, bit thirty, never get thirty thousand, get a bit thirty, honor, never get seven, five, get a bit thirty, not thirty, not thirty, hit never get seven, five, get a bit thirty thousand, dollar, not thirty thousand, never get seven, five, get a bit thirty thousand, never get thirty thousand, never get twenty eight, now nine. 29, now 30, and now 1. Hit 31,000, get a bit 30. 1, 1, 1. Sort them out, Marty boy. Now 2, no to get 3, no to get 2, take it a bit 3. Hit 38, 2, and 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 4. No to get 5, get a bit 5, 5, 5, get a bit 34, and 35. Hit 38, 5,000, 36,000. No to get 2, take it a bit 6,000. If you want, no to get 5, get a bit 6, 35, 36,000. Hit 5 and 6,000. No to get 5, get a bit 6,000. If you want, no to get 5, get a bit 6. Button it up, roll it away now. $36,000. Hit 5, 6,000, 4. No to get 5, get about 6,000. Here now. Five, six thousand. Thirty-five, thirty-six. Marty, you got two of them over there. Sort them out, old buddy. Brady, tell them a little bit more about this car. Thirty-five, thirty-six. 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 Thirty-five, thirty-six.
Um, this is actually coming from the same owner of the previous Tiger, so you know that they know what they're doing, they know what to look for, and they know these cars very, very well. And this car presents beautifully, and I guarantee it drives even better than it looks. Absolutely. Well, let's head back to the block. 8,000, get 8,000, get 8,000, get 8,000, get 8,000, get 8,000, love to. 57, and 58,000, come to the auction now. 58,000, get 58,000 dollars, and I have 57,000, Marty. Good work, old buddy. Hey, Lancia, look at this car. Great look to this 67 right here. Who'll get 50,000? 50,000 on the 50,000. Gonna be 50,000. Gonna get 50, 50. No, to get 50,000. Gonna be 50. Give me 10 grand. Get it going. 10, 10. Hit 10,000. Gonna be 10,000. Y'all can play at 10 grand now. 10,000. Gonna be 10. Honor, nobody gonna take it to be 10,000. On the 10, 10, 10. No, to get it. Take it to be 12. Hit 10, 12, 5. Honor, nobody gonna get 5, 5, 5. Gonna be 10, 5. No, to get it. 12, 5. Honor, nobody gonna take it to be 12, 5. Hit 1,000. 12, 5. Honor, nobody gonna get 5. You want in? Sir, 12, 5, 100, I'm going to give you 15, 11, 12, 13, you're out, 14, 15, you 15, 15, 16, 17, you're out, it's 17,000, I'm going to give you 17,000, I'm going to give you 17,000, I'm going to give you 16, I'm going to give you 17, and now 17, I know, I'm going to give you 17,000, you're the man, I'm going to give you 16, I'm going to give you 17, I'm going to give you 17, telephone, you're out, 17,000, 18, 19, it's 19,000, I'm going to give you 19,000, you almost had it, 19,000, I'm going to give you 19, I'm going to give you 18, I'm going to give you 19, it's 19, 18, 19, 19, 19. You're out on the phone. You get a bit 19,000. Hit 19,000. Get a bit 19. Now 20,000. Get a bit 20. Honor. Nobody get a 19. Get a bit 20. Now 20. Now 20. Hit nobody get a 20,000. Get a bit 20. Honor. Nobody get a 20. Now 20, 20, 20. 67. Lance here, right here. 20,000 is all. Hit $20,000. Honor. Nobody get a now 20. Now 20,000. Get a bit 20. Honor. Nobody get a 20, 20, 20. Tell him, Brady. And now fun. Now 21,000. It's a hand assembled Pinafrina design body. In a fun and sporty Italian coupe. That's one, very hard to two. come across. Now, 21 and 22,000. Get a bit one, two. Honor, nobody get you. Take it a bit two, two, two. You got 21, old buddy. And 29. Oh, you got 20. Now, 21. Phone, you're still out. 21,000. Hit 21. Honor, nobody get you. One, one, one. You're out in the back there. You give me 21,000. Get a bit one. He left the door open, sir. Hit 21,000. Get a bit 21,000. Honor, no, one, 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 one. Give me that 21. Hit 21,000. Get a bit now five. And now 21. Here we go. And now one. Honor, no, one, one, one. Honor, get you 21,000. Get a bit 21,000. Now, one, 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 21,000. Get a bit 21,000. I got 20,005 in the back to the half bidder. You got a bit 21,000. Hit 21,000. Get a bit 21,000. Honor, one, 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 one. Honor, get you 21,000. Get a bit 21,000. 21,000. Yes, 21,000. 21. And now five. And now 21.5, sir. It's the same 500. You haven't spent it yet. 21.5. Hit 21.5. 100. I'm going to give you 5. 5. 5. Get about 21.5. 100. I'm going to give you 21.5. 5. 5. 5. Get about 21.5. And 21.5. And 21.5. Hit 21.5. 100. I'm going to give you 5. 5. 5. What's he say, sir? Hit 21.5. 100. I'm going to give you 21,000. I'm going to give you 5. And a hip. So $21,000. 663. Lot number 83 is a 1995 Dodge Viper RT10 Roadster. It is accompanied by a clean Carfax report and has just three private owners from new. It's equipped with a carbon fiber dashboard and center console. It's Viper time. Look at that thing, huh? Wow, Brady. Did they get any more red than that? Somebody give a hundred thousand. One hundred thousand. Give a hundred thousand. Give a hundred hundred. Nobody give a hundred thousand. Give a hundred. Nobody give a hundred. Nobody give a hundred thousand. Give a hundred. What do you got, old buddy? And nobody give. I got 25, 30, at 25 and 30, honor, nobody get you five, get it 30,000, nobody get you five, get it 30, now five, 35, 35, five, five, down, five, down, 40,000, get it 40, hit 35 and 40,000, get it 40, honor, nobody get you 40, 40, 40, where can you buy a race car for that kind of? Well, continuing on with Carol Shelby's legacy, we've got this 1995 Dodge Viper RT10 Roadster. Now, this is the original uh, body for the Viper. It's uh, invested in by Carroll Shelby and his design, uh, his ethos for a sports car. 
Um, I love the story behind it where they worked with Lamborghini. Uh, Oh, they a sent him cool a, a V10 that was originally built for trucks, yep. and Lamborghini worked their magic, and now we've got this 8-liter V10 under the hood. Well, well said, Brian. I mean, I, I love these. Uh, they're actually very reminiscent to me of early Corvettes. No door handles, no windows, hardcore. Uh, the three-spoke wheels are very, very 90s. I love them. Yep. Um, and this is, as a 95, one of the last of what I would call the hardcore Vipers, and I know that's crazy because Vipers are and stayed hardcore for the rest of the thing, but this was the last one that really didn't have windows and didn't have the hard top. It had the soft kind of floppy top. Um, I like these because it really stayed true to the ethos of we're gonna put a huge engine in a lightweight car, no traction control, no ABS, no airbag. Uh, wow. this, was a, this was an interesting car. Yeah, well, we love a Viper and uh, let's head back to the block. 57 Chevrolet Nomad Station Wagon. It is a recipient of a body off the frame restoration and it is equipped with a 283 cubic inch V8 engine made it to an automatic transmission. Not much hotter than the Nomads right now, ladies and gentlemen. Great one here, 57. Oh, let's go. 150,000, get about 150. 150,000, get a bit 150. 150. 150,000, get a bit 150. 100,000, give me 100,000 dollars on and on. 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 50,000, 50, 50,000, dollar and a 50,000, get a bit 50,000, dollar and a 50,000, I got 30, 40, 30,000, 40,000, get a bit 30, 40,000, 50,000, 50,000, 60,000, dollar get a 50, got about 60,000, dollar, 50, 60,000, dollar and a 60,000. Well, we've got this 1957 Chevrolet Nomad station wagon. Elliot, tell me a little bit more about this car. All right, Brian, so earlier we saw that beautiful red Bel Air, kind of same similar uh, color scheme here. This is the station wagon version of that, and not even really quite, because it's a two-door wagon. But this was a one-year body style offering, and uh, with the rise of popularity of wagons, these things are becoming even more cool because it's got all the styling that the 50s was known for, the 50s, or, you know, the fins and everything else. But this was just a really cool family car. This is kind of an SUV before there were SUVs. And you could put that tailgate down, and you'd be the hit of any drive-in you go to. I mean, I think that thing is just pure style. And once again, a one year only offering, I, I don't know. It'd be a tough choice between to pick this or the uh, the Bel Air convertible, but this is a really cool, rare, special car in immaculate condition. Yeah, and the interior is fantastic. If you haven't had a chance to look at it, uh, be sure to go to our website, worldwideauctioneers.com. You can see all of our cars there, all the galleries. Uh, check it out. We're going to head back to the block now. Five hundred and seventy-five thousand. Get a bit five hundred. Get a bit five. Get a bit five. Seventy-five. Seventy-five. Bit me five. Hit another. Get a seventy-five. Eighty. And now eighty. Phones out. Eighty thousand. And now five. Eighty-five hundred. Get a bit five. 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 Get a bit eighty-five thousand. Get a bit eighty. Now five hundred. Get a bit five. Get a bit five. Eighty-five. Eighty-five. Bit me eighty-five. Five. Five. Get a bit ninety. And now ninety thousand. Get a bit ninety. Honor. Now get a bit ninety. Wow, Johnny. Get a bit ninety. 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 Eighty-five. And ninety thousand. Get a bit ninety. Honor. Get a bit ninety. Eighty-five. Ninety. And ninety thousand. Eighty-five and ninety thousand. Ninety thousand. You in 90,000, five, 95, and uh, I got 90, 95, 95, 95, and 90 to 500. If I get a bit, five, 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 95,000, don't get 90, now five, 95, 95,000, get a bit, 95,000, 90 to five, what's he say, John? Don't get 90 to 500, if I get a bit, five, and 90,000, 95, 95, now if telephone is in. You're out on the floor, Marty. 95 is all I need. Hit 95, honor to get 90 to 5 here. Not to get 90,000. Get it 95, 5, 5, not to get 5. What's that? And 95, and 95, 95, not to get 5. Marty, not to get 95, 5, 5. Bid me 95,000. Not to get 95, bid me 5. Not to get 5, get it 5. 95. I got 90 on the phone, Marty. Bid me 95,000. Hit 95,000. You got, I'm 95. And now 100. And now a hundred, and now a hundred, and how to get you five, get about a hundred thousand. Thank God you're here. Now to get you ninety-five and a hundred, and ninety-five and a hundred thousand. Get about a hundred thousand, ninety-five and a hundred thousand. Honor a hundred, hundred. Never to get you one hundred thousand. Get a bit ninety-five and a hundred, and ninety-five and a hundred thousand. How to get you nine? I knew we brought you here for a reason. Ninety-five and a hundred, and how to get a hundred thousand. Get a bit hundred thousand, ninety-five and a hundred thousand, hundred thousand dollars, and I have ninety-five and a hundred thousand dollars. $95,000. Very close. John, thank you. Lot number 85 is a 1946 Ford Super Deluxe convertible offered from the Ron Thorne collection, and it is offered without reserve. 
original 1946 body with modified V8 engine, upgraded Offenhauser heads and intake, and it is the first post-war model offered from Ford, the 1946 Ford Super Deluxe Convertible. Wow, pretty convertible here, guys. Pretty convertible. No reserve car. Let's go. Somebody get 60, 5,000. It's 60, 500. Somebody get 5, give it 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 60, 5,000. Give it 60,000. Give me 20 grand. Let's go. Hit 20,000. Give it 20, 100, and a 5 here. Somebody get 25,000. Give it 20, 5, 5, 5, 30. Now 5. Somebody get 35, 35. Hit 35,000. Give it 35, 35, 40. Thank you. Bless your heart. 40,000. Hit 40,000. Give it 40, 100. Somebody get 40,000. I got 35. Give it 40,000. I'll have 40,000. Give me 40, and now 40. Give me 37.5, sir. I read your mind. It took me two seconds. And now to give you 37. Now 40,000. Give me 40, 100. Give me 40, 40, 40. Now to give you 40,000. Marty, you're out. Now to give you 40. Hit 37.5. Give me 40,000. All in the 40, now 40, 40, 40. Now to give you 40,000. Now to give you 7.5. Give me 40,000. You want to be 38? You want to be 38? You want to be 38? Oh, 37, 5, 38,000. I get about 38,000, 39,000. Hit 38, 39, 9, 9, 9, 9, 39. Now 40,000. I get about 40,000. No, I get about 40. Now 40, now 40. Hit 40,000. All in the 40,000. I get about 40, 100. I get about 40. Button it up, roll it away. 40,000. All in the 40. Hit 40,000, sir. I get about 40,000. All in the 40, 40, 40. No, I get about 40. You want to be that 500 again? 39, 5, 39, 5, 39, 5. And now 40, 40, 40. And now 40, 40, 40. And now 5. And now 40,000. Now 40, now 40, Cheaper my way, sir. Sir, and how to give you 40,000, 500, I'm going to give you 5, give it 500, I'm going to give you 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 40,000, I give it 500, I'm going to give you 5, give it 5 here, 40,000, 500, I'm going to give you 5, give it 500, 500, I'm going to give you 5, give it 5, and I help. So $40,000, Marty. 6, 31, thank you. Up next is lot 86, a 1972 Citroen DS21 four door sedan. Has an advanced chassis design and is the final year export to North America, an example, and it is equipped with the rare air conditioning. Look at look at this one, huh? A little soup bowl on the old chili bowl. What do you want to pay? Now to get you a hundred thousand. I get about a hundred. Now to get you one hundred, one hundred. Now to get you a cool little car here now. Ten, twenty. Hit ten, twenty. Now to get you take it a bit twenty thousand. I get a bit twenty, thirty. Now to get you twenty, get thirty thousand. Now to get you twenty, now thirty thousand. I get a bit thirty. Hit twenty, thirty. Now to get you twenty, get about thirty thousand. Now to get you twenty, now thirty, thirty, thirty. Now to get you twenty-five and thirty and five. And now thirty, now five hundred. Now to get you forty thousand. I get a bit forty hundred. Now to get you thirty-five. I get a bit forty. Hit forty thousand. Now to get you five. I get a bit forty thousand. I'm going to give it 45. Hit 40 to 500. I'm going to give you 5, 5, 5, 5. You know, if you've never been to one of our auctions, it's always remarkable to be able to walk across the lawn and one moment, you know, you're standing by these phenomenal Ferraris. In fact, in just a moment, Elliot is going to be taking us in a Ferrari across the block. And then the next moment, you turn around and you see one of these, the 1972 Citroen DS, which just has the coolest design. Of course, this was a, a French car. It's got a French design. Um, and it's known for not just its design, but its hydro-pneumatic suspension that had self-leveling capabilities. There's, uh, not, there was nothing smoother on the road than a Citroen DS. It even had other uh, interesting technology like a high-pressure steering wheel that was self-centering and the use of a semi-automatic transmission, which was basically unheard of at the time in France. So this is a really cool car. Uh, we hope to see it uh, go to a great home. And in just a moment, you'll be able to cross the block in a red Ferrari. Hit 50 grand, I'll never get 50,000. I'll get 7 by, get about 50,000. 47.5 is with John. 50,000 is all I need. 50,000. I'm going to bid 50 on it. I'm going to give you 7.5. I'm going to bid 50,000 dollars and I have 50,000. I'm going to give you 7.5. I'm going to bid 50,000. 47.5. John, thank you. Lot 87 is a 2007 Ferrari 599 GTB Fiorano. It's a very well optioned example that is accompanied by a clean Carfax report and its original window sticker. 
Different story here, ladies and gentlemen. On the GTB, 599. What a car, 07. Looks like it could be a 22. What a car. Here we go. No, to get you by this one. Somebody get 200,000. Get a bit 200,000. Dollar on the two, 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 200,000. Get a bit 200, 200. Everybody get a 200,000 dollar. Hit 200,000. No, to get you 200, dollar, two, 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 200,000. Everybody get 100,000. Get a bit 100. 100,000. Get a bit 100, 100. Everybody get 100,000. Everybody get 100,000. 100,000. 90, 100. 10, 110, now 20, 130, 130, 120, and 130,000. Give me 130,000, 120, 130, 130,000. Give me 120, 130. No, to get 120, 130, 140. No, to get 140, 130, 140, 140. You'd be 35, Jim, if you want to get in. 135 and 140. All right, guys, here I am again in one of my favorite cars. This is a 2007 Ferrari 599 GTB. Now, if I had a two-car Ferrari Dream Garage, this would be one of the cars. Now, there's a million reasons to love it. The styling, the V12 with over 600 horsepower, but what I love about it is it's the last one of the V12 big engine Ferraris that had the single clutch gearbox. Now, a lot of people kind of hated on it, but by this time, they were really, really good. In fact, they even called it the super fast transmission. This thing is the best of both worlds. You've got this screaming V12 behind you that revs up to almost 9,000 RPM, and then every time you grab a shift, it kicks you in the butt and it is the best combination of feelings you can get in a car. This one's the right colors too. Rosso Corsa over tan. That is what every Ferrari owner generally dreams of. And uh, there's a reason that this is in my dream two car Ferrari garage. This is a special car. It's got all the right options. The LED shift lights on the, uh, the steering wheel, the carbon fiber everywhere. This car has been loved. It's also very low mileage. Uh, I can't speak highly enough of this. This is a great offering that we have here at Worldwide. So now we're gonna send it back to Riggins on the block. 145, 145, 145, yes, now 50. 150, 150, 150, you're out, 150. He's the last minute shopper. 150, 145 and 150,000. Give me 150,000, 150 on it. I'm gonna get 145, give him 150,000, $150,000 and a half. 145,000, just a little too far away on that one. See Up us next. afterwards. Up next is lot 88, a 1956 Ford Thunderbird Roadster offered without reserve. Has fine bodywork and paintwork throughout and is it equipped with a 312 cubic inch V8 power plant and an automatic transmission. Beautiful Thunderbird Roadster, got the Continental tire kit on there, gorgeous, gorgeous Thunderbird. And what do you want to pay? Somebody give a hundred thousand, one hundred seventy-five, fifty. Yeah, fifty thousand. Get a bit fifty thousand. No, to get fifty thousand. No, to get fifty twenty, ten. Hit ten thousand. You want ten, ten, ten. Get about ten thousand. Fifteen. No, to get ten. Get a bit fifteen thousand. Get a bit ten, fifteen. Hit ten thousand. Fifteen thousand. Get a bit ten. Get fifteen thousand. No, no, no. Fifteen thousand. You don't want to get fifteen. Bid me twelve five. No, to get five. Twelve five. No, to get twelve five. Hit fifteen thousand. Now fifteen five five five. No, to get seventeen five, sir. And now twenty. And now two and a half here. No, to get twenty thousand. Get a bit one. Now twenty one thousand. Get a bit twenty one thousand. Get a bit one one one. Hit twenty thousand. Twenty one 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 thousand.
five, 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 five
90, 90, 90, 90, 80, 85, and 90,000. 90, 90, 85, 90,000. Button it up, roll it away. 90,000. Get it 90,000 dollars. 90, 85, get it 90, 85, and 90. 90, 85, get it 90, 85, 90. And 85, 90, roll it outside. 85 and 90,000. Get it 90, owner. 90,000. 5, 90,000. 90,000. 85, get it 90,000. $85,000. Thank you. Telephone. Lot number 92 is a 1978 Porsche 911 SC Targa offered without reserve. It is equipped with a highly desirable 3.0 liter flat six cylinder SC engine and it was recently reconditioned engine and recently rebuilt five speed transaxle. SC Targa eyeballs for days. Let's go and how to get 85,000. 85,000. 85,000. 80, 80, 75. 50 grand. 50,000. And how to get 20, 30. How to get 20, 30,000. 20, 30, 40. Hit 30, 40,000. Get 30, 40,000. Get 30. Now 40. Now 40. How to get 30, 40. Hit 40,000. That's a 911, ladies and gentlemen. 40 grand is all. Hit 40,000. All in the 40,000. How to get 40,000. How to get 35,000. Dollar 35. Hit 35. Owner. How to get 5, 5, 5. How to get 2 and a half. And now 5. And now 5. Now he's back. Hit 35. 5, 5, 5, 5. How to get 2 and a half. Get 35,000. How to get 5. Get 5. Owner. How to get 5, 5, 5. How to get 35. 35. And now five, and now seven, five, and thirty seven, and now forty, and now forty, and how to get seven, five, get it at forty thousand, hundred and forty thousand. Internet's out, how to get forty. I, I, I got John at thirty seven, five, is that correct? And now forty thousand, how to get forty thousand, how to get somebody's got thirty seven, five, and how to get thirty eight, thirty nine, thirty nine. And now 40, and now 5, and 45. Hit 40,000, 45,000. How to get 5, get 5, 100. How to get 5, get 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5. How to get 45, 45, 45. Hit 40,000, 45,000. How to get 40, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 45,000. How to get 45. Now how to get 45. Take 43 before I go there, Bubba. Hit 43,000. How to get 5, get 3. I got 40,000 on somewhere. Where's 40? And how to get 40,000. How to get 1, 2. 42, now you're out. And 42, honor, never get it to two, 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 take it to two. And 41, and 42, never get it to two, honor, never get it to two, 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 never get it to 42,000, never get it to two, and 41, and 42, now you're back, now you're on again. And 42,000, never get it to two, honor, never get it to one, two, three, and never get it to three, honor, never get it to three, and 42, and 43,000, never get it to three, honor, never get it to three, 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 four, never get it to three, four, and 44, and 44,000. How to get it back at about four thousand? Internet's out. Forty-four thousand. How to get it back at about four thousand dollars? Forty-four thousand. Through and done. Hit three and four. How to get it back at about four thousand dollars? And I have forty-four thousand. Time is now net. Forty-four thousand. How to get it back at about four? So forty-three thousand dollars. Marty. Three nineteen. Thank you. Lot number ninety-three is a nineteen sixty Etzel Rangel conver convertible. One of just seventy-six produced is a recipient of a complete restoration and is equipped with the optional Super Express V8 engine. Please note this vehicle is sold on Canadian documents. Beautiful, beautiful Edsel right here, ladies and gentlemen, 1960. Love, love, love this car. And who will give 150,000? 150,000, I get 150, honor, I'm gonna get 150,000, 150, honor, I'm gonna get 100, 100,000, I get 100,000, I get 100, I'm gonna get 100,000, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 50,000, hit 50,000, I get 50,000, honor, I'm 50, 50, I'm gonna get 50,000, I get 50, honor, I'm gonna get 50, 30, 5, 35, 30,000, 35,000, I get 5, 100, I'm gonna get 35, 40, and now 5, and now 45, and you're out, 45,000, I get 5, I get 5, 100, I'm gonna get 45,000, I get 45, 45, 45, hit 45,000, 50,000, I get 50, 50, 100, I'm gonna get 5, I get 50,000, dollar, now 5, 55, 100, I'm gonna get 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 50,000, I get 50, 55,000, dollar, 55, 100, I'm gonna get 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 100, I get 5, I get 5, 5, 5, 5, tell them more about this beautiful car, Brady. This Etzel is accompanied by the restoration photos, the original build sheet, and the original paint inspection form. It's a well-documented and a big award-winning Etzel. 
Yes, sir. Now to get these seven. Oh, 55, 60. Thank you, 60. Yes, 60. That was going to be 60. On her, nobody can do 60. That was going to be 60. On her, nobody can do 65. And now five. And now 70. And now, now you're out 70. And now to get these 70,000. Now to get these 70,000. Now to get these 70,000. Now to get these now five. 75. On her, nobody can do 70. Now five, 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 five. Now to get these five, five, five. Now to get these five, five, five. 70,000. 75,000. Two five. You want to do it? And now to get these taking to be five. On her, nobody can do now five. Now 75,000. Now to get five. Seventy-five. 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 Seventy-five thousand. Now five. And now seventy-seven five. Yes, sir. Now to get five. Get it seven five. It's seventy-seven five. Honor to get five. Get it seven five. Honor to get seventy-seven thousand. Seventy-seven five five five. Now to get I get seventy-five with Marty. You have to be seventy-seven five, sir. It's seventy-seven five. Honor to get five. Get it five 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 five. Now to get seventy-seven thousand. Seventy-seven five. Seventy-seven five. 77 5, 70, what's he say? And no to give you 5, 5, 5, you honor. No to give you 5, 5, 5, no to give you 7, 5, honor. No to give you 5, give you 5, 77, 5, 77, and now 5. And now 75, 75. And how to get 75. Honor to get 5, 5, 5, how to get 7, 5, 77. Give me 76 before I go. 76,000. 76. It, did you say it? Six, seven. And how to get 7,000. And how to get 7, 7, 7, how to get it. Now 78, 78. 78, and 78, now 78,000, now 78,000, now 78,000, now 78, and 78,000, 77, 78, and 78, cars in the market, ladies and gentlemen, 78, 78, don't miss it for a thousand dollars, 78, now to get 78,000, and 78,000, now to get 78,000, button it up, roll it away, 78,000, now to get 78, wait, think, Marty, and now to get 78,000, now to get 78,000, dollar and eight, 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 78,000. 70, I, I have 77 is with Marty. 78,000. And 78,000. Now to get 78,000. Now to get 78,000. All in an 888. We good? Now to get 78,000. So $77,000. 653. Up next is lot 94, 1957 Ford Thunderbird E Code Roadster offered without reserve. This is a recipient of a $100,000 body off the frame restoration. <laughs> it is an AACA senior award winner and multiple best of show award winner and is finished in the rare factory Inca Gold with both the hard and soft tops. Ladies and gentlemen, a real E Code car. Exceedingly rare, hard to find, beautiful example, rare color, coming from a great home. Who give a hundred thousand on it? One hundred thousand, give a hundred thousand, give a one hundred one hundred, give a hundred thousand, give a hundred thousand dollar. Now one hundred one hundred, give me fifty thousand, give me fifty. If fifty thousand, give me fifty thousand, now to give me twenty, thirty. Hit twenty, thirty, now to give me twenty, get thirty thousand, now to give me twenty, get it thirty thousand, honor and a twenty, and a thirty, and a forty thousand, give it thirty, forty. Hit thirty thousand, forty thousand, give it forty thousand, now to give me thirty five. Let's go. Hit 3,500, now to get 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 30, 32, 5, 35, 35, 37, 5, 40, and now 40, and now 40, and now to get 40,000, get 40,000, get 40, 100, now to get 40, 40, 40, 40, now to get 40, 100, now to get 7, 5, get 40, and now 40, and now 40,000, now to get 7, 5, get 40,000, now to get 40, 40, 40, now to get 40,000, get 40, 100, now to get 40, 40, 40, hit 37, 5, get 40,000, now to get 40, 40, 40, now to get worth the money here, ladies and gentlemen. Gentlemen, rare color, great car, good home, 40,000. 39, 45, hit 40,000, 45,000, how to get 45, 5, 5, 5, 5, how to get 45, hit 45,000, get 45,000, how to get 5, get 5,000, how to get 5, 5, 5, how to get 40, 5, 100, how to get 5, get 5, hit 45,000, get 5, 100, how to get 42, 42, 42, sir, hit 2, 2, 2, 2, 5, how to get 5, 5, 5, how to get 5, hit 42 and 45,000, how to get 5, get 5,000, you want to now 5, 5, 5, how to get 5, 5, 5, how to get 5, Five, forty-five thousand, forty-five thousand, forty-five thousand, and how to get forty-five? I got it in the back at forty-two, forty-five is what I'm asking. Hit forty-five hundred, how to get three-five? Hit forty-three and forty-five thousand, how to get five? Five hundred, how to get five? Five, 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 how to get five? Get five. Hit forty-five, hit forty-five thousand. Don't miss it over there. Forty-five thousand, how to get five? Get five hundred, how to get forty-five thousand? Get five hundred, how to get five? Get five. Forty-five, forty-five. 
45,000, sir. 45,000, 45,000, 50,000. And I'll fit. I got 45, seven. Hit 45 and 47,000. I got five, Marty, seven. I'm ahead of you. Hit 47,000. Hit 47, seven. 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 Rare color, right car, gorgeous example right here. 46, Bubba, do it quick. Hit 46,000. Hit 46,000. 46,000. 46,000. I should be talking about 55. Give me 46,000. Hit 56,000. Hit 56,000. 56,000. I got 45. I need 46,000. Bubba, just do it. Hit 46,000. Hit 56,000. Hit 56,000. 56,000. 56,000. Dollar. Hit 45 and 46,000. Hit 56,000. 46,000. Hit 56,000. Hammer side, Bubba, get in. Hit 46,000. Make all your mistakes today. 46,000. Hit 46,000. And I have so $45,000. Way in the back. What's your number, sir? Three. Three. 22. Thank you. A lot number 95 is a 1999 Shelby Series 1 Roadster. There's fewer than 750 miles from new, and it is a well-documented car. Please note, due to the age of this vehicle, the title reads exempt, and the correct VIN is 5CXSA181XXL00004. Lot number 95, the 1999 Shelby Series 1 Roadster. I mean, a beautiful example of a Series 1. Right, Miles, look at this car right here. All right, somebody get 200,000. Don't get you 200. Don't get you 200,000. Give me two, 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 two hundred thousand dollars. Hit 200,000. Don't get you 100,000. 100. Well, here we are again, guys. We've brought you right across the block. Now, if I were to tell you that we were in a sports car with an aluminum chassis, carbon fiber panels, big V8, you'd probably be thinking we're in a brand new sports car. But we're actually in a 1991 Shelby Series 1. Elliot, tell us about this really cool car. Now, this is Brian's first time on camera. You've been hearing him all day, so I'm personally a little excited about this. Uh, but yes, this 99 Shelby Series 1 is a very, very special car. It's actually the first car designed from the ground up by Shelby. You might think it's the Cobra, but no, he got bodies by AC and put big V8s in him. This one, he had a hand in designing every single part of it. And it's kind of a weird mishmash of Ford and GM stuff. So as much as Shelby was married to Ford, this actually has an Oldsmobile V8 that's been tuned up quite a bit to well over 350 horsepower, which was quite a bit for a car that weighs practically nothing. Now inside, you'll find a mixture of GM HVAC controls, but entire body panels and door panels from a Ford Mustang. It's a little bit of everything, but what this thing's all about is being lightweight and looking cool. This is a timeless design. You'd be hard pressed to find somebody who doesn't believe that this isn't a brand new car. The lines and the exaggerated front scoop in the, uh, the hood where the air comes out of is just something that you need to see in real life to believe. I always thought it was pretty big, but that thing looks like you could stand in it. This is just an incredible car, but this one only has 750 miles, so it's basically brand new. You're getting basically a, a Shelby Series 1 still in the wrapper, and that's a special car with a special amount of mileage, only available here at Worldwide. Yeah, thanks for joining us. We'll turn it back to the block. 157, 560,000. 160, 160, 157, 5 and 160, 000. I get a bit 160, honor to get 160, 157, 5 and 160, 000. I get a bit 60, honor to get 60, 160, 160, 157, 5, I get a 160, 000. I get 160, 157, 5 and 160, 000. dollars and a half. What are we doing? I get 160, 160. What's he say, John? I get 160, honor to get 160, 000. I get 160. 160, 157, 5, and 160,000. 157, 5, Marty. Lot number 96 is a 1955 Packard Caribbean convertible offered without reserve. It is one of just 500 Caribbeans produced for the 1955 model year and is presented in original condition, including its paint and interior. Oh, boy. I mean, a Caribbean one, Brady. 
matches your eyes, buddy. Ain't no diggity by this one. Who'll get 50,000? Ain't gonna bid 50 on it. I'm gonna get 50,000. I'm gonna bid 50. If 50,000, you wanna get 50,000 on it. 50, 50. No diggity 50,000. Give me 10 grand. Let's go. If 10,000, I'm gonna bid 10, 10, 10. Everybody can be in. 10, 15. 15,000, I'm gonna bid 10. Now 15,000. Internet didn't make it. You gotta bid 15 grand. No diggity 15. Now 20. No diggity 15. I'm gonna bid 20. And now 20. And now 20. 15 and 20,000. I'm gonna bid 20 on it. I'm gonna bid 15. Give me 17, 5 way back there in Neverland. And 17,500. I'm gonna get 75 here. I'm gonna get 15. I get about 16,000. Go ahead and do it. 16. I'll let you in. 17, 17. It's 16, 17,000. I get a bit 17,000. I'm gonna get 17. Hi, Brittany. I'm gonna get 17,000. It's 17,000. I get a bit 17,000. I'm gonna get 17, 17,000. I'm gonna get 17, 16, 17, 17. It's 17,000. I'm gonna get 16. I get a bit 17,000. I'm gonna get 17. Hold on. I'm gonna get 17. 17. Internet, you're out. I'm gonna get 17,000. I mean, it's Caribbean. Tell them a little more about it, Brady. It's equipped with the rare wire wheels, and it was formerly of the Tupelo Museum collection. 16, 17, it's 16,000, I'm gonna bid 17,000, I'm gonna get 18,000, 18, 18, 18,000, dollar done, 18,000, I'm gonna get 17, I'm gonna be 18, 19, sir, 19,000, still a bargain, 19, it's 19,000, I'm gonna bid 19,000, 19, 19, 19, right here, 19,000, I'm gonna bid 19, 100, I'm gonna get 8, 19, 20, and now 20, how do you leave it? At 20,000, I'm gonna bid 19, 20, 100, I'm gonna get 20, now 1, 21,000, I'm gonna bid 22, at 22, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 
and the driver sits in this little chair. It kind of controls it with uh, what can only be described as like a yoke. There's like a handle oh, wow. to steer it and a handle for throttle, and neither of which look like what you think they should look like. <laughs> uh, so this is also back in the day when you know the controls of cars were unconventional, but without it being gas-powered, you could kind of do whatever you wanted. And it's a fascinating car, and there's a huge market out there for them, as is indicated uh, by the current bidding price. It's a really cool car, and I think you could shock every Tesla owner any day of the week to say, I had an electric car before you. That's right. Um, yeah. So you're telling me that Elon Musk didn't invent the electric car, and he didn't invent the yoke steering wheel. No, believe it or not, uh, they, they thought of that before. That's amazing. <laughs> All right, well, let's take it back to Riggins. 100, now 100, and now 10, 110, 110, 110, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 110, 100, 10, 100, 110, 110, 110, 100,000, 110, 110, 100, 110, 110, 110, 110, 110, 110, 110, 110, 110, 110, 110, 110, 110, 110, 110, 110, 110, 110, 110, 110, 110, 110, 110, 110, 110, 110, 110, 110, 110, 110, 110, 110, 110, 110, 110, 110, 110, 110, 110, 110, 110, 110, 110, 110, 110, 110, 110, 110, 110, 110, 110, 110, 110, 110, 110, 110, Sold hundred thousand dollars. Thank you, Marty. Three sixty-eight. The buyer. Lot number Thank ninety-eight you, is a 1951 Ford Custom Convertible, offered without reserve and offered from the Ron Thorne Collection. A sought-after and attractive post-war design, equipped with the classic Ford V8 power plant with factory overdrive. Yes, sir. Never gonna get you by this one here. Never gonna get you by. What do you want to pay? I know, like a hawk. Somebody get 55. Yep, be 5,000. Dada get me five, get me five. Honor, dada get me five, five, five. Can't trust him now. Five, five, five. Dada get me five, get me 20 grand. 20. Yep, dada get me 20,000. Give me 20. Honor, dada get me 20. Now 20, 20, 20. Dada get me 10, 15. Yep, 15,000. Give me 10. Now 15,000. That's a convertible now. 15,000 dollar. Yep, 10, 15,000. Now 20, now 20. Dada get me 20,000. Give me 20. Honor, dada get me 17, five and 20. And now 20, and now five. Yep, dada get me 20. Five, 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 five. Dada get me 25, 25, 30. Dada get me five, give me 30. Hit yeah, five and thirty thousand. Dada get me five, give it thirty. Give me twenty-seven five before I go quick. Hit now thirty. Dada get me thirty thousand. Give it thirty hundred. Dada get me seven five. Give it thirty thousand. Give it thirty hundred. Dada get me thirty. Now thirty thirty thirty. Dada get me thirty. And twenty-seven five. And now thirty. And now thirty. And now thirty. Hit now to get me seven five. Give it thirty thousand. Give it thirty hundred. Dada get me seven five. Give it thirty. Don't miss it, old buddy. Give me twenty-nine grand one time. Hit twenty-nine thousand. Give it twenty-nine thousand. Dada get me nine 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 nine. Get twenty-nine. Hit twenty-nine thousand. Now thirty. Dada get me nine. Give it thirty. Hit twenty nine and thirty thousand. Dada get nine. Give it thirty hundred. Dada get nine. Give it thirty. Not thirty. Not thirty. Hit dada get nine. Give it thirty thousand. Give it thirty hundred. Dada get nine. Give it thirty thousand. Give it thirty. Now thirty. Dada get thirty thousand. Dada get nine. Give it thirty. What do you think, Marty? Dada get thirty thousand. Give it nine. Give it thirty thousand. Dollar thirty thousand. Dada get nine. Give it thirty thousand. So twenty nine thousand dollars. Four zero seven. Lot number 99 is a 1936 Rolls-Royce 25-30 Sedanka Coupe with known history, which was formerly owned by Nelson Rockefeller and is offered with copies of factory records. If you ever wanted to be a Rockefeller, here's your chance. All right, no to get you by this one. Somebody give 110, no to get you 110,000. Give me 10, 10, 10. On the Rolls Royce now, 110. Rockefeller Provenance, 110, 100,000. Give me 100,000. Give me 100. No to get you one, 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 100,000. No to get you 100, 100,000. Give me 50 grand. Hit no to get you 50,000. Bid 50,000. No, 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 50, 50. No to get you 50,000. What do you want to pay? No to get you 50, 30, 40. Hit 30, 40. No to get you 30, 40,000. Give me 40,000. No to get you 30, no 40,000. Give me 40. Hit 35, 30. 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, well, just a few minutes ago, we had that Bentley Arnage cross the block, but this is a little bit different. We talked about Rolls Royce, but this is a Pinch 1936 uh, Rolls Royce. Uh, why don't you go ahead and tell us about it? Yeah, so this is, uh, thanks, Brian. This is a 1936 Rolls Royce 2530 uh, Sedanka Coupe, but this is actually the replacement. They had, they had one before this called the 2025. 
Uh, but this one, the reason that they named it this is because they had increased displacement, bumped the power up a little bit, because the old cars were getting so uh, heavy with all of their elegant coach work that they just weren't keeping up with the competition. So what they sought out to do with the 2530, increase the power a little bit and make it possible for you to still have that elegant coach work, all the luxuries, but have more than enough power to keep up with the modern traffic. Now, uh, this one is special because uh, this is from, uh, this has coach work by uh, Jay Gurney Nutting, and uh, they were a famous coach builder for, for Rolls-Royce. So as a customer, you would buy Rolls-Royce, but it would be a rolling chassis, and it would get delivered to the coach builder, in this case, Nutting, and they would outfit it the way that you liked it, and you would receive kind of a custom car like this one. And look, it's a nice collectible car, and it's going to a new home. Love to see it. The gavel just hit. Let's head back and see what's next. Accompanied by a clean Carfax report and a massive amount of binders that documented all the restoration, which include new leather interior, carpets, and soft top. All right, highly documented 91 Romeo here on the Spider. And 50,000, I get a bit 50 on her, I get a bit 50, 50,000, I get a bit 50, 50, I get a bit 50,000. What you got back there? 50,000, I get a bit 50 on her, I get a 50,000, I get a bit 50. Yeah, 50,000, I get a bit 50 on her, I get a 10, 10, 12. Hit 10, 12 now, I get a bit 12,000, I get a bit 12,000, I get a bit 10, now 11,000, I get a bit 10, I get a bit 11, we'll let y'all play. Six, seven, it's 6,000, 7,000, I get a bit seven, eight, 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 nine, Negative at nine, ten. Negative at ten. Now eleven. Hit ten, eleven thousand. Negative eleven. Twelve thousand. Negative thirteen, thirteen, thirteen. Negative thirteen. Negative thirteen. Hit thirteen thousand. Negative thirteen thousand. You look good in that, Bubba. Give me thirteen grand. Hit thirteen thousand. Negative 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 thirteen now 13, and now 13, and now 5. Hit 13, 500, I'm gonna give you 5, 5, 5, now I'm gonna give you 13, 500, I'm gonna give you 5, give it 5, 5, 5, 13, 5, now I'm gonna give you 5, give it 5, 13, 5, 14, now 14. Hit 14,000, I'm gonna give you 1,400, I'm gonna give you 14, 14, didn't make it 500, I'm gonna give you 5, give it 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, now I'm gonna give you 14, 5. Hit 14, 500, I'm gonna give you 15,000, I'm gonna give you 1,500, I'm gonna give you 15, 15, 15, 15, button it up, roll it away, 15 grand. 15,000, how do you leave it here, sir? It's got a new top and everything, 15,000. I get a bit fifteen hundred. I get a bit five hundred. I get a bit five 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 five. I get a bit fifteen five. Fifteen five hundred. I get a bit five. I get a bit five hundred. I get a bit five 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 five. I get a bit five five. It feels so good to say yes. It feels so good to say yes. Fifteen five hundred. I get a bit fifteen five hundred. I get a bit five 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 five. I get a bit fifteen five. Fifteen five hundred. I get a bit fifteen five hundred. I get a bit five 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 five. I get a bit fifteen five. Fifteen five hundred. I get a bit fifteen five hundred. I get a bit five 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 five. I get a bit fifteen five hundred. 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 I get a bit Lot 101 is a 1938 Ford Deluxe Club Coupe offered without reserve and the last chance to buy a car from the Ron Thorne collection. Striking black color scheme and is a AACA Senior Grand National Award winner and is equipped with desirable spider wheels with chrome hubcaps. Save the best for last of this collection, ladies and gentlemen. Gorgeous 38 Deluxe Coupe right here, and who'll get 50,000 on it? 50,000, I get a bit 50 on it, I get a bit 50,000, I get a bit 50 on it, I get a bit 50, 50, I get a bit 50,000, I get a bit 40, I get 40,000, 30,000, 20,000, I get 20, now 20, now I get 10, 20, I get 10,000, I get a bit 20, now I get 10, you got 20, now I get 10, I get a bit 20, now 20, now 30, I get 20,000, I get a bit 30,000, I get a bit 25, 5, 5, 5, 5, I get 20, now 5, 5, I get 25, I get a bit 25, I get 20, now 5, 500, I'm gonna get 500, I'm gonna get 555. Why are you running around? 2500, I'm gonna get 25. Hit 20 to 500, I'm gonna get 555. I'm gonna get 20 to 500, I'm gonna get 5. Two and a half, five. Hit 20, five, five, five. Now seven and a half here. I'm gonna get 5, I'm gonna get 7. 50 on it, I'm gonna get 5, I'm gonna get 7 and a half. Yes or no? 5, 7 and a half. Hit 20, 500, I'm gonna get 5, I'm gonna get 7. 50 here, I'm gonna get 6. Now 7, now 8, I'm gonna get 28. Hit 28, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, Button it up, roll it away. 29, 9, 9, 8, 9. Now 30, now I'm gonna get 30. Hit 29 and 30,000. Marty. 631, pretty. 
Lot 102 is a 2006 Cadillac XLR offered without reserve. It is a well-maintained and stylish sports car that is ready for year-round enjoyment with a retractable hardtop. All right, we got a 2006 XLR right here. One owner car, luxury for less right here, ladies and gentlemen. I mean a road car. Oh, boy. I mean, you take it out this afternoon in Scottsdale. Here we go. Now to get you by this one. Somebody give it a oh, 75. Now to get you 60,000. Get it at 60 on it. Now to get you 60. It's 60,000, 50,000 on it. 50,000. Bless you. Now to get you 50,000. Now to get you 10, 20. Hit 10, 20. Now to get you taking it at 20,000. Get it at 10. Now 20,000. Now to get you taking it at 20. Hit 10,000, 20,000. Now to get you 15, 20. And now 20. Hit 15 and 20. Now to get you 15. Get it at 20,000. Negative at 20, honor, negative at 15, 17, 5. Do it quick. Actual mile car. I mean. So only one owner has owned this 2006 Cadillac XLR. And, uh, you know, what's interesting about this, there's a lot of things that are interesting about this car. For one, you think, oh, it's a, it's a big GM, coupe, long hood. It must be based on a Corvette. Well, well it sort of it is, is and it sort of isn't, yeah. right? <laughs> it's a, a C5 start, but a lot of upgrades that would eventually make their way into a C6. Yep. Um, so it really is its kind of own unique thing. It's got its own V8 and uh, its own hard top. It really is a unique car. Uh, Brian, you touched on all the major points there. Um, they've called it a Vedelac and everything <laughs> else. Um, I actually toured the Corvette factory when these were new and they were making them in the same factory. Oh, if wow. that gives you a hint of how much Corvette is going on there. Yes. Um, not in the same assembly line by any means, but same place. Um, I've always loved them. I mean, it's you'd be hard pressed to find somebody who would believe that that's from 2006. You could convince somebody that that is a brand new car. I mean, somehow the, style. the angular styling held up in such a way that, like I said, I think unless you're a real car guy, you could convince anybody it's brand new. But like you said, it's not a Corvette in every sense of the way. It does have a retractable hardtop and it does have a North Star V8, not an LS. Um, a lot of people say that was maybe what held it back, but they've always been great cars, they have mag ride suspension, they're excellent cruisers, and like I said, you can enjoy it all year round because it's not a soft top, it's a hard top. And uh, look, it's going to a great new home. That's right, we got someone uh, buying it, and we've got one more going across the lot now. Final lot of the day, and it is a 1997 Toyota Supra Twin Turbo Targa offered without reserve. It is the 15th anniversary edition, and is accompanied by a clean Carfax report, and only has two private owners from new. One of the most desirable JDM cars you can find today. It's got two turbos. Here we go. Up and coming collector piece right here, ladies and gentlemen, on these Japanese pieces. They are unbelievable. Here we go. Somebody give a hundred thousand. How to get you one? How to get you what? And how to get you no Reiki? And how to get you a hundred? How to get you one hundred? One hundred? How to get you a hundred thousand? How to get you a hundred? How to get you a hundred? Thirty-five, forty. Hit thirty-five and forty. Well, we wanted to end the day uh, with a doozy. Here we go with the 1997 Toyota Supra. You gotta love a good JDM car, especially a silver Supra. Yeah, you're, you can't go wrong. I mean, is that a Supra? No. <laughs> uh, but no, these are, these are fantastic. I'm sad it's our last lot of the day, but at least it's a good one. Uh, is. 97 is the second to last year you could get the Mark IV Supra. And this is probably the most famous of all of the Supras. Originally, obviously they were great cars. But Fast and the Furious in 2001 really sent these cars over the moon yeah, uh, because everybody our age now wants one because they know what they're capable of. And powered by the legendary twin-turbo 2JZ motor, these are a few parts away from making 800 to 1,000 horsepower. The potential is huge with these, which is why a lot of them were modified. But this one wasn't. This one escaped uh, you know, kids modifying them back when they were only 20 grand. Uh, as you can tell, they're worth a lot more than that now. But this one's also desirable because it's a target top model, which means on nice days, pop that hard top off and you kind of got the benefits of a convertible, but the coupe all year round. Now, some people might poo poo this for being an automatic, but these are a either easily swappable to a manual or enjoy it as an automatic. I've driven an automatic one. You can kind of rest assured that this thing probably wasn't beat on too hard. Mm -hmm. So you can have a Supra well into the future if you just treat it right. I mean, it's a Toyota after all. But, of course, it's just one of the beautiful offerings we've had today here at Worldwide Auctioneer's Scottsdale Auction. It's been a wonderful time. We've had a lot of cool stuff across the we block. We have, yeah.
And there it is. Well, let's send it back to Riggins and see what else is in store. 348. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our sale for today. We do appreciate you being here with us. We thank you. Enthusiast. The enthusiast in April in Auburn. We thank you all for coming out. We hope to see you all there. April in Auburn for the enthusiast sale. Thank you again. All right, guys, well, that's a wrap on the 2024 Scottsdale Worldwide Auctioneers auction. And what an auction it was. We got to see a lot of cool stuff across the that block. That was fantastic. Uh, what were some of your favorites, Brian? You know, you just can't beat the cover car, the Mercedes 300 SL, Precisely. that black with that red interior selling for over a million bucks. That was a really good time. Top dog, cover car for a reason. That's right. I loved the Plum Crazy uh, yeah, Cuda. The, the Cuda. That was yep. very cool. And that, then uh, the Murcielago yep, also sold. sold. The black mm -hmm. one. I drove that. My audio wasn't working very well, but I did drive it. <laughs> that was a good uh, time. That was cool, cool. Um, we have a lot of good stuff. I mean, seriously, we had a little bit of everything. We had pre-war stuff. We had cars before the 20s that were electric. We even ended with a Supra. We had an I FJ mean, Cruiser in the mix. We had Cruiser. VW buses. We had everything. It was all over the place. It, it was, was a good time. It was a really good, eclectic, in the best way possible auction. Only the way that Worldwide could have done it. But what's next, you may ask. And for that, I'll tell you the next upcoming thing that you should be putting on your calendars and booking right now is Worldwide auctioneers enthusiast tour I can That's tell right. you as someone who's been on it multiple times you can't beat it it's the experience the collections we tour the driving the cars the camaraderie interacting is, together it's my favorite event of the year yeah. and it all culminates in an auction at the end so basically book your calendars for the end of April that's when the enthusiast tour and the worldwide auctioneers enthusiast auction will be taking place trust me you don't want to miss out on fun like this this is kind of an away game for us but you can't beat Scottsdale and I mean heck it's 70 degrees out there right now, it's and fantastic. I think it's uh, what freezing in Indiana right now. <laughs> so. Yeah, and all that information, by the way, is available online, yes. worldwideauctioneers.com. You can find all the information on upcoming events, the tour, the auctions. Follow us on social media. Sign up for our emails. We'll keep you in the loop so that you don't miss a single thing that's coming up from Worldwide Auctioneers. Perfect. Well, thank you, Brian, for uh, stepping yep. in for Kayla and Absolutely. doing an awesome job. Thank you, Elliot. And uh, well, thank you guys for joining us. That's it for us on the 2024 Worldwide Auctioneers Scottsdale Auction. We'll see you at the Enthusiast Auction. Have a good one.